Not just the biggest are Opie and Anthony. These people say shocking things that border on offensive uh, in order to entertain their audience. I refuse to sit here and think that radio has to be nice. Why? Why does radio, out of any other medium, have to be nice? We are being now held to a standard where we have to be nice and make people feel good. Go screw! Radio Bad Boys, Opie and Anthony. Controversial radio personalities, Opie and Anthony. Infamous DJs, Opie and Anthony. Talk show radio hosts, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Radio Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Shock Opie and Anthony. Shock Jocks, Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. Testing one, two, one, two. Po, po, boo, bo, banana, nana, banana, fana, fo, fo, fi, fi, mo, mo, po. Who thought you were dead? The people you were partying with? Dealers, yeah. Dealers and stuff. And they just threw them in a dumpster in London. Oh. Well, you know, I, I left I, them there. I think it's pretty funny. You know, no one wants to get rock star. This is where entertainment is going. I shot my computer. You can't shoot guns in suburbia. And I fully expected the police to show up. This is showing responsibility. Opie and Anthony. I think worse than having sex with a man would be, as you're kissing one, to feel his man hands holding your head <laughs> like the sweat of a man hand right on the face <laughs> of your head. This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst show I've ever been on. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. I'm sorry. Billy. So sorry. Billy. That I was such a fool. I'm sorry, Billy. I didn't know. I thought I did. Love could be. So cruel. So cruel. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Good morning. The ONA virus spreading across America. I don't even think we should be broadcasting today. I think it's one of those days that you can take off and no one will notice. Uh, Columbus Day. Yeah. It's for all us Italians. For some reason, uh, it's an Italian... Take it off. Yeah, uh, a lot of the uh, the banks are closed, but then the stock market's open, and then it's it's one of those uh, holidays that didn't quite get everybody uh, uh, to get to. It's like Martin Luther King Day, you know, same thing. Ah, we'll stay open. Ah, some of us will close. Traffic was nice though coming in. So yeah, that, that means not we're not bad. broadcasting to anybody. I know exactly. Why waste this material when uh, <laughs> no That's one's good li- stuff. No one's listening. Is good quality we in today. stuff. Well, first off, it's good to see Anthony awake. Yeah, yeah, good to. Uh, wow, how you guys doing? Pretty good, Anthony. Haven't seen you since I think Wednesday. Uh, Louis C.K. in for Jimmy. Jimmy's gonna be on Jay Leno tonight. Let's not forget. Let's all take a peek at that tonight. Yes. And uh, we got Louis C.K. sitting in for Jim Norton. Good morning, guys. Always a pleasure. And Louis has no idea what I uh, mean by saying it's good to see Anthony awake. No, I don't. What happened? Anthony uh, fell asleep. It's first time in my radio career. Really? Like during the show, you mean? During the show. Oh, my God. On the XM uh, side. It was about uh, 10.30-ish, I guess. Tried to make it to 11. Oh, my God. Wasn't going to happen. You fell asleep in your seat? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, wow. There's the picture right there. There it is. <laughs> and, and the video's up on oh, YouTube. The video's up. Believe me, it's all over. I've uh, seen ev- all the pictures and video. Uh, here's here's what happened. Uh, here's my sorry excuse, but this is exactly how it went down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Thursday, I'd made plans to go out to go um, karaoke Thursday mm-hmm. night. Now, a weeknight. It's very difficult for us to go out on a weeknight because we got we got a show to do. Let, it be, let it be known, though, that when he said that he's doing karaoke on Thursday night, mm-hmm. Jimmy and I both at the same time went, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Now, I made uh, a contingency plan. Is that something you do a lot? Go no, karaoke? that's just it. No. I, I, I On weekends, like if, mm-hmm. if somebody's hanging out and wants to do that, that's fine. But... uh I figured, you know, everyone's going out. It's a Thursday. I know that's treacherous because yeah. we have to get up very early. So instead of just saying yeah and going out and then trying to go back to Long Island and everything, I, I had a plan. Mm-hmm. Here was my plan. I was going to stay in town, which I did. I booked a hotel room, left the show at about a quarter after 11, like right after the show ended. I was out of here in the bed in the hotel and asleep. 
I slept until about 4.30 from from about 11.30. So I figured, all right, here. Now, uh, my plan's working. I slept. Uh -huh. I have a hotel in New York City, so I can go to karaoke and then go back to the hotel, which is, I mean, right near the studio. So I don't have to commute in. Well, I really it, thought it out. It's a big commitment to karaoke. Cause you, <laughs> it, it's really, a big commitment to karaoke. Really it's a big to commitment to uh, living like a human being for one night. It was, yeah, it, I just wanted to even, be. Our, I wanted to be a person. Yeah, it's no, not that again. He's, it's not that he's that big of a fan of, of a fan of karaoke. Could have been anything. Could have <laughs> right. been a late night poker game. Right. And Louis thinking truth, that you're some carry. You know, uh, 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 when you're not here, you're working on your karaoke. Career. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and to tell you the truth uh, a couple of weeks back i got an invitation to go on a sunday night uh to kevin smith's um comic book shop to play poker mm -hmm. it's like an all-night poker thing and he came in directly from that poker game without any sleep and i was thinking i could do the same thing i'll sleep i'll do this and then i thought better of it and thought you know something i'll just be a wreck forget about it yeah. but this just struck me as it's local it's it's i slept yeah i can do this and got through the, the this portion of the show, the uh, the uh, FM radio portion of the show. The more important part. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I get, <laughs> that's what Logan wants to hear. Far more people. Listening. Yeah, of course. Well, of course. I know yeah. that. Yeah. As long as you get through that. Long shot. And then I go Actual over. advertising being sold. Yeah, stuff like that. Money being made. Yeah. I go over to. Uh, how, do actually you, can... how do you not phone in XM? Or you got, it's your subscription. Oh, You've got please. their money. They actually tell you how many people are listening yeah. on this side. Yeah, on the XM side, it's this it's this vague math thing. Very you know, vague. Like, no way to know. <laughs> this your career rests on how many people are listening yeah. over you, there. It's, if you uh, suck on XM, it'll trickle down to your actual show in like a year. It'll take, yeah, yeah. They might start thinking, hey, hey, making uh, for a while. I'm just yeah, what are you doing over there? I'm just very suspicious of the whole XM thing because they say we're doing amazing. They say yeah. we're one of the most listened to channels on the whole platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, that's great. Why don't we send that out to the media? That would well, help our show. But we can't release those numbers. But for some reason, they can't. Can't release numbers that say that you're doing really well, which makes me very you. suspicious yeah. of what the hell's going on. A little there. suspect. I don't think they know <laughs> right. no, what anybody's just... listening to or watching. Pull numbers out of a hat. But how do they not know what people on the subscription are? How do they know? Because Airwave seems impossible. You can't figure but you know like on xm when i i a few times that my subscriptions run out because i'm stupid i call and then they go so it's back on now right like the lady on the phone knows what i'm listening to yeah yeah, yeah. so they should be able to know it's uh, they how should they know what some guy some security guard is listening to on a little radio it's, it's a top it's a top secret we thing. don't know they won't tell us so no, anyway back to anybody. back right, to so, oh yeah. yeah so uh, we get over to uh the xm side and uh, I, I, I'm holding it together, yeah. really tired, feeling it, holding it together. And then around 10.30 or so, in the home stretch. <laughs> it was before that. Oh, yeah. I, well, no, I, 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 like, looked at the time. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. You I, was, were I was way I was dozing. before 10.30. I was dozing. Yeah. Look, we were having a boring show on Friday yeah. for the XMers. But, yeah, but we were trying our best. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, Drew from FARC came in. It was interesting to about 1% of our audience. Yeah, yeah from FARC.com. I don't know what that he is. He came in. He's got Park? a book. Yeah, it's a website that has yeah. a list of uh, stories that good friend of happening. our opening of the show. Yeah, but, uh, could be yeah. a little long winded. At yeah, time. just a tad. And then, um, so I, here was the kiss of death. Mm. Uh, the uh, the new studio over there is amazing. Mm. Uh, it's huge, and the seats are oh, so quite, comfortable oh, really? that I decided to turn sideways and put my feet up on the console oh, no. and bring the mic over to me. Now, that yeah, that was the it. wrong thing to do. Yeah, now, Francine, the lovely Francine, starts babbling about something. Mm. Uh, there were a lot of people in the studio, so they, they were talking to her. She's talking to them. I didn't really have much input 
yeah. like I usually do because there's a full studio. So I'm going. I'm nodding. <laughs> I'm I'm gone. It's like reclining your seat when you're driving a Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just uh, don't do that. Up. Turn the heat up. If there was seat. a way to open the windows of the studio yeah. and stick my head out the window and yeah. smack myself, turn the turn my headphones up real loud. I, that's what I should have done. No, it's like when you're driving and you you realize you're actually you're not trying to stay awake anymore. You're actually trying to. Go to <laughs> you're sleep. trying to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, like, I've been in that situation. Yeah. Heat oh, on. Yeah. yeah, sit back, like kind of hunch back. And, yeah, you know, find an easy listening good. station what? on the radio. Yeah. One eye shut. Yeah. Put your hand on the bottom part of the steering wheel. Just rest <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, to rest yeah. your arms. But so the blood doesn't have to go. <laughs> just go. Oh, I just want to die. Uh, I want to die in a crazy. horrific high-speed crash. Well, one of the oh, many pictures like, oh, that yeah, are being crazy. released oh, today. Are these pictures up one. on the website yet? That's going up now. a good one. That's my feet kicked up. No, it's funny. These pictures weren't on the website for everybody to see over the weekend because everyone around here was kind of scared behind the scenes. I don't know. Wow. But now uh, it's official. You could like put those pictures wherever. They oh are. yeah. There's Anthony. Yeah, put him up. Completely uh, out cold. And then somebody uh, thought it was hysterical to get the pal talk camera and zoom right in on me sleeping. So that was on there for, well, I have no idea how long. Me and Than were in cahoots. Yeah, yeah no, I, I assumed it was Than because he's a master of the control also. I'm, I'm giving uh, Than all these, like, hand signals, and he goes over there, and he's he's actually reaching over your body in such a way not to disturb you. I was Cause at, out. Because at that wow. point, we're like, we smell bit. We got to do something oh, yeah. with this, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, you have to. You can't let a guy no. like that alone. You no. should. I thought they were going to write, like, you know, D I on my head, yeah. Put one and, next to your face. Yeah, I thought Jimmy Norton was gonna, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. do we, one of those. We had a whole list of things we were thinking of doing. Do you do anything weird when you sleep? Or but you no, I just, slips? I just pretty much laid there and and slept. But then when I woke up, forty minutes later, I kind of like woke up and I'm on the the pal talk camera and I, I look around like I had no idea where I was, <laughs> what was going on, and then it hit me. I'm like. Oh man, everyone's gone. They just they, just they left me there with <laughs> classical music playing. <laughs> Louis, we I uh, awesome. I went on mic and I was like, all right, Anthony's asleep. He's gonna wake <laughs> like up that. anytime between now and and you had your headsets noon. on too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to talk really soft. I'm like. Yeah. We're gonna put music on in the background. His mic is gonna be live. <laughs> oh my god! And between now See, and, here and hopefully like... noon, he will wake up. And then we all just left wow. the studio. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> like god. just breathing. How late? How long, when did you wake up? I woke up at. It was just a little after eleven. We have the audio of him waking up. We need that today. See, I don't like falling asleep in front of people. Makes me nervous. <sighs> I don't like it. It, it, I lived just... with Nick, Nick DiPaolo and I were roommates for a while. And oh, he said boy. that one time when I was really fast asleep, I farted several times <laughs> and I started yelling the N word <laughs> in my sleep. Get out of here. <laughs> and after he told me that I couldn't <laughs> fall asleep on an airplane yeah, ever. What are you going to do? You're going to start, <laughs> start blurting farting. inappropriate things out. <laughs> and now you're, now you're paranoid to fall asleep in yeah. public, right? I don't want to fall asleep anywhere. Yeah. So the, the first thing I did. Uh, once I realized where I was, was turn off the pal talk camera because I was like, yeah. I was annoyed that yeah. that was pointing at me and it was in close up. And then for some reason, uh, I didn't know what was going on still. And the guys had me do a, a read. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> they had me do a read for a, a sponsor. And I, well, they pay good money and they needed to get their, you know. <laughs> Yeah. They're reading. And, and I screwed it off, and I'm like, all right, let's effing do this again. And I was just a, a mess. Look, there's the oh picture from Pal Talk of him waking up. The middle picture is creepy. Yeah, oh, I just got my God. eyes open yeah. wide. I'm like, what? <laughs> you look what? like a ghost or something. Where am I? And then by the third Weird. picture, you look like uh, the Anthony we all know. And I'm kind of laughing like, oh, no, I am so screwed. Oh, my God. But uh, it was it was just a mistake trying to stay awake uh, and go out Thursday night. Just wasn't going to happen. And the video of him actually sleeping is up on YouTube right now. Uh, so Great. far, there's two or three yeah. versions up there. I don't like any of them yet. One guy did, uh, what was the song they threw behind him? Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, the lion sleeps tonight. Right, right. Oh, great. <laughs> right. There's a YouTube video of actually you Thank see Anthony you. breathing. His chest is going up and down. You kind of hear him. Uh, well, you don't really hear him because they uh, drowned it out with lion sleeps tonight. They made, yeah. They made their own version of Anthony sleeping. And I'm not really a snorer. No. Uh, well, people on instant feedback. And hope you got enough sleep this weekend. And Opie, you could go to hell with uh, your dumb sports curse. 
Uh, oh. Bill from Waterford. Good morning, Opie. Yawn. What a wonderful morning to be awake. Is your cohort Anthony awake or is he uh, sleeping on the job again? Ant's not living this one down for a while. And then he writes, cheep, 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 I know. Cheep, cheep. I, I, I caught hell. Coke Logic just writes Z a lot. A and lot of Zs. And, you know, the listeners will write Z on instant feedback when they're just bored with us. But mm -hmm. in this case, he, uh, Coke Logic wrote Z. And then he writes, I'm not bored. I'm just imitating Ant. <laughs> he he actually spelled out ba ha ha ha, ba -ha, -ha, -ha yeah. And then Ryan so from Louisiana, new bit, wake up uh, the co-host Friday. So embarrassing. I tried I tried being a human being and and going out and just it didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work. And it really ruined the entire weekend <clears throat> because uh then my my sleep was really screwed up and I couldn't uh I couldn't get back in sync no, over the weekend. To, sleep is the thing you got to trade in for real life. That's what I do too. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, you. No, yeah. You because know. I got to wake my kids. Will wake me up at six or seven. So if I want to do anything, if I do sets at night or whatever, I'm like I just won't sleep. <laughs> it won't happen. Okay. I don't know how Jimmy does day. it. I don't know how Norton does it either. Yeah, He's like, I was up doing sets, and yeah. you know, I got home at like 12.30. Like 12.30. Yeah, wake up at 4. I'm snoozing by 12.30. Yep. Uh, Louis makes a good point because, you know, from time to time, I'll go, Kenny, why won't you have a drink with us? He goes, I don't drink anymore. And I go, why don't you drink anymore? I'm thinking there's some horrific story mm. with a hooker involved or something. Mm -hmm. Some DW, DU, you know, a DW back in his day. He goes... Uh, kids don't understand hangovers. Yeah, they don't care. So, like, you know, he <clears throat> learned when his kids were growing up that they don't understand that daddy's hungover and only had no. two or three hours sleep. And yeah, that's no, when he quit drinking. Kids don't wake up like, ugh. That's, they just uh, wake they, up. They're, they're, you know, zero. Yay, they just they're wake ready up. They're to roll. So you and, just, and Kenny, I'd like to tell Kenny, kids do understand hangovers. Yeah, wives don't understand hangovers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mothers I, don't understand hangovers. I, 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 if, you sh if you show kids enough of them, they'll know exactly what it yeah. is. Yeah. Believe me, growing up, I yeah, knew what a hangover was. what it was. Yeah, leave me alone. <laughs> Dad with the, the wet rag on his head. Yeah. Mom just miserable. She went on a field trip with me. She was a field mother <laughs> oh my God. one year. Remember when you went on field trips as a kid? And, like, yeah. uh, it was kind of cool to have, like, the field mother yeah. was one of the moms. And my mother was very pretty, and I was very proud of my pretty mom because all the kids would talk about, like, what a pretty mommy you have. I you picture know? your mom on a field trip with hot pants on or something. She did. She would, like, wear outfit on. like white leather go-go boots and pigtails <laughs> and, and, like, just... <laughs> just CT the bus driver. It was just a mess. But but uh, the kids were just like, oh my god, your mommy's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And uh, she came to a field trip once. We were going to Radio City Music Hall to see some Charlie Brown movie that was right. premiering there. Some crap. And she was so hungover. <laughs> she like stunk of booze. She's sitting in the, in the bus, and all I kept asking was, "What's the matter, mommy? Oh, no. oh, do you feel good? Because everybody wants to talk to you." And what? <laughs> well, she's like, "Oh, I don't, I, I don't feel good. Oh, mommy doesn't feel good. Oh, no. So she." She's like, pregnant again. I, uh, oh, no. I think mommy's pregnant. In the middle of the movie, I'm sitting there, and she just gets up and bolts to the bathroom, where I can only assume oh, she no. booted the old Technicolor yawn. <laughs> 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 yeah, as little Anthony and his classmates yeah. are sitting watching the movie. Oh, hold on, I'm hold looking on. around, waiting for <sighs> mommy. Yeah, hold like, on. Where's... Where did mommy go? She didn't even say she was going to the bathroom. Oh. Boy, this is a long time for mommy to have to be in the bathroom. Oh, and she's just oh, booting. Oh, just oh, blood oh. coming out of her belly. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Where's mommy? Mommy said she's a field mother. She's supposed to be here with us and the classmates. That's so and, pretty. And it was me and the empty seat oh, and the classmates sitting around. And I had a little program for the movie like that uh, she bought me before we got in there. And I'm just thumbing through it, like looking over, waiting for her to come back. And she just wasn't coming back. Oh. And when she came back... Her tongue was pink because she was guzzling Pepto out of the bottle. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that rocks. Uh, oh, yeah, that was my experience with the the old field mother thing. And um, mm. 
It was embarrassing, and I understood a hangover. Believe me, I knew what it was. That was it. I'm uh, doing that on Wednesday. I'm going with my kid. To where? Oh, you're doing a, a yeah. field trip? Uh, yeah, I'm being a whatever, field chaperone. Dad, chaperone, they yeah. call him now. Yeah, it was yeah. a field mother back then. And I'll then. probably be the same way. I'm not going to be awake. Just hung over. <laughs> uh, telling... See jokes to the kids. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's gonna be me. <laughs> Doing his material on the bus. Yeah. All right, we got to take our first break. So, uh, good news, Anthony's awake for the radio yes. show today. Up is a pop. Uh, some videos of that on YouTube. We'll yeah. put up some pictures up on our website. Enjoy it. Enjoy it and make fun of Anthony. Goof do on me. To do okay. Uh, we got lots to do today, man. Lots to do. Yeah. Very, very busy sports uh, weekend, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Very important for and, uh, the Yankees. And yeah. we got to talk about Reverend Al. He's got to just shut the F up. Yeah. Oh, Where's the coalition else? against Al? Yeah. I ate breakfast right next to him the other day at the Four Seasons. Uh, oh, at the LA. Four Seasons. And, uh, what what happened to the uh, soul food place that he? Uh, yeah, no kidding. He's, I think he's there every morning, pretty much. <laughs> Him and Larry Flint. He wants there. He wants True. people to boycott the Knicks until Isaiah Thomas apologizes. We'll we'll get into that. Oh, the, the break. Knicks. Yeah. No. Oh, Jesus! You scared the <laughs> hell out of me. Yeah. The wow. Knicks. Okay. And and, uh, and Steinbrenner saying some crazy stuff. Uh, let's just take a quick break and yep. we'll do a little sports thing next. Okay. It's Opie and Anthony with Louis C.K. today. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Phone number is eight seven seven two one two. O and A. Uh, I don't know what to say to Philly today. I I really wanted the Phillies to win it all this year. I and, really did. And and it's you've proven that. Yes. You really wanted them to win, and that's why. They completely self-destructed. Don't <laughs> well, Louis doesn't understand. We're trying joint. to explain to him. Uh, I haven't had one of my sports teams win since, I guess, the 1986 Mets. Yeah. So it's been 21 years since mm -hmm. I've had a winner. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when your team is losing and stuff, you kind of, you know, if you're, if you're a sports fan, you take a peek at other teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to, you'll kind of be excited, but you want to root for something, right? Yeah. And everybody I pick... Loses, yeah, and, and I'm not going just, for underdogs. Yeah, he and he and can't Phillies just looks good, and then all of a sudden they look like in the in the in the spring training when they play college teams. <laughs> <laughs> he Sox can't just pick Boston a team college. either. He can't just take a team and like I want this team to lose, so I'm going to yeah. root for him. It's right. got to be sincere. Yeah. He's not even in control of it. It's it's just he he wanted Philly to win. His fiance's from Philly. He's kind of, we, we had a great time when we went to Philly. We Thanks, went right. to the game. We got the tour. park was beautiful. We met some players. We uh, saw a tour of the entire park. It was fantastic. They we gave were, us beautiful seats. We were on the field during batting practice. And, and I was just, and, just and going half, like, and half I the Phillies were trying to pick up my uh, my check. You know, yeah. it was great. And he's sitting there. for everybody. <clears throat> We're sitting there, and and Ops is like, you know, man, I, I could get used to coming here. This is a nice park and everything, really nice. So, you know, when they make the playoffs, and uh, the Mets didn't, it was like, hey, Go root for the, for Phillies. the Phillies. Right, right. Yeah. It was a natural. And people, uh, you know, ask me all the time, pick a team, and I'll, I'll go, look, I don't really care about either one of those teams. I'll yeah. even say that, like, I'm not just going to pick a team. It's yeah, because it doesn't work that way. It's got to be something I'm feeling. So this year I felt the Phillies... They got shut out. I, I was yeah. feeling the Cubbies. They got shut out. Yeah. And oh, this is all documented, too. He said all this before oh, well, they even threw out the first pitch for the playoffs. Well, for Louie, here we go. Why don't you play that clip from last week, right? Before the playoffs start. Here you go. So what do you think, Hope? Go Phillies! Oh, no! <laughs> go Phillies! Oh, oh, there it is! There it is. Go Philly. You aren't saying go Philly. Uh, is this an official endorsement? You are picking the Phillies. I think it's to their take year. Take it all the way. I it's, think it's their it's year. There you are. Oh, had a no. hell of a year. The curse gods are now. All right, you heard it, guys. Get to work. <laughs> go get Phillies. to work. <laughs> See, no. it's, it's not just a radio bit anymore. No, it's, it's been creepy. happening. No. It's so for creepy, years. man. Yep. Years and then uh, it's weird because they were legitimately a good team. Yeah, yeah, for three yeah. games in a row. Yeah, and then we had this. What the following and Arizona day? is bizarrely like it's all rookies and they're yeah they're they, they lost just, all their good players. Right, they right. just want to try hard. Yeah. So, so this is what I said on Friday. I was thinking that you were secretly rooting for the Yankees. Like oh. this, this showed that somewhere deep inside you were like. I kind of want the Yankees to win. I wish it was true, man, because then the sports curse would be even better. But yeah. uh, no, I picked the Phillies to go all the way and win the all World the Series. 
I uh, I picked the Cubbies because it's been a long time and sure. uh, just feeling good about the Cubbies. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, you got to go Red Sox. Got to go Red Sox. Well, sure. And that's where like it's weird because I have to go Red Sox over the Yankees. So there you go. I'm, uh, well, you know, if you add it up, I uh, you know, out of nine games, I won three games. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. You have completely destroyed, <laughs> devastated two cities. You're like an atomic it's bomb. Weird, because I've been watching. I watched the Cubs and the Phillies games. Yeah. And I'm like, what's going on here? Like that's how it felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, those two teams are having. A... It's like, what happened? Yeah. Because the Cubs could not do anything, and the Phillies couldn't. They just they couldn't even it's... make it interesting. No. But they were clearly the better teams going in. I, I want out of this sports curse badly because yeah. I'm I'm starting to get creeped out by it. I really am. Like, my yeah. Islanders got knocked out last year in hockey, so I, I was like, I lived in western New York for over 10 years. I want the Sabres. They got their yeah. asses handed to them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I lived in Buffalo when they lost all four Super Bowls. Mm. I lived back home when the Giants lost the Super Bowl. I lived in Boston when the Pats lost the Super Bowl. I'm telling you, there's something going on. It's uh, it's a sports curse. I don't know where it and comes from. And let's not from. forget, uh, my baseball team is the Mets, and they had one of the biggest collapses yep. in baseball. Baseball history. Crazy. Yeah, that well, was you gotta really bad. Try getting interested in something besides sports. Try, <laughs> try something try else. Picking hookers <laughs> that you think will die of AIDS. <laughs> and then, then it won't be a big tragedy. You're like, oh, well, it's probably. You got be. Philly Tyrant. He writes, hopefully, I'm the first person to say F you and your sports curse, Opie. And, uh, and then we got Bert from Philly moving on with sports here. Oh, my God. Roger Clemens is sitting on an ice box. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. He's pulled a hammy. Uh, All that money. Stinks. He's sitting the up in, in, they, in the box. They took him out of the game, and the guys in the booth go, well, if the, it's fitting that his last batter was a strikeout. The great, because they're all ex-players. What? Yeah, yeah. The guys in the booth don't make any real comments because they're all ex-players, and they all support... Yeah, they it don't really want like, a bad well, mouth. there ends the biggest farce in the yeah. history of sports. A huge payday a for nothing. Waste of yeah, money. when they signed Clemens, they didn't really sign him for the regular season. They signed him signed him for the playoffs. Yeah, of course. Playoffs where he could come out, intimidate, yeah. and just like be the pitcher he was no. uh, a couple of years ago. What did he last? Two innings last night? Yeah. Two and a third, something and like that? just, you know. Goodness gracious. Limps off. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen, Roger Clemens pitched two and a third innings. Oh, my God. Look at the dugout. Joe Torre wondering if he's going to have a goddamn job. <laughs> job. 25. Didn't they pay him $25 million? Uh Clemens, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. There you go. Hey, I'm happy to be back, and, uh, yeah, it's great. Hey, Big well, announcement. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll be seeing you all soon. We'll be seeing yeah. you all soon. I'll be uh, having a 5.3 ERA soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be going 8 and 10 soon. <laughs> or whatever Goodness it was. gracious. George Steinbrenner threatening. Joe Torrey with his job. I read that this morning. I'm like, I don't think that would be, like, a good motivation to basically come out and go, look, if Joe Torrey doesn't yeah. win at all this year, he's fired. He ain't yeah. coming back next year. Well, it kind of uh, rallied the team, I think. Yeah, I think I he's think hoping it rallies are, the team around the, I think the skipper. I think they decided, let's win one game so he goes that, and then they're just going to, I think they're going to lose on purpose. <laughs> and then today. they're just going to say, screw this. Yeah, screw Steinbrenner, because they hate him now. <laughs> Yeah, because if now they, they think they play for him, well, yeah, he pays the checks. They don't get if the they had a miracle them. and they they took two now. Yeah, it would be like uh, you're you're doing it for George. Who doesn't have their job on the line when stuff when things go wrong? Yeah, it's not like he, you know, geez. Well, not Tory. It's not like he's, he's been able to come back year after year after year. I know. He hasn't won but anything in I a just long don't time. Feel sorry now. for him or any of them. It's just you know. Yeah. They get paid a lot of money, and he's not uh, Gene Autry or somebody. He's right. just a baseball manager. Well, well Steinbrenner. and take away the job. Let him go home to his mansion. One of our favorite Steinbrenner uh, clips is after they won the World Series in, I guess, what, 2000? Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere around yeah. there. I, I, I don't keep track of the Yankees' uh, records. Sorry.
I, uh, I just. But I, he was in the locker room just crying like yeah. he was a blubbering old man talking yeah. about how great his team was and how great yeah. Joe, Joe Torre. <laughs> Joe Torre. Yeah. He, he was talking about how the Yankees are the best team in baseball and to, you know, get this trophy from you. And he was crying. Yeah. And this is like the guy that you think back to the old Billy Martin days and, uh, Firing everybody, he was just uh, hell on wheels. Yep. And and there he is, like he looked old. Mm -hmm. He still had his stupid turtleneck on, yep. and he's just bawling, crying. We're trying to uh, find that clip. If anyone, anyone out there, one of our faithful listeners has that. it, we I need think it. it. Was ninety eight? I think it was that. Yeah, I think year. it was before two thousand. Oh, dude, yeah, they didn't win. It was the 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 year of nine eleven. They didn't win. Wasn't that two thousand or was that two thousand one? Ninety eight. Yeah. Then okay. I think it was early that, that because. Because I, he was so emotional, uh, because it was so you know new. I think again. it was because '98 was that great year. Yeah, that all right. They won we way too many games, and we thought he was old. <laughs> right. We yeah. thought he was old back then. That's nine years ago. Yeah, yeah. he's really old. Where's like uh, and Joe Torre? Joe Torre is going to be out of a goddamn job. I mean, I love you, Joe. I don't want to fire you, but you got to win these games. <laughs> now, millionaires age weirdly because they literally just pump money into their veins to keep them alive. <laughs> and everybody around them is just kind of keeping the head alive to keep, yeah, yeah. keep their jobs. Yeah, just to keep their jobs. Instant dies, mm. a whole bunch of people lose their jobs yep. and stuff. So they're just keeping them barely cognizant and just kind of profitable. Them up yeah. for a couple of uh, you, you don't even see him give an interview. You read about it in the paper. Yeah, uh, no, he his face said is really white. It, yeah, he has like lipstick on now. Yeah, he's like he's wearing lipstick yeah, or something. You're absolutely right. He's real pale and he's yeah. got these red lips and and his jowls are, always make him look sad. You know, he's melting a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's got a little he's, melting in his face. He's melting going on. in his blood, like they replace his blood with some kind of um, you know female estrogen or something. <laughs> I'm gonna go with oil, some kind of oil yeah, some, based product. Some kind of what do you call it, oil? The you know, oh jeez, my brain doesn't work this morning. <laughs> I think he's taking uh, hormone shots, female hormone shots. Really? Because he gets all emotional really? now. He didn't used to do that. He'd get up there. He was fast talking. Yeah, like a smart ass. Yeah, and, let me and, tell you something. No, yeah, he's looking and people like Tony, feared like him. Tony Curtis. Uh, I don't oh. know if you ever see pictures of him recently. But yeah, he's look, he's a woman. He's he's not out. looking good. Yeah. No. No, uh, he's a just a big fat woman now. Yeah. Hey, uh, you got his hamstring. Why we paid good money for him? <laughs> I'm gonna tell Joe his job is on the line, even though I love him. <laughs> it's the best coach in baseball. Hey, uh, a whining. Speaking of the Indian boss, the Yankees and the Indians, that uh, that bug game was just amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What the hell was that about? Did they I, explain that? I have no idea, but it was like a, a swarm of locusts. Yeah. I don't know what no, descended on them. It's a large area. That's it, why occasionally there's like it was just, bugs. It's a yeah, field. Like, it was yeah. gnats. You're in the field. Yeah. It was gnats or something. And yeah. Those, and our guys uh, put together all the headlines from that game. They all th and each one of these headlines. Someone thought they were being clever, yeah. right? Right. And original. Uh, front page of the paper stung. They were gnats, uh, first of all. They're gnats. No, they're yeah, just no. a nuisance. Nothing stung anybody. Uh, back page, Doom Buggy. Yanks on verge of elimination after loss to Pesty Tribe. Tribe. Yeah. Uh, 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 hey. Joba Buggin. Of what? course, Joba is one of their relief pitchers. Yeah, but Joba Buggin? Buggin, yeah. Buggin. Because, you know, uh, a lot of bugs. Bugs. <laughs> uh, bombers in O2 hole after bugging out. Mm. Uh, Yanks victim of insecticide. Mm -hmm. uh, the now they're in a swarm of trouble. Uh oh. Wow. It goes on. <laughs> of course it does. Another paper with the front page saying swats up. <laughs> uh, back page bugging out. Uh, reality bites for bombers. Sudden swarm plagues Yanks. A Rod's October not happening. Uh, not happening. Not happening. Wouldn't like the New York Post one day just blow everybody away by just show, having the headline be Yankees lose due to bugs on the field. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> like just... And then the final one: Andy Jem gets lost in the buzz. 
<laughs> so they were having fun with the bug game. That, Can I just um, say one thing the about, Indians about, about old, play. disgusting Steinbrenner Runner for a second? Just go back to that for yeah, a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember I used to be a photographer's assistant. It was this Time Magazine photographer, and I went around with him and... That's kind of uh, cool. It was kind of a cool job. And we took a picture of Ray Kroc, who invented McDonald's. Sure. And uh, in front of a McDonald's, just in Framingham somewhere on a, on Route 9. <laughs> yeah. picture. And he showed up, and he was just this... Miserable? Miserable. He was with a, a blonde in a fur coat, and he had big, weird growths all over his face. Like his oh, face no. was covered with little brown moles that stick <laughs> out. Burgers. Growing out of his yeah, face. Yeah, like literally look like <laughs> burgers. You know those what, old people moles that are actually like uh, two inches off the face? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were just all, his face was covered with these things. Like that, he's that's what a you Star Trek character. That's what you get from eating burgers your whole yeah, life. Yeah, and also just being alive too long. <laughs> too long, being, yeah. You know, and I just thought, God. You I end always... up like one of those old dogs no one wants to pet. No. <laughs> You're so right, because yeah. I caddied for a, you know, for a living for many, many years, and it was a lot of older guys. Mm -hmm. And if you're alive for two too long, stuff really starts happening to yeah. that body. And there's something about millionaires that way, though, because you're like, couldn't he do something? <laughs> Just go to the no. doctor and have those hacked off. Or I used to caddy for a guy. He would wear his golf shirt, and you could see through the golf shirt these huge... I don't even know what they're called. Goiters? Yeah. Oh. They're, they were as big as actual golf balls right. all over this guy's body. Yeah. Oh. That you could see, even though he's wearing a shirt. I'm like, yeah. what is going on with this That's guy? That's frightening. Yeah, no, that's why that's why Steinbrenner has a turtleneck, like from the neck down. Yeah, yeah. Gus, God knows what's happening Jesus. there. Gus. Hey, by the way, speaking of the sports curse, uh, Sergeant G from Iraq. Oh, here's the sports curse. Uh, my Mets. Okay, I'm a Mets fan. We haven't won since '86. Islanders. Everyone knows I'm a huge hockey fan. Yeah. Going, going to uh, today, by the way, to the game. Islanders uh, haven't won since '83. You're still trying your strive for five. Yeah, right. <laughs> strive for five. After a 15-year layoff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, that was a hell degrading. of a dynasty back then. You no got, kidding, you got to really enjoy yourself back 30 years ago, whatever it was. It got cocky, man. I owned her since 83. The Knicks, I'm a huge Knicks fan. Uh, that hasn't happened since 1973. Yeah. And, it, and the Jets, what? What is that? 69? 70? Right? That was it for the Jets? The 69 one? Yeah. Yeah. Really? With Joe Willie Namath? Yeah. And they Broadway Joe? Wow. Guaranteeing and they, the win? And they Jesus Christ, we were we even on the moon yet? I think we had nine, just no. gone to the moon. I think the astronauts in, just got back no, in July. Was 74, wasn't it? No, July, July, July of 69, 72. we went to the moon. I thought it was 72. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we, we, went, we, went, we went in 72 <laughs> also. But I think that was kind Louis of Louis so end far of the... doesn't know uh, when 9-11 happened. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't remember when we landed I on know. the moon. Yeah, it was July, oh. July um 20th? I just know it was 69. Of 1969? I just know that I was helping my dad like uh, uh, plant shrubs in the front of our house when the when that was going yeah. on. Nixon uh, was president. That's all he knew. I went, well, I true. That. Yeah, you got that one. I went to the Nixon library. <laughs> I went to the next library and they have the phone that he called the moon with. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah. And it has an extension number and I wrote it down because I thought you could call that it. might still be the president's extension. <laughs> Hello, like it Louis. Was, it was like Louis, what are you doing? I didn't think Nixon would answer the phone. Oh well, that this would be really yeah, that would be odd. Yeah. Louis. <laughs> But it was one of those yellow phones. Tell me a good joke big about a Jew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, really, really fast uh, football picks. I didn't do well with that either. Uh, football picks sponsored by Dish Network. It's time to get more TV from your TV. Sign up for Dish Network today. I think I got to tell my brother to get lost, man. He's doing my football picks this year. And He's doing a horrid job. You're now in, I believe, last place. I am tied for last place with Sam, who Sam has who, no clue about sports in general. Sam right? knows Absolutely nothing. Yeah, Sam doesn't know which is the home team when he's looking at it. Oh my yeah. god. He doesn't he know. know. He's the second team. <laughs> yep. oh yeah, he doesn't he didn't god. know that. He's like, I don't know where they're playing. He goes, because Ove said something like, just pick all the home teams. He goes, I don't know which ones are home. Like, uh, just look for capital letters. It's like the the second team. Or just capital it's usually letters. at at, this. at this. Yeah. When it's at, it means, you know. So you know nothing. No. Do you know I, about the game at all? Any of the basic rules of the game? Like, could you watch the game and understand everything that's going on? 
I mean, not everything, but I would understand why somebody was winning. Maybe I don't understand why they. <laughs> well, got I, 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 I wasn't Sword even talking that hard. basic. Jeez. Yeah, when when everybody jumps up and down and the numbers on the board go up. Well, I get like you got to go to the end of the field and pass. Do you know guys. about like first downs? Uh, no, I don't know anything about. Come that. on, are you serious? No, I don't serious? know. First, no, I know, you don't know first downs. downs. What? I know touchdowns. Touchdowns. Yeah. How many, down? how how many downs do you get? Wow. You to... How many downs do you get I as a team? Three. Come yep. on, yep. stop. Three, this is too easy. No, I have no idea. <laughs> I went home uh, over the I'm weekend. Dude, you're you? tied with this guy. My oh. dad was like, how are you doing this Elbow weekend? Out. And I was He's like, out. What? My dad was like, how are you doing this weekend with the football picks? And I was like, I have no idea. I have no recollection of what teams I picked. But yeah, you don't even remember the names no. of the teams. I don't know what games we Wait, you played. think each team gets three downs? And I have what, no idea. And then what happens? Yeah, what happens after their three downs? <laughs> they get a uh, couple <laughs> <What>? of points. <laughs> they get a couple of points. <laughs> yeah. Let's say they have their three downs yeah. and they haven't made it to the end zone. What do they have to do? They got to stop there and then make it to the end zone. But or... they're done. They're done? They're done. They did their, as you said, three downs. Are, are you gay? No, I'm what, not gay. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? What happened? Let's say they had four downs. Okay. So now, what would they do on that fourth down? <laughs> Turn around. To go the other way. Go the other way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, I didn't mean to insult the gays because they... <laughs> I mean, that's what the heck? People are football fans. Wow. Right. Wait, how many points for a touchdown? That's six, and then uh, the extra point. I know that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. How many for a field goal? I don't know anything about it. I guess one. If one is the extra point, I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, Sam. <laughs> one. I don't know anything about field goal. Thanks for the good radio, but this can't be true. No, it's true. I feel, I feel like I should be Damone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and don't forget about the, t what, the 20 point spread. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about it. It's a luck. You win. Like, yeah. Yeah. If one wow. team is on offense, what is the other team? Defense. All right, that's ah uh, defense. And who's your Def favorite team in the NFL? Uh, the Giants. Mm. They're blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're tied with this guy. Oh my god, brother Elmo. Elmo Wait, f up. Elmo self destructed. Well, he, he pulled a Mets. This is what happened, Lloyd. The the football picks is pretty much who gives a crap. I understand that. You We're know. trying to make something out of it. Last year, I was sucking with the picks, so I, I handed it off to my brother. He plays fantasy football, and he came out of nowhere to, to win the whole thing with Travis. Won, he won me ten grand, I think, right? Or 5000 each. We had to split the ten grand, which I still haven't gotten, by the way. I, I don't know what's up with that. No. And uh, so this year, I'm like, all right, I'll have Brother Elmo pick the games from the beginning. And all these guys are like, yeah, that's not fair. They're all bitching and complaining. Mm -hmm. My brother's a disaster. I'm tied with this guy. <laughs> I'm tied with this guy in last who, place. Who thinks that a field goal is one point. Yeah. <laughs> Name one football player. LT. Lawrence. <laughs> 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 he's getting a little old now, though. No, he's not. You're going to have to pick another one. Cause what's, his, uh, what's his record been this year? Wow. Well, I know he's not How playing. How many right yards now? does LT have? Pick, pick one player that's <laughs> playing. A possession. we got a uh, new Sam bit. I love this. Oh. One lousy player. Brett Favre. All right. Well, All right. I didn't even barely, like... Both both football players Sam's named have been in movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once they're in movies, yeah. LT wrestled at WrestleMania too. Uh, so. Okay, he loves That's his fine. wrestling. So, yeah. and he's blue, or he was. Yeah, he was. He's blue. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm in last place with you. <laughs> Thank you, Dish Network, for helping us out with the football picks. Wow, uh, Sam. All right, we have to take a break. So uh, that is stunning. Lack of knowledge. <laughs> I know other stuff. I don't know football. Yeah. But, but like, even if you don't watch, this, you should know something. Have you ever, like, sat with a game on, just sat for a few minutes? Yeah, I usually watch the Super Bowl. Then you should have picked it all up. You're right. stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm yeah, even sorry. if you watch just the Super Bowl once you a year, you should know, know all the rules. All the, the Every at least the, the basics. We're going to have to sign them up for one of those chick courses they do right around Super Bowl time where they have all the, <laughs> you know, they get the women together to teach, uh, them, teach them the rules of the game. Just watch a game. I'm not talking you should know every time a yellow flag goes flying what the penalty was. Yeah. Like that. Well, my mother's a football, she's a patient. Patriots fan, she has two Tom Brady action figures on top of her TV. Two, two of them. 
Really? Made by two different companies. You couldn't decide which one she likes. Two of them. Pats are unstoppable yeah. this year. Yes, they are. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, oh, no. Boston. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Boston. Oh. You just heard it here. <laughs> sorry, Remember, Mom. Remember, just mark that tape. Sorry, mark Mom. mark what Opie just up. said. <laughs> And Ed knows when I'm saying oh. stuff naturally and then not for Yeah, that was lying. that was real that was sincere. Yeah, that it was. just came out. Oh God, I'm so sorry, Boston. Uh, the curse gods are like, dude, give us a minute. Yeah, hey, we're still dealing with your oh, baseball team. They really are unstoppable. Let's, okay. Let's be honest with you. All right. Damn, unstopable. You heard it here. My jets suck D. All right. How many uh, yards to get a first down there, Sam? I'll go 15. Okay, 15. Come on. On a five-yard penalty. What, you, what is a, th what it's a third back? What is that? Huh? What's a third back? It's like, I don't know, 33%. <laughs> it's amazing because I made it up. It doesn't exist. He, I, but he found a definition he has an answer, for it. But he has an answer for has everything. An answer for no matter how stupid or wrong it is, yeah. it's an answer. He's, he's throwing him out. He's yeah. giving it a shot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll take a little break. Yeah, we do have to take a break. Uh, School this boy in uh, football. We'll get into the Sharpton thing. We got another guy getting kicked off a flight for wearing a dumb T-shirt. Uh, lots of stuff to do. We got the audio of Anthony falling asleep on the air. We'll Great. try to do that next, actually, so stay there. It's Opie and Anthony with Louis C.K. today. Yeah, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. Mm -hmm. Tom Chiasano just walked in here. And I, I said, uh, Tom, why are we even working today? And he even said, yeah, I really don't know why you guys are here why? today. I'm like, isn't this a great day to take off, recharge the batteries? Like, as far as morning show listening goes, today is one of these days where most people are sleeping in because they don't have to work. <laughs> That's a great picture right there. As a uh, uh, Iraq put up a picture of uh, Tom Chisano and Steve from Bayshore, who now does the show rundown for the Opie and Anthony show, and he's, uh, I guess, commenting on Tom's tie. Well, he does that every day. Yeah, when he sees uh, Tom come into the studio on Pal Talk. By the way, ninety two three K Rock dot com, ninety two three K Rock dot com for the Opie and Anthony show rundown. Mm -hmm. It's great, and now Steve's doing it. And he links to all the stuff we talk about. So if there's a video in the news or a cool website or a cool picture, yeah, it's all right there it. during the, uh, you know, as you're reading the show rundown. Yeah. We're trying to get another website so the rest of the stations could uh, enjoy it a little more because, you know, the other radio stations don't like when we're mm -hmm. promoting the New York station. So we're trying to come up with another website where that show rundown will be right there for everybody. Got to love Steve. Give me Jack. I thought your guy also had a good uh, response when you said that. What's his name? Tom. I don't know. Tom Giussano. Yeah. Yeah. You said, why do we have not have today off? And he said, well, I didn't think of it. And then you said, neither did I. And he said, well, so my defense is the same as yours. <laughs> it's yours. It's very corporate. It really was very corporate. I'm sure that gets said in a lot of room, a lot of corporate boardrooms. Well, he, well he my is, defense is the same as yours, sir. He learned we, at we the... We are on par. He learned at the right hand of Mel Karmazin. Yeah. So uh, sometimes you, he will... Um, He'll he'll kind of remind you of Mel in some of the ways where you'll you'll be asked a question that has no answer. Yep, it is just thrown out there to kind of trip you up a little yeah. bit. Absolutely, my defense is the same as yours. Yeah, yes, They're brilliant, right? Perfect. Perfect. And yeah, very All corporate. Right. That's in the corporate handbook. Yeah, throw it back at them whenever <laughs> you can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got Sailor E from Jacksonville. Opie and Sleepy is easier to pronounce. <laughs> Opie and Sleepy. Uh, Joe from Detroit. Pardon me, I just tuned in. I was wondering if Ant brought a pillow today. Yeah. I'm not a narcoleptic. <laughs> Big news. Jesus one Christ. One time in all those years. One time in 12 years, almost yeah. 13 years, I decide to snooze with a half hour yeah, left. Well, if you're Big, an air traffic controller, there'd be a thousand. That could be a people. problem, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Can't afford once. A D joke didn't get out. <laughs> yeah. If you're just tuning in, well, Anthony fell. He kind of went to sleep during the show on Friday. Not just a little nod off like uh, Rich Voss does from time to time. Patrice O'Neill will doze a little bit yep. during the breaks. You know, this morning radio, is a, it's, a, it's a tough one. I went through a phase where I was just nodding that I could have recovered but uh, it, it just there was no stimulus there yeah. to get me uh, back to the waking world, so I just poof out. So gone, Anthony gone. was out cold. Mm -hmm. We decided to leave the show. 
uh, leave his microphone on, and I whispered in the background that we're going to just play some uh, very soft music so Anthony could continue his sleep. Oh, it's nice. And eventually... <laughs> He will wake up. So uh, have fun listening to this crap. I'm going home early. <laughs> That's basically what I, did. So I found an excuse to get the f out early and still do Radio Gold. It, it was perfect. Hey, you know something? I was asleep, but by gum, I was there. <laughs> so, just really quick, uh, we had Steve like uh, do some voiceover. So, could you play the first one? This is actually Ant sleeping, and then Steve just kind of checking in every once in a while. Go ahead. You're listening to the soothing sounds of the Opie and Anthony radio program. Anthony has been asleep for nine minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, and then and then oh, it just continued with the soft blackout. music. Now, you got to remember, Anthony's mic was on. Yeah. And everyone was just waiting to see when he was going to wake up. And as that was uh, happening, Steve would pop in every once in a while. You're listening to the soothing sounds of the Opie and Anthony radio show. On XM Satellite Radio, Anthony has been asleep for 12 minutes. Classical music, I, uh, nice and soft. Uh, and, and the people on Pal Talk were watching me asleep, and there were record numbers of people. We have had some things happen in studio that have been bizarre, sexual, uh, violent, uh, and not had as many people log on as there were people watching me sleep. How many people were in there? I, I believe it was over a 1,000 at one point. Wow. Yeah, it it just got crazy. And for Pal Talk, that is giant numbers. Yeah, like right There's, now, there's probably a couple hundred in there. In any, like, give it, at any given time, in any of the nude rooms where, you know, guys will go in there and do their business because there's women doing horrid things to themselves, there's probably 250 people in there. Mm -hmm. There were like a 1,000 people in there watching Watch me you. sleep. Yeah. You sleep. <laughs> and then it continued. Steve popped in, uh, you know, again. You are listening to the soothing sounds of the Opie and Anthony show on XM202, the virus. Anthony has been asleep for 15 minutes. <laughs> if you listen closely, you'll hear him wake up very gently and realize the microphone is still on and the studio is empty. Enjoy. And then finally, we did get to that point. Oh, How many minutes was he asleep officially? Did we figure it out? 24. 24? Was it that long? That's when we started oh. keeping track, though. Yeah. He was out way before then. I think it was close to a half hour, and I got Wow. All right, and uh, this is finally Anthony waking up and realizing that everyone went home and that his mic was still uh, still live and people yeah. people were going to you know listen to him wake up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not much there. It's just a guy oh, waking up. What, what do you mean by hyenas? Yeah, was that in your that? dream or something? No, no. I, I was, I was talking to uh, Than and Sam. Sam is there with the. He's like under. Uh, it looked like something out of uh, Wild Kingdom. He was behind a blind. He was actually hiding and videotaping me. And then I looked and knew that since the Paltor camera was zoomed in on me, that it was Than that had to have circumnavigated the camera so i was just like oh hyenas <laughs> a bunch of hyenas well they were kind of scared they don't know they didn't know how you were going to react when you finally woke up yeah with gunfire no kidding <laughs> let's go to cigars and scotch what's up cigars hey it's going on hey man i just find this is proof positive that you do better radio in your sleep than your competition <laughs> <laughs> yeah because everyone no one turned off the show well, I was. We um, actually got more listeners because Anthony was asleep. Yeah. Asleep. Note to self. Because people wanted to see how it was going to end. Note to self. Sleep more on the air. It was a cliffhanger. <laughs> more sleep on the air. Uh, I did get back some of the Pal Talk people, though, because uh, I logged on Saturday night and just got railed. The second I logged on, they wouldn't stop. Hey, Rip Van Winkle. Hey, you want to snooze? Not, there's not that many jokes. Not though. many sleepy jokes no. that you can hey, do. Hey, you slept. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 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 you're falling asleep over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was Saturday night, and I'm just hanging out on Pal Talk and talking about stuff after they got past that point. And as I was on cam, I looped a video mm -hmm. of me being on cam. And then I just switched it out for my live shot <laughs> and left go. it on and went to bed. That's I woke up the next afternoon. I woke up on, on Sunday, probably at noon. I got out of bed. And went downstairs and turned my computer on. It was still there, and the room is still full. 
and people are talking to me. <laughs> Some people are on to it and we're saying it's a loop, but other people are just like, no, dude. It, um, what? And they go, dude, look at his windows. It's nighttime. It's <laughs> noon. Where is he? India? <laughs> <laughs> Look how he jerks into weird positions. Yeah, yeah, and there was a little glitch in there. Yeah, of course. A little a little glitch Jeez. from, uh, yeah, you like the be... scene from Speed where right. he set the uh, the video. You could be dead for two years and keep your... Uh, you could just still stay on Pal Talk. Keep getting checked. You could, you could still be alive on Pal Talk. Hey, yeah. So there you go, the video. Uh, well, are we throwing up a video on our, our website? We've got pictures of Anthony asleep on our oh, website. Yeah. I, I like the one with my feet kicked up because that kind of makes it look like that's why... I kind of nodded out. We also got uh, some videos that are going up on YouTube. The fans are making their own version of you sleeping on YouTube. Oh, good. It's good. becoming the latest so a phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys saying? Yeah, the video's going up today. We kind of just wanted to see how it played out today because right when Ant w woke up, it might have just been he was doing the eyes bugging out. I'm oh, I was. I was thing, like, but uh -uh. it looked like he wanted to kill everybody. Oh, yeah. Five foot range. No, I was just confused. Okay. You, you, sometimes you wake up uh, in a hotel room and you go like, you know, where the hell am I? What the, yeah. what is, what is, what day is this? What time is that? Am I supposed to be somewhere? And I'm just like, yeah, that that is confused guy eyes. That that is how I'm gonna look in an old folks home. <laughs> Those eyes. Dude, what were you thinking? I need something to eat, and I wet myself. What were you thinking when you looked around the studio and no one was around? How creepy uh, was that? It started sinking in that, oh, my God, I know I was nodding off, and I must have fallen asleep. Uh -huh. I had no idea how long I'd been asleep. The music's playing, so I'm like, and I looked around, and I didn't see anybody, so I, I had no clue. It could have been five in the afternoon. The worst How long the did world... you think you were asleep for? Uh... Longer than I was. I thought I was asleep for a couple of hours. Oh, really? Yeah, so that freaked me out. The worst thing in the world is waking up in jail. <laughs> you go Because when you fall asleep in jail, oh, no. and you go somewhere else, you dream. You're not going to be in jail. Yeah, you wake up and you go, oh, my God, I'm here. Yeah. Ugh, it's the worst. The Naps are the world. weirdest thing after yeah. work, because usually you've got to take like at least an hour so you can just function for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and you wake up and... You have no idea if you're, how, if you're supposed to be at work. Yeah. Like, I look at the clock and go, oh, my God, it's like 4 o'clock. Yeah, I'm board, supposed which... to get up. And then you look out, but it's light out. But yeah. is well, it summer? What the hell's going on? Which 5 o'clock is this? Yeah. yeah. Those, yeah. those like, naps have no concept, though. I mean, no, sometimes I'll no. wake up and I'll think, all right, I slept my hour, hour and a half. And I look at the clock, I'm like, 10 minutes? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so there you go. You can check out all that stuff for yourself. It's all over the place. Have fun. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, we should do this before break. He wants uh, Isaiah Thomas to apologize. And if uh, Isaiah Thomas, of course, the head coach of the Knicks, doesn't apologize, mm -hmm. uh, he wants everyone to stop going to Knicks games. This uh, is insane. Isn't that happening? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that? Well, uh, yeah, it's happening. Sharpton's cause... the black guy, right? He's the black guy? Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, making sure. Why He's, is he uh, getting involved with, in everyone's business? Yeah, I don't know. It, what does he it, want him to apologize for? Um, for saying derogatory things toward women. Toward black women. Toward black women? Oh, right, of course, because he doesn't he care about, about anyone women? else. That's true. Yeah. Uh, called her the B word. Bitch. He called her that went, like, during the sexual harassment uh, lawsuit that, that went down? That yeah. she just got awarded 11 Million, million dollars for so eleven he and a half says million. He said that because of, like he said that publicly. Or? No, during work, during work. What is he? He's and that's worth eleven million dollars. Yeah, yeah, and no. that's not good enough for Reverend Al. Now, now I say, why does this guy think he can tell everybody what to do? Why How they should be can... apologizing and for what? Or in telling people not to go to the games? Yeah. And more importantly, is some way to try to activate socially. Yep. What a stupid idiot this He's guy is. He's a jerk. He's he the worst guy alive. And, and and for some reason, and I blame the uh, Democrats for letting him get up there and speak at their convention, yep. he has this credibility that he never had before. Yep. He was always the goofy sweatsuit, big yeah, hubcap medallion joke, joke mm -hmm. that would be a race-baiting, taunting, you know, Nobody white interloper. No no one took him seriously with the Tawana Brawley debacle. And then the, he dresses in a suit, and the Democrats let him talk, and all of a sudden he's got this credibility that people yeah. seem to think 
If he says something, they should do it. He's an adult. Well, this is what he's saying today. Isaiah Thomas speaks to Reverend Al Sharpton, but so far... And now freaking Isaiah Thomas has to meet with Reverend Al Sharpton. Why are people meeting with this guy? Stop! Let him crawl back to his crap hole that he was in. It doesn't when... help if you said something. Like every time somebody says that, well, i got to meet with the Reverend Al now. Yeah, and yeah. what's going to happen in that room, really? Same thing that happened to Imus. They show, at least they showed that live. Yeah. It wasn't a, a private meeting. It was on the air, and you just saw him crucify Don Imus. Uh, Don Imus did apologize. Reverend Al wasn't accepting it. No apology. Sharpton says he wants Thomas to say he's sorry for statements he made in a videotaped deposition shown in his sexual harassment case. In that video, Thomas said it is worse for a white man to use the B word against a black woman than it is for a black man to use the same word against a black woman. Reverend Sharpton says if Thomas does not apologize, he will launch protests and call for boycotts of upcoming Knicks games. Stop meeting with Reverend Al. I know enough. Just stop. He's not it's good enough. Don't you think it's good enough that th th this woman got 11 million? Move on. He's not even. He's the smart. coach of the Knicks. He's not oh. even intelligent. No, he's not. That's the thing. He's not. He's stupid. He's a dumbbell. I told Mr. Thomas that our position has nothing to do with whether. The person using the language is black or white. We do not have different standards for sexism or racism. Thomas says he has nothing to apologize for since he has already clarified that it is wrong for any man to insult any woman. Tuesday, Isaiah Thomas and Madison Square Garden were found guilty you know of sexually harassing former Knicks executive Anuka Brown Sanders. Thomas and MSG both say they will appeal. You know what? It's not wrong for any man to insult any woman. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. It's not wrong to insult a person. It's insulting to them, but it doesn't mean you can't do it. You can call people names. Name calling is okay. Yeah. Because people get mad at each other and they call each other names. Oh, yeah, that's well, what happens at this, work. This new idea. People think that they like that. There's something in the Constitution that protects them from being offended. Like there's something wrong with offending people. Like, mm -hmm. like they actually have. Like they actually think it's in the Bill of Rights, freedom from being offended or feeling <laughs> icky about something <laughs> someone yeah, said. Icky, icky. You're not. You're not protected. <laughs> people get to offend you, and you get to sit there and go, "Oh, that didn't bother me," and then shut up. There's no, there's, there's nothing that keeps, no right. People have a right to be gross and insulting, and people mm -hmm. have a right to say bad things all they want. Yeah, and and uh, not, not according to Reverend Al. Yeah, and, no, that's why he has is, to die in a pool of his own blood and and <laughs> uh, secretions. And you can't tell anybody to apologize. It doesn't work. No. You can't say apologize because it will not be a sincere apology. No, it really has to not, come from it's yourself. It's okay if he's not sorry. Yeah, who cares? Yes. He's not sorry. He's not sorry. I'm not he sorry. He doesn't have to be. No. Wow, that's a lot of fruit, Kenny. <laughs> no, <kidding>. thank you. <laughs> hey, why don't we play the Reverend Al song today? I love this thing. Oh, this one is timeless. This thing is almost 10 years old and it still makes sense It still today. makes sense. Uh, Reverend Al, everybody. Guns running when the cops get out of hand. Who thinks the mayor's in the Ku Klux Klan? Yelling and a screaming as he's speaking to a mob. He wears expensive suits, but he doesn't have a job. Reverend Al, Reverend Al, he's your pal. Reverend Al, well, he's sapping off the people in his own community. Why is the white man always picking on me? Got a fat belly and his hair's full of grease. We hear his battle cry. No justice, no peace. The man with a plan who you know you can trust. The party little reverend with an after's like a buzzy. Reverend Al, Reverend Al, he's your pal. Reverend Al, he looks like James Brown with too many calories. The white man always picking on me. Remember Bernie Gets in the Brawley case. Turn on the TV, you would always see his face. He's speeding in his limo to another homicide. To make the network news with the family by his side. Reverend Al, 
Anita from Long Island. What's up, Anita? You know, I think Reverend Al is not really hitting the target, the real target, and he's not really hitting the issues. If he wants to stop all this name, he needs to attack the first graders who are starting it. And then, and only then, if he attacks them and, you know, makes them pay money and boycott the first graders, then he'll probably get get somewhere with this whole thing. First graders? <laughs> what, first graders? What, what are they on? doing? Oh, they're name-calling their asses off, right, Anita? Exactly. So if he attacks the first graders at the source, then maybe he'll get somewhere with this. So you're class. saying, like, yeah, like the first first graders of the world are the ones that are starting all this. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. In the playground. I think he's afraid. I think he's afraid to really hit the issue. Yeah, something happens. That would be yeah. awesome if he Timmy just started Wilson yelling. called <laughs> right. Brenda Karloff. And unless he apologizes, we're taking his crayons away. Now, crayons. he said that she had cooties. Right. I demand an apology. It's wrong for any little boy to say cooties to any little girl. She does not have cooties. This, I do not want to disparage cootie Americans. People living with cooties. People are not dying from cooties. They are living with cooties. And if he don't apologize, we're taking his finger paints away from him. <laughs> oh, God. He, we are going to have him miss Friday pizza day. Right. <laughs> if he does not apologize. <laughs> what, a, what a complete tool. Wow. Anita, first graders, where did that come from? Hey, here's the thing. It used to be. I'm a first grade in the back, in the back seat right now. Huh? I have a first grade in the back seat right now, and, you know, she's name calling. Oh, uh, what is her favorite name? What does she say? Give us an example of her name calling. Um, you know, they just call, just booger head and... Um, booger head? Booger head! I demand an apology! I demand that a booger head... A head cannot be an entire booger! It is not only inappropriate, it is a re it is, it is ridiculous to assume. Oh, by the way, let me fix this little girl up. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now I have my cootie shot. <laughs> you are cured, young girl. Is it true? It she said, booger-headed ho. <laughs> <laughs> booger-headed ho. <laughs> this is inappropriate. She's going to have to find a new school to complete first grade in. <laughs> <laughs> what other... Uh... Thank God he counteracted with an I am rubber, your glue, whatever you say bounces off of me and sticks to you. <laughs> what other name calling does she do? You know, like stinky butt and things like stinky that. Stinky butt is unacceptable. Is this, this accurate? This nation will not tolerate our beautiful black women and other girls being called stinky butt. Stinky butt. <laughs> Does she have a stinky butt? <laughs> I'm calling for a boycott of the three-legged race. <laughs> <laughs> No chocolate milk. <laughs> you may not watch Dora the Explorer for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I have smelled the child's butt and it is not stinky. <laughs> <laughs> I am making a difference in America. No chocolate milk, no peace. <laughs> There's a war going on, you idiot. <laughs> right. Yeah, the, stupid jackass. A few more important things to deal with. God, that's what... Uh, a lot of people pointing out at least he's going after a black guy for once. Yeah, but that's just to oh, show he's what he's doing. Yeah. He stinks. All right, Anita. That he's trying to clean everybody up. 
Why don't you wash your uh, little first grader's mouth out with soap? Yeah, and and the butt. I think it's child abuse now. Huh? I think it's child abuse now to do that. Yes, it is child you abuse now. Soap, yeah. yeah, you can't do anything. You know, uh, it used to just be called going to work and having a crappy day yeah. when your boss yelled at you and called you names and did yeah. things. I've been called an a-hole. I've been, I've been called horrid things on my jobs yeah. uh, when life. I was working for a living. Yeah, it's called life. Too bad. Deal with it. It isn't worth $11.5 million. And now, by the way, I just heard this morning, two other women... Uh, coincidentally enough, have just come forward. Want their pay and, now. And Madison Square Garden uh, was sexually uh, uh, discriminating against them, and they now want the big well, friggin' look, payday. That's, that's their problem. That's their thing. But it has nothing to do with this guy. You know what no. I mean? It's got nothing to do with Reverend Al. It's, oh. No, no. Reverend Al should just what, stay the hell out of it. The big issues is what little words that people are saying. Are, it doesn't even yep. matter if the words are wrong. It doesn't matter that they're wrong. No. It doesn't matter that no. people say wrong things, even if you can definitely prove that it hurts Not lots at all. Of people's feelings. It doesn't matter. This, uh, this no one, no one gets to get protected from it. No, you have to hear harsh, ugly it's things. Life. In life. This this Baby. woman wins eleven and a half million dollars. Well, when, and when she we read gets the... on and and gives a speech about how she did it for all. She women. did it for all working women, and you know what this does for working women? Uh, d divvy up the eleven million, then. Yeah, divvy up the eleven million. Right. I did. She goes. I did it for every woman that has to go to work in the morning. Now that she's not one of them, yep. uh, but it it I think it makes bosses go. I'm not going to hire women because right. I don't want to deal with this, and I'm scared oh. sless of women in the workplace. We don't work yep. with women. Uh, when I see a, a, a woman in the hallway around here, I'm very nice and polite. And very gentle is, pinch on is, the ass. Very gentle. I won't, little, I won't squeeze till it bruises. Little, Not anymore. No, you can't leave marks. A little, no. little pat is good. A little, little pat, pat on the ass. Good job there, toots, I say good sometimes. Good job, toots is nice, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little uh, hubba hubba every once in a while. Hubba hubba, nice stems. <laughs> I just use a, a lingo from the 20s and 30s, so hopefully they don't understand and think I'm talking about work. Right, right. <laughs> Oh, all right. Just everybody, keep your nose out of everyone's business. Let's go to Mike in Jersey. Mikey. And by the way, I was doing a voice just to help the bit along. Relax. I'm not trying to do voices. Oh, yeah, doing Mike. a voice equals not funny. No, it's not even Mike that said that. Go ahead, Mike. 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 This is an Hello? important call. Mike, is that Why you? Why you in the boys' room, Mike? Mike. Hello there. Yeah. Is your name Mike? How are you? Is your name Mike? Good morning. Is your name Mike? Yes, good morning. Is your name Mike? Yes, it is. So why does it take so effing long? Um, uh, My brain is soft at this hour. Well, then, that was really then maybe you shouldn't yeah. call the radio show. Yeah. What do you got, Mike? Listen, you guys are doing a great job with this story. You're the only media outlet covering it all, the absurdity of it all. And, uh, not covering not, something. Not, not one mainstream outlet anywhere on TV, radio, has, has said two words about it. Uh, a girl in, um, in, in the Midwest somewhere was uh, practically raped at a McDonald's uh, and was awarded $5 million. She was tortured, bodily tortured, for, for two and a half hours by the uh, nutty employee there. How is that related? Nutty. How does that, I'll tell you how, how it relates. I'll tell you how it relates because it's a conversation Ant and I had. Like I was sort of following the Madison Square Garden, Isaiah Thomas thing and the sexual harassment thing. And when she was awarded eleven million, I'm like, God, horrific things must have happened to this woman. Yeah. yeah. There must have been some of that you know oh, what so type of that, action going right. on. And then I, I hear that it was over a couple words. Words. I'm like and then we had words. calls coming in, Louis, all morning one recently. Oh, yeah, that... Where guys are like, dude, I, I pretty much lost my arm on the job. I got ten thousand dollars. Ten grand because his <laughs> arm was ripped out of the socket. And, and this woman was like practically raped and tortured and she got not even half with that woman. She got, got five million, but yeah, yeah but, but not, eleven and a half million for little. words. Uh, yeah. For words. Words hurt that That's much. That's the jerky boys bit. The well I was hurt by his words. Oh, God. Were you injured? Yes. Look, the money. And look, I, you know, we don't want to have this whole issue confused here. We understand that you shouldn't have to work in a hostile work environment. But, but they've stretched that definition way beyond the bounds. I think if a boss is smacking her on the ass, saying, you know, if you uh, keep up, uh, you know, do a good job, and you know what I mean, you'll get that promotion. Mm -hmm. And she's got to go into his office and sit on his lap or something in, in order to get a promotion. There's a problem. If the boss calls you a a bitch or an a-hole 
uh, maybe you're being a bitch. Well, maybe that, he's cranky. He's the boss. Wait, is that why he did he say it like insultingly because he was mad at her? Or did he just call his? Hey, come here, bitch. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I I don't know, but even that I, isn't worth eleven and a half million dollars. I, I think dollars. eleven and a half million dollars. <laughs> I think every Knicks no fan should world. be awarded eleven yeah. and a half million dollars because they haven't had a team on that yeah. court in <laughs> decades at this yeah. point. So w worth following. It sure is. What does it say about the jury system? Uh, it's ridiculous, Mike. Absolutely ridiculous. Eleven and a half million uh, for a couple words. And now Reverend Al basically wants Isaiah Thomas fired. I mean, that's what he's hinting at. That's what he's, hinting at. Yeah. That's you know, what he's women, hinting at. Women at work, it's like it's hard. I think it must be just the years, the centuries of that we are allowed to rape them <laughs> for centuries. <laughs> that it wasn't even illegal until like 1948. I think. I, I just, that's <laughs> why I love watching illegal. those old movies. Yeah, We're like, hey, toots, like, come here. Well, that's what I saw a movie recently about Doris Day having to land a plane because the pilot died. Oh, Jesus. And so the whole flight she's landing the plane and everybody that comes on all these different people keep it's one of the original 1940s help the lady land the plane things <laughs> every guy that comes on the horn goes okay honey okay dear <laughs> right honey You're doing a great job sweetie pie all right she, just, she doesn't care keep your nose up but like my sister works at a uh, or years ago worked at a place and uh there was a guy that worked there who liked to talk to women way too close and he'd sort of press his privates against their knee. Like he would just press his... Yeah, I got you. Don't explain self. Too yeah. Their right. knee or whatever. Wow, that's a little and much. he did it to everybody and they were all... None of them... They would talk about it in the break room, the women, but then none of them could do it. They just felt paralyzed yeah. and unable to, to act. And finally, my sister, during a meeting, he did it, it, it with everybody. Like, he just sort of subtly came over and pressed. And she loudly, in front of the boss and everybody in the game, hey, how come you keep pressing the, that against my knee? That's really... That's really inappropriate. And he was just... He turned white and she she was just like, you always do that. You're so weird and sexually aggressive. Wow. Like in front of the boss and everybody. And he just, he, and then all the women did that from then on. They I bet just, it ended. They needed yeah. one example of yeah. like, yeah, just say stop it, you pig. All right, Toots, you're going to bring her in. Now, <laughs> see that thing that looks like a, a spatula handle? <laughs> That's the flaps. Pull that down. Now, turn the dial that looks like, um... Like a washing machine control. <laughs> yeah, turn that. Like where you'd put rinse. Yeah, do that. Now that other thing, it looks like um, uh, a spoon you'd mix cake mix with. <laughs> you got it there, sweet cheeks? <laughs> hey, we're running really late. we got to take a quick break it's here. fantastic. Hey, Lou, are you promoting anything today? I'm at uh, this weekend. I'm at the Hard Rock. I mean, no, not the Hard Rock. What am I saying? The, the, <laughs> oh House, of, the House of Blues in Vegas on Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday, okay. And San Diego at the Spreckles Theater. we got a nice following out west. we yeah. got uh, a whole group of people that call themselves the Pests Out the West. The Pests Out West. Well, so have, you'll see please some... come see me Saturday at the, at the House of Blues. You'll see some uh, POWs. They like That's to be right. called uh, out at your show this Saturday. Yes. Okay. Saturday and Friday. And let's at the not forget Freckles Theater in San Diego. Let's not forget Jay Leno tonight. Uh, little Jimmy Norton will be on. Jimmy, Check him he's out. out there in L.A. Uh, taping in a few hours or whatever later yep. this yep. afternoon. It's Opie and Anthony. Opie, Anthony, Louis C.K. today. Jim Norton out there in L.A. getting ready for Jay Leno tonight. Make sure you take a peek. Phone number eight seven seven two one two O and A. Let's say hi to Spiro in uh, Cleveland or Spiro. What? what Spiro, Spiro, what is it? Greek. Yeah, it's Spiro, man. What's up, Spiro? What's up, man? I never hear from you, anybody from Cleveland. I'm talking to Nash Maxwell. You're what? Time, uh, and you guys were talking about them last week. They got all these crappy billboards in Cleveland. That radio is hack radio, dude. Oh. Oh, oh, we yeah. Were, yeah, we were talking about them last week. Oh, yeah, we slapped them around a little bit. I guess that's like a huge thing for their show. For us, it's just one of many things we're doing. So, you know, there you go. Hey, uh, go Indians, by the way, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's awesome. And what's going on with LeBron James wearing that Yankee hat uh, during the game? What's going on? He's a douche. <laughs> He's a douche. That is like, that's pretty That's pretty bad. Who's LeBron James? <clears throat> LeBron James is the star player of the Cleveland Cavaliers, of course, and during the, the Cleveland Indians game in Cleveland, he's sitting in the stands with a Yankee cap on. Wow. And he said uh, that he's been a Yankee fan his entire life. Oh, okay. But, 
<laughs> but maybe, <laughs> yeah, but maybe you should go to the game without the Yankee hat. It's yeah. a different sport. You can't pay you know, they take that dollars to fake it, though. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to have some city pride. Yeah, I know. They, they're, they're slaves to their uniforms. That's yeah. it. Who cares? There's no city pride. The next, they, if he got a deal to go somewhere else, then he'd be supposed to be a fan of that city's team. Mm -hmm. Well, the rumor is he's going to come down here to uh, Brooklyn when the Nets yeah. go to Brooklyn. There you go. Then he could be a Dodgers fan. Because he's uh, the old Brooklyn Dodgers. <laughs> well, it's going to be the Brooklyn Nets, and Jay Z's uh, pretty much what the owner of the team or the part owner or whatever. Yeah. So, and the uh, your your buddy there, your buddy, you're not a Pats fan, are you? I like the Pats. I don't pay attention to them. Tom Brady during the off season walking around uh, downtown Manhattan with a Yankee hat <laughs> on. Was he really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Shit out of here, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, wow. They're yeah, an awfully good team. They weren't really happy about that in Boston. No. He's just walking around with his chick with a Yankee cap on trying yeah. to, I guess, fit in down here. I don't know. Right. But there was a little outrage as far as that goes. Who do you well, think's going all the way uh, as far as uh, football goes? Uh, oh. Oh man, the Pats are unstoppable yeah. this year. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What are they? Five and zero oh at this oh, point. Oh, you just tell them up. Five and zero, oh, man. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> yeah, that'll look like. Oh my goodness, then they started out so promising <laughs> at five and zero. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, in Chicago, a couple marathoners dead because of the heat. And this, yeah. And this leads into the uh, discussion we we're having yeah. during the break here. It's not supposed to be summer in October, and it's kind of summer in October for the East Love Coast. Yep. And I used to be like a – I never ran a marathon officially, but I used to run a lot of half marathons. I was a runner back in you know my day. And uh, they plan these marathons in these cities when the temperature is a bit cooler. It's supposed to be cool right now. Right. Yeah. You're not supposed to be running a marathon in 90-degree weather. It's Chicago. Chicago October, in October yeah. is supposed it, to be, that should br be brisk. That should be yeah, – No, I just I, – I was in L.A. just now, and it was like in the 50s. It was cold yep. when I left, and I landed in Kansas City – and it was like 90 degrees. And then I went yeah. to Wisconsin. I was just in Madison, Wisconsin, and it was over 90. Yeah. What the, what the hell? It makes no sense. And yeah. here in New York, it's just been in the 80s, and it's been great. It's going to be 86 yeah. today in New York. I yeah. love the global warming. By the way. I love it. We know that LeBron is from Cleveland. Yeah. He plays for the Cavaliers, but he's also born and right. raised in Cleveland as well. We know that. Uh, drama daddy. Well, the Yankees are a good team, and, and Cleveland is not a, any kind of city to be proud of. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be a jerk. Good afternoon, uh, Yeah, good Cleveland. afternoon, Cleveland. Good afternoon, Cleveland. So uh, we were talking about the global warming thing. Yeah, it's not – we were saying how it's not a it, – people think we're doing something wrong, uh -huh. but we're not aside from the earth. We're part of it. We're organisms that came out of the earth, and now we're making it go cold. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, whatever happens is supposed to happen. Yes. We're not, we are animals we're part of nature. indigenous to this planet. So whatever we do, whatever resources we are smart enough to dig out of the ground or pull well, out of the air smart. or the water. It's just we're organisms. We're like yeast that, that eat sugar and make alcohol yeah. by pooping it. Right. We just we take stuff out of the ground and we burn it, and it's going to yeah. make the earth. But it, there's not people have this thing that they think the earth is supposed to last forever. That we have a right to this forever. <laughs> Again, the right. It's, yeah. yeah, no, we don't. We have no protection from from uh, global warming. It's what's going to happen, and it's our we're making it happen. But so what? It's not a moral thing. There was a. It's there supposed was a... to be over now. It's supposed to the the oceans are going to rise. Manhattan's going to be an underwater theme park for a while. You're going to get to visit it by submarine. <laughs> Which would be a lot of fun. Yeah, well, and it's a shame that my grandchildren won't know. They'll, 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 you know, they'll be cooked by the sun. Well, <laughs> well Louie, one of our eye on a rock. That makes me sad personally. But yeah. I don't believe that that's good. The, the, like I was saying, the, Republic, the first Ice Age wasn't some Republican atrocity. <laughs> it just happened. And this one's going to happen. One of our yeah. favorite things Too as far bad. as global warming goes in Manhattan They'll show the dramatic, uh, you know, video of what Manhattan's going to become because of global yeah. warming, and all of a sudden, like, mm -hmm. they show buildings that have 20 feet of water on the yeah, sides, and cool, and cars are floating, and floating, the, and the awesome. subways are flooded out all the way to the the, the street level. Yeah. and Ed and I, we're we're like we're, we're humans. We adapt when the right. when the waters start rising. 
We'll just start building walls and other things to try to figure it out. We do something. And if worse came to worse, where it's like, well, we're going to lose Manhattan. Do you think there'd be cars left? Like that that it happens that quickly? Right. That the water raises it in 20 feet in in a day? Like we'd get, we'd salvage everything. We'd be taking bricks. Like like there's a dramatic picture of what Manhattan would look like if if the oceans rose. No. Before it got to that point, don't you think we'd figure stuff out? Don't you think as soon as we start seeing puddles forming as human beings, we're like, hmm, no. we gotta do something about this. If we don't do something about this, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna, the, the city's gonna be in the middle of the ocean. No, yeah. people aren't gonna be in on the roofs of those buildings. <laughs> no, no, help, help! They're I've been here be, for twenty five, thirty years. Yeah, they're gonna be on the roo- They're gonna be in houses in another part of the country. Yeah, because we're still America. We're still the. We still have every more than everybody else. <laughs> right. It's not like you know. The, the unwashed billions that are just going to get, you know, uh, yeah. that are dying anyway. They don't need global warming to die. People in Darfur and whatever, they're dying anyway. So you're, it's just, you're a fan of just that. Ah, don't even worry about well, it. Well, I just don't think. No, I mean, I, I, look, if people would like to have the earth a little longer, then mm-hmm. they should slow down. I, 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 but it's not a moral thing. Nobody's doing anything morally wrong because no. we are just and we're part of nature. You know what? Ama- we're elements of nature. It's always amazed me is is the f- the fact that we just took crap that was laying around, uh, just uh, figured out how to take um, metal from the earth, melt it, make yeah. it into things, take things from the air, chemicals from trees and what nothing we didn't have to go out of space out no. into space to grab anything we figured everything on this earth and we were able to slap together machines that fly yeah how great are we as human beings yeah. we're that, that, that that's what i'm talking about no, global if we, warming if we were a little smarter we would put all of the all of the energy that we have like nuclear energy and stuff we would use it to to keep making rockets to get off of the planet yeah and make yeah. a new one it's with it we could do that get make a new one somewhere. so that would be where you were using a lot of that energy to to off each other to to kill each other so that, yeah that's, we kind of like again, doing that that's a shame I, don't, I just don't think it's like the, that's something our, we've been doing. Human race isn't supposed to last forever. We're gonna go at some point. Right. We've been killing each other for forever. Everybody dies. Every band stops making hits. <laughs> hey, you know, like when they show on VH1, they're like, "What happened to Love and Spoonful? Why aren't they still number one every week forever?" They just because everything has stopped. a crest. Everything has a yep, yep. curve to it. A lifespan. Hey, they're showing yep. pictures of the Empire State Building underwater with a couple. Uh, just uh, two uh, sharks. A couple uh, of sharks. sharks swimming yeah, like, around. Like if if the Empire State Building is underwater, it's going to be crystal clear, like you're in the Bahamas, just yeah. like that, <laughs> just like that. That's the what it's going to look like. Yeah, yeah we're going to have Bahamas then, water all sudden up just, here, I not the murky crap that we do have uh, you yeah. know, surrounding Manhattan. I don't agree with either side of the argument, though, because the people that say this isn't going to happen are liars. Also, yeah, people that say global warming is a myth and it's got nothing to do with mankind, those people are liars. They're just greedy liars. Yeah, but, and the people that say, "Oh no, it's horrible," they're all they're just stupid. I I'm, I have this third feeling, which is, yeah, it's happening, but so what? So yeah. it's time to die now. I can't see it happening this drunk quickly. No, it's also not going to happen that fast. Yeah, I don't like, know. It might. People They're are just... freaking out that yeah. look. There it is, the taxi cab in the water. Yeah, like, like <laughs> that guy got caught up in global warming. Yeah. Like I it's an event that just they, it's like getting caught in a glacier. Right. Yeah. Oh my God, a glacier in ten thousand years. Yeah. I'm screwed. Yeah. It's a yeah. Glacier. And look what we did. We dug out New Orleans, and then that's back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Tourism's up. <laughs> They got rid of some riffraff. It's called sarcasm. They're in Houston now. We're we're back to getting it to where it was, okay? Yeah. Yeah. We figure some things out. No, I don't think we We will. I think that New Orleans is probably over. And people that are like, how is America going to keep being number one? It's not. No, nothing lasts. You know what? No, no it didn't last. America's no, not going to no last. No empire lasts. No, yeah. it just doesn't. So, no, we don't get to be as safe as we were. We just don't. Yeah. And what is... Uh, Somebody else's turn. It's China's turn. To we need to left. really kick the crap out of someone as a country. I don't mean an Iraq war thing. Yeah. I mean a devastating ass-kicking yeah. to give to a country th- that'll show like, hey, Look, we still got it. Don't <laughs> screw with us. Don't mess with us. I'm, I might even be talking nuclear. It would be funny if we just went after somebody like Spain. Random. 
Spain, <laughs> like just just invades. some country, that a is. massive airstrike, It'll and then so an invasion. Awesome if Bush did that on his way out, just invade <laughs> Spain, and everybody's like, "What are you doing?" And he's right. like, "So." So what do so you want? Taking just some the, country that's Spain. didn't expect it. Yeah, just out of nowhere. Just that's part of America now. It's ours. Yeah, it's like another state. What are you going to do about it? We got nuclear weapons, and we'll use them. <laughs> and we, they, we they, have before. Every, it would work. What would they do? Oh, okay. I'm, I guess the UN would be. Well, we have to speak very yeah. strongly about what the United States did. Yeah. Sanctions. Yeah. yeah, we got everything we need here. Shut up. Let's go to Adam in North Carolina. Adam. Adam. Adam doesn't know his name either. North Carolina, dude. Global warming is about saving ourselves. You. Oh. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Adam. Hey, I was just letting you know that a global warming, it, it's not about saving the planet. The planet will always be here. It's mm. about saving us as a human race. Well, it's yeah, but that's the thing. I don't think that that's a moral issue. I think no. it's time for the human race to be underwater and extinct, then that's going to happen now. I'm sure the, the mammoth... It's time for that. I'm sure the mammoth wanted to hang out for a little while longer. Yeah, exactly. Or the... <laughs> The well, three-toed sloth. You know, there's people that believe that we are we are we were apes. There's a, a theory of evolution called the aquatic ape theory, which mm -hmm. says that we were apes that got underwater. Like that, there was we were apes that were on an island, and there was and we had to start swimming, and that that's how. Ooh. If you take an ape and you make him swim for thousands of years, he'll start to have let you know no fur, and it straightens your back. That your back straightened out through not walking but through swimming. And that's what made us hey, that's interesting. smarter. Interesting. It made us smarter. It made our sno snouts turn into noses because they're easy, better for swimming. Yeah. And that some of us kept going and became dolphins and that the rest of us are humans. Too lazy. We're yeah. like, ah, yeah. And we ah, stop right, we're right here. Good enough for me. I'm just going to stop here. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> exactly. I like, I like this. And we came back to Earth. So that just happened. There weren't well, the apes that stood there and went, this is so, this isn't right. <laughs> we're so pompous, dude. I want to still be an ape. Humans want to last forever. And no, not, we're not going and, to. And, of course, I, of course I, I would love to see humans last forever. But, yeah, it's no. not in the cards. No, it's not. I, we're pompous. It's not. No. And, and it's going to be something so ridiculous that takes out, uh, you yeah. know, uh, our humans. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be the like last a bee or something. It's going to be some kind of bee. Yeah. So the last person is going to be like, wow, who saw this yeah. as the end? Like, I gonna love be like, what? Pot Talk be Monday. Just, yeah, it's it, it is Pot Talk Monday. Monday. Love Pot Talk Monday. It's going to be some kind of space. Dust yeah. that was just happened to be on an astronaut, Big battle, do it. an astronaut sleeve that they yep. forgot about. Just some dumb the thing train. that just yeah. wipes everybody out, yep. and no one saw it coming. I think it's going to be one B, like one specific B, <laughs> just like sting have some super sting yeah. and, and just it's no lethal in hundred percent of the cases. Yeah. Yeah, we can protect and do everything you know we we can to make sure we're here for a while. Yeah. But it's going to be something so ridiculous in the end. How do you think you'd hold up in a post-apocalyptic uh, world, there, Louis? Yeah, I don't think I would do so good. I Everyone think. likes to think they do really good, and no. it's like I don't know. I wouldn't be one of the survivors. I would just be a, a, a psychopath with a yeah. with guns and just. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah, I I would just kill people to take their stuff. You would hang in there. I'd have to, yeah. I would, I would hit the woods. Would you just hit the woods? Hit the woods. Find yeah. like-minded people like myself. In the I'd woods. be a marauder until I get yeah. blown up. You would no, and it makes sense that, look, I have kids. I want them, like, I, I when I leave an, uh, uh, um, a hotel room, I turn off the air conditioning. Ooh. You know, whatever. I do what I have to do. I leave the air conditioning I on and open the doors in the Bahamas. <laughs> Like a sliding glass door is blowing 95 degree yeah. humid air in, and and I got the air conditioning blasting the TVs on. Yeah, yeah you got weather fronts. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> you real I don't care. But yeah, uh, no, I don't. I I, I do what I can because of my kids. But uh, at some point, we're gonna be. There's gonna be. We're gonna be the last generation of humans. Somebody's yeah. gonna be the last one. Someone's gonna be the last. And it's not our fault. We're just dumb animals. Do you want it? I don't understand when you have kids, but do, do, don't you kind of want it to be your generation that's the last? <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's some this strange cool way to see, to see the stuff, yeah. whole end of it all. I want to well, see that's a, that's... underwater. I mean, I want to. Yeah, at least that. Yeah. That would be cool. Submarines and yeah, stuff. That would be really cool. Hey, it is Pot Talk Monday. Everyone knows that. So yeah. Well but that's something. It's funny because every generation wants to be the last generation. Yep. 
you know, they want to be the one that thought they knew what cool music that was. That was it. Right. No and one coming after me, man. That's I, it. I know what's cool when it We're comes to music. We're the legacy. We're the legacy of this planet. Some generation should decide to be the last one and, like, neuter themselves and just have Ooh. one last generation where everybody just drinks and has sex and, and uses then, all the oil they can. Everything. Just drives gas guzzlers and then just dies. They hey, drive on no the highway humans. in that vehicle that pulls the space shuttle out of the building. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> just drive like, around. That's, it. that's what you drive to work yeah. in. <laughs> you know, after you get and past like, the fact that you're the last generation, that yeah. the, after you, the, the Earth is going to be awfully uh, strange. Whatever. You could have a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, you yeah. sure can. You, you could have the a last lot of fun. astronauts take the space shuttle and just go out. Yeah. Just, just leave. Turn into skeletons somewhere. Yeah, who Saturn. cares? Just unprotected sex with oh. anybody. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, it's great stuff. Walk around with guns. So, Unlock the prisons. Yeah. Let them all out. Yeah. Who cares? So Man. when we're gone, <laughs> who takes over the world? Whatever, be, you know, animal, whatever bugs. Yeah, whatever's next, ants. Well, what oh, animal yes. would it be? You think it would, it would be some kind of bug? Well, would there wouldn't be, be one. There probably wouldn't be one. There wouldn't be one with the divine Spock that uh, we have. I understand that. Well, the dinosaurs <laughs> had it. But what, I don't know. We, there, what animal yeah. takes over? That's why I think it's creepy that we're like, we're animals. Yeah. But there's no second place. There's no vice animal. <laughs> that's what creeps well, me out. We don't have really the vice president that's what of, me of out. humans. We've yeah, had this discussion many times. That creeps me out. It's like... Why isn't there someone in second place just kind of like waiting for us to f up that we really look at like you're uh, looking at it wrong because you're you're picturing like an animal doing like a you know like a like kind of a retarded human you're you're picturing second like place a, like an elephant in a suit and but now dude, there's he a, has the, <laughs> now he owns the baseball but that's team. what we an elephant in a suit. but Louis that's what we joke about we're like <laughs> yeah why is, why aren't you taking a bus with uh, I don't know a squirrel or yeah. like s some other. Right. You know, well, life form. That's how we roll. But right. bugs are actually a bigger. They have more run of the joint than we do. Right. This place would look totally different too. After a few years uh, of no humans being around to maintain the roads and the oh. buildings, this place would just look like a vined, yeah. overgrown no. oh, yeah. mess that some other animal would just take long. No, no, we're living on. But doesn't it creep you out that there's nobody? Even near us, no, as far as a massive ones, drop off, we're actually massive drop off. Well, that's sure. only if well, you measure the, us as the apex. That's but all the other animals and say we're yeah. getting the most. But Louis, all the other animals kind of live together, and they're kind of right, like and they're doing similar. Fine. And and we are the only ones that do not belong on this earth. Well, this is this is how we yeah, survive. We're a little weird. We're, we were weak animals, so we built these. We have the our all right. So our why aren't shelters the, and huts are just weird? They're huge and metal. Why aren't the dolphins uh, building stuff? Because they don't need to. Because they survive. Why the hasn't one other animal built something that is? Like almost similar to what we do. Even close. That's like even the lion. even the apes. You don't even see one animal using something to get themselves around. <laughs> well, like a primitive bike or yeah. or a a something. That means bike. they're gonna see a monkey just driving just a bike that came from like Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I, I think we come from somewhere else, and that's why. Do you think so? Yep. I think yeah, he's a very from, strong believer in that. I'm, I'm, I think we just landed brought here, here, dropped off, never been here. If you really, if you start with an ape. Before where there were us, and yeah. you just start get, and he just starts figuring stuff out little by little. You just get here. This isn't to me. But no epic, other animals isn't getting that big there. A deal. No other yeah, animals getting there. That's not their way that they survive. Their populations are doing fine but without all this shit. But they're all still. <laughs> but they're all just kind of living um, mm -hmm. in harmony with each other, just kind of using the basic. Well, not here. They eat each other. And but, they... Yeah, but they're using just the basic stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not really making anything that impressive with the basic raw materials. <laughs> we got... <laughs> We got nuclear power plants. We got yeah. space shuttles way up there. Yeah, we harness the power of the atom. Yeah, what zebras are the giraffes doing? Zebras They're aren't doing looking nothing. at zebras aren't looking at us going. God, I wish I wish I had a. <laughs> I, I wish I had a Bentley. <laughs> but doesn't that make you think that? They're, but they're not doing anything. They're, they're not doing, they're doing anything. There isn't one other animal out there every doing once, anything. Every once in a while, you, an animal will make a pile of dirt. We're <laughs> amazed when a monkey takes a stick and puts it in a termite hole and right. pulls it out. That's what, he used a stick. That's what creeps me out. There's no one even, any, no other animal out there is even close to us. Nobody has. Um, like you Barbie could have a nobody has a Barbie lunchbox. Nobody has no nothing. Has There's a not nobody one wallaby that is doing a morning radio show no. today. Dude, we're building like <laughs> There's not one hyena who has a wee. 
A Wii, playing play, the Wii. You can play Halo. I'm sure animals, some would probably love playing the look, Wii. <laughs> look at all the buildings outside. What is yeah. the rest of these animals doing? Nothing. They're walking a pile around of eating dirt each here and there. And yeah. In a cave, they're doing fine. Ob makes a good point on this one, Louie. <laughs> We kind of are a little odd to this planet. It creeps me out that there's a massive yeah. drop off after us, and that's what that's why I'm convinced we're just. I'll not tell you from what I really originally. don't think is definitely I, what I think is definitely not the answer is that we're the, the, that God made us and made us special. No, I don't, don't buy that either. I don't buy for a yeah, second. I don't, I, I don't buy that. No. It, the whole story behind it is too fantasy like. Yeah, there has to. Be, I want records. I want parchment records. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want the, the the schematic that he used. <laughs> Something. I, I would just. No, we're an unchecked mammal. That's all. We're there's we're overpopulating. It's just. All right, one out of. Needs us. Uh, all right, one out but of disease. all the animals out there. That's creepy. Know how many animals? Uh, different animals there are out there. Not one. If you put us on a graph like what we've done and what everybody else does, they're all way down here. One's a little better than the other. We have medicine. No other animal uses that. If any other animal gets sick or injured, they're dead. That's right. They're dead. We came up with medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, well, like Hope says, give me a close or even a distant second place animal. <laughs> well, who's in second place? Seriously. Who's human? in second? And I then who's, well, it, again, I'd say people the, would argue I'd say the gorilla. Or gorillas. In technology and literature. In literature and technology, I think we're definitely a far first. <laughs> literature? Yeah. Far first is not even but another. It, but as far as taking care of ourselves. another animal that can read a word. But as far as taking care of ourselves and being healthy and, and sustaining as a species, I we're not that much better than the other ones. The other ones are keeping their numbers fine, and they're probably more stable. Uh, yeah, they probably don't get the same diseases we do. Most of those, they don't. They just die of old age. A lot of those animals, they don't, you know, or something else ripping its throat died. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, one I, other... I don't think there's a big problem with breast cancer among the raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that, like, I don't now, think that, like, I don't know. I could be wrong. Eh, now, I, one, not one other animal right. goes to school, yeah. goes to work. That's right. Nothing. But I don't, think any, I don't think any hippos and... have diabetes and, <laughs> and like are and, nearsighted. And they're overweight. Eight. Yeah, right. Yeah, good exactly. point. We just come from somewhere else. Well, it's time that we admit that. It's... The fan animal is uh, panicking with the brakes. All right. Why don't very we, uh, late. There you go. Uh, Pot Talk Monday. That's Pot what we Talk did. Monday. We still haven't done uh, Free Ringtone Monday Mania or Feel Good Story Monday. We'll try to get to those before we get out of here. We have a feel good story. Hey, you know that you have a bunch of crap lying around your place that you don't want or need. Some old concert t shirts, CDs you'll never play, and perhaps even some gold or jewelry. Didn't that sound natural? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the rest of that stuff is probably worthless, but you can pick up some quick cash by sending all that unwanted jewelry off to cash4gold.com. Just click on cashforgold.com. That's cash, the number 4gold.com. Giraffes follow. don't have this service, by of the way. Of course not. Uh -uh. They don't even have jewelry. No. Nope. And follow the simple on-screen instructions, starting with request a pack. Once your gold and jewelry arrives at the facility, your money goes out 24 hours later. Clean out your house, get rid of all the garbage, and pick up some quick and easy money. With cashforgold.com, call them at 877-GOLD-590. That's 877-GOLD-590, or click on cashforgold.com. That's cash, the number 4 gold.com. Use promo code VIRUS and pick up an extra 2.5% value. We go to break. It's open. Answer is number two, by the way. I'll tell you after. Huh? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of Pot Talk Monday. Wow. It's a simple question. Uh, the humans, top of the food chain, doing a lot of interesting things on this planet. Yeah. It's a simple question. Who's second? Who's number two? Who's number two? And before you give your answer, Louie, yeah. a lot of people are giving theirs on instant okay, feedback. Let's hear them. You got uh, CW from Scranton. Deer. They're taking over the world. Look at how many we run over every day, and they still keep coming back. It's nah. Not deer. It's not deer. All right, so it has worthless. nothing to do with. Pure population. No. How about uh, Stephen S. from Bayshore? I give the edge to any species that can balance a beach ball on its nose. Ah, uh, yeah, well. The dolphin, the seal, the seal, the killer whale. None of that translates into any skill that's useful. And uh, you can't really say that a water-based animal is going to take over. Well, actually, you, most of the world is water, and yeah, 
So they should be kicking ass right now. See, that's us <laughs> over us. See, that's us no, being pompous. Are, I guess. That's us being pompous once again. Yeah, because we haven't even seen the bottom of the ocean. No. Yeah, but we've seen enough of it to know they're not building crap that, down there. We don't even know how many. There could be. There's probably like a planet like 10 feet away from Earth full of people. <laughs> that, are like, that are like, look how dumb these things. Just look over here, ass. <laughs> we got a submarine that almost went far enough to, to discover a, yeah. a whole nother other civilization yeah and the people are we're in a panic as they see this thing slowly you know going like down, down. Oh, good. They're going back up they got yeah. scared by those glow-in-the-dark uh fishes all right we're good <laughs> yeah we're good no we have no idea <laughs> hey uh then you got uh bobby d from brockton mass i've seen a bear riding a bike at the circus again these because we were talking about uh, imitations right. of human but we're yeah. talking but we were talking about other animals and why trained by a human why aren't they Figuring out other ways to get around. To do that. that like, bear? why didn't they figure that out themselves? But Bobby D, that, that's that, exactly what Bobby D writes. He goes, I'm pretty sure they strapped his feet to the pedals, but he could do it, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that bear is still just evidence of how cool humans are. <laughs> that we can right. teach a bear to ride a bike. But there's nobody in second. That bothers yeah. me. We're watching I'm, TV here in the studio. Why doesn't another freaking species have, uh, have some kind of TV show? network? Even just the big old CRT ones. Right. <laughs> Even like just the... Like with tubes. Yeah, something. Where they have one channel, like uh, like uh, yeah. seals have a have a TV channel. There's some penguin adjusting the aerial. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right, <laughs> nothing. It's ants, I'm telling you. And so you said ants. Hold on. You well, we got more answers. Uh, a couple more. James T. Uh, well, he likes mm. he likes turtles, so he's thinking turtles are inside. I like place. turtles. I like turtles. Yeah, we yes, do. certainly do. You little tight. Uh, beavers, they build dams and huts out on the water to live in. Derek from Jersey. That's pretty good. And you say, and someone says the bee. The bee is second. Shelter, communication, organized societies. That's from uh, Nick in uh, Ontario, mm. it looks like. Mm. Why do you ants, say ants, ants are even smarter than bees? They have an amazing society. Yeah. There's one thing, one detail about what ants do. They keep cattle. They're they're called oh, aphids. Yeah, ants they take aphids, milk them, which is a smaller uh, bug, and they take them. They 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 oh. just they they catch them. They bring them down into their homes, and they keep them in the coolest part, like the nicest part, the refrigerator. Yeah, <laughs> and they put them and they and they put them along the walls of their where they live, and they milk them. They actually squeeze their nipples and get milk out of them and feed aphid milk to their young. And they keep them, they feed, they feed their aphids very carefully, and they, they they have food specifically for them. All right, they're getting ready to take over. It's That's pretty creepy. Good. It's pretty good but do what they, ants can do. And also, do they, they have ant TV though? They no, but they communicate really well. They do a you know, like you know when you see ant, ant trail mm -hmm. from food to a hole. Yeah. That the way that got started is an amazing. Can it, I mean the way that they find they just yeah. spray out in all directions. Little rub one, the antenna. The antenna. They got like a scout that goes out yes. and then he comes back and tells the other guys and, and then the other guys. He'll eat a little bit of the food, but he'll take some back with him and put it into the mouth of the other. And they 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 Louis, feed each other. Yeah. That yeah. that ant trail thing is really creepy. Yeah. Last time I was on vacation, I was down in Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. and I almost. Uh, uh, cut the tip of my finger off, just slicing into a pineapple, and it just yeah. starts bleeding like crazy. A puddle of blood out, yeah. you know, outside my room on the balcony, right? And I'm mm -hmm. just staring at the blood on the floor. Within seconds, seconds, yeah. there was a line of ants coming up the wall, over the rail, and That's down right. toward the blood, drinking right. it up. That's how quickly they within they told seconds. Each other. That's how quick, and they don't smell it. They don't smell it. They it's just that one randomized ant scout. Yeah, found it, and that's how quickly he was able to tell his whole colony. They're able to know where it is. Bringing your blood, and now your DNA has fed like your Ooh. your blood was f fed to an aphid, whose milk fed the young of the ants. <laughs> so there's like little ants with your face on them running around. <laughs> Maybe I'm their god. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know what? I, I like your your thinking about the ant being second in line, but I, I don't know. We can. I, I personally. Can kill a billion ants in in minutes. Yeah, well, that's the thing. How? how but there's way more than we a can, we're going to be now. killed by some asteroid. It doesn't. Yeah. I mean, we're we're the same. We're just mm. as fragile. And and you're you're uh, you're talking about numbers. Do you think the ant tries to come up with a defense against the human foot, like we would the asteroid? That's the thing. We that's talk about we... we could shoot nuclear missiles at it yeah. or do this or you know we'll send a drill team up and put a bomb in there or yeah. whatever the hell that's movie why you come better, up because they're just like ah oh, well, yeah, the foot comes it comes what are we gonna yeah, do exactly. <laughs> the big foot when the foot and comes. how organized are they all you have to do is knock over a little anthill and you see how unorganized they oh, are. oh when well, they, they start running around all crazy up. they start <laughs> running around like. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's what it looks like to you, but they're already rebuilding. Yeah, they line it back up. They line it back If you come back a, a couple of minutes later, it's back up. None yeah. of this 9-11, what are we going to call it? Is there a spire? Should we build a park? <laughs> you know what? They don't have, there's no Mayor Bloomberg ant going, I just think we need to rebuild. They just start rebuilding. They just start doing it. They just start If doing it was it. up to the ants, we'd have those towers built already. Right? No yeah, red exactly. state. Yeah, no yeah. ants. There's no, like, red state ants and blue state ants. Right, they just yeah. do it. No, there's no Gingrich ants. I love Pod Talk Monday. I love it. There's no, li- you know, there's no black ants with weird hair complaining that some <laughs> ants, that and, the red ants are. And you, and you talk about knocking over an anthill and they just go nuts. It, like New Orleans. Yeah. With the with the uh, the hurricane there. Yeah. Yep. Nobody's, same same thing. There's if, no if, ants flying over the. Uh, but if aliens, after the foot comes, some but ants if aliens fly are, over, fly and, over and, and assess one. the damage. Yeah. But if aliens were looking at it from above, they're yeah. like, "Look at these stupid humans. They don't know what they're doing." But, yep. You know, this hurricane knocked uh, their city apart, and look, they're running around like crazy. That's yeah, but we, we were organizing. It's, it took a while. No, we just but... gave all the money to Halliburton. <laughs> we're not doing anything for those people. Are you kidding? <laughs> New Orleans is gone. It's full. It just Halliburton squeezed it for whatever. Uh, left, was, and that you know the what? End of it. it was time for another city to move up. Yeah, again, that's what I feel. Yeah. So what? It's Rochester's turn. Yeah. It's just Rochester. Rochester's turn. That's right. They've been no. waiting for this moment. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Joe in Queens. Joe. Yeah. Um, there is no animal on earth anywhere near us, and I can prove it with one word. Veterinarians, we got to help them when they're sick and injured. Let's see a dog or a monkey operate on a person. Yeah, why aren't they helping themselves and figuring out how to make each other better? Well, they don't have. We don't. Thank you, Joe. You're right. But we only help them exactly. because we use them. And yeah, and have yeah. them as pets. True. They're just supposed to die when well, they get. Joe sick. makes a great point, though. Why aren't they? Joe doesn't crap make a great out. point. I'm, sh- I'm sure a dog would like to live a little longer instead of yeah. sitting there no, and die of some whacked out. No, <laughs> it no, it wouldn't. How do you know? Because they don't mind dying. They just lay down and die. They're you not scared that... of dying. I don't think so. I think that old dog that's like got the hip dysplasia and arthritis. Longer. He's sitting there going like, ah. yeah, he's got like a, a somebody put a fake valve in his heart, and he's like, dude, let me go. <laughs> I just want to die. I, so when I've been taking a hard dump in, a, in two years. <laughs> let me go. So when you see like a little doggy walking around with like training wheels for his back leg, yeah, you that's, think, no, he was supposed to die. He really doesn't want that. He was supposed. <laughs> he to really die. doesn't want that. No, <laughs> nah, we are no. really asses. He was. The thing is that if he lived, the problem is that he lives in the streets where he would like starve slowly. If he was a dog in the wild with no legs, he'd just get torn apart. Oh and yeah, eaten, and his mother would eat him immediately. His mom right would out of the him. womb. Yeah. She'd be licking go, off the snack. placenta and just go, what is it? Oh, okay. Oh, I got three puppies and a snack. Feed it to the rest of them, yeah. right? <laughs> what? Snack. Hey, uh, Middletown, yep. New Jersey, checking in. Cigars and Scotch, of course. He goes, caterpillars can shape change into butterflies. Beat that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but I don't see a butterfly really taking over. It's got to be something that in time can learn to be industrious. <clears throat> Uh, That's why it's creepy. I don't see. No, one. I would say chimpanzees. No, they're not because they would have done it already. They would have be competing. No, because we're around to keep them in check. Mm-hmm. We keep the chimps in check. We absolutely yeah. do. We, we 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 most of them are, are extinct. The only ones that we have around, we dress in little engineer uniforms. <laughs> Because they look adorable dressed like that, uh-huh. little suspenders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but left to their own devices, I think uh, they do pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to Pat and Bell over time. Pat. Hey, what's go- hey, no, it's what's the hack on? answer, but yeah, they got uh, thumbs. Uh, what's going on? I was going to say that uh, actually killer whales have the most powerful brain on the planet. Uh, they can actually literally feel, using their sonar, literally feel everything within five miles around them. Right. So that's that's pretty impressive. And I think one of the things you're missing is that you're... Uh, hey, you're not that impressive because they're still now walking on land and yeah. to take a look around. Yeah. As, at least as humans, we've taken a peek under the water and figured out a way to like yeah. kind of do stuff underwater. I never see a fish wearing like a big tank of water right. walking around the beach. Right, like just let me looking at people. You know, I got the Would biggest, that be great? I got this powerful brain. I'm going to do something with it. That would be hysterical. <laughs> You're just laying getting some sun and this big fish or something comes out of the water yeah. with a big mask and a tank and it's just pumping water into his gills and he's walking around looking around kind of it poking would be at funny you. Funny if fish were like competition to us. Like we were doing like everything 
everything the humans are doing would be like, well, the fish, you know, they still, they just got a wheel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These guys are idiots. Right. Uh, <laughs> they're stupid. Let, yeah. let Pat continue. What, what else, Pat? <laughs> well, I was, I was just saying that, you know, I mean, you're, you know, you're mistaking, uh, you know, te technological development for, for dominance. I mean, technologically, obviously, we're the, we're the best on the planet, but there are developments with certain primates learning sign language, primates using skills. It's just that when we were hunter-gatherers... Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down with that, because we forced them to do that by yeah. shocking them until they yeah. learn... A, exactly. uh, Shock them. They learn a, a sign spooned language. Spooned out parts of their brain. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. It's not like they're doing it on their own. Like, we're no. doing that for our own amusement. Let's see how smart we can make one of these things. <laughs> they're just, yeah. they're just yeah. these little yeah, play, still us play doing things. Something cool. Yeah, they don't, they're not doing it on their own. We're like using an electric prod when the TV cameras aren't on and go, hey, look... You're going to learn this sign for, for bread, or you're no, going to get like, shocked again. Like them in Planet of the Apes. Mm -hmm. The fact that they call like they all the the apes ran the, the town and they called it Ape City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> even they're acknowledging in that way that isn't this crazy? That it's like this is insane. Yeah. look, it's Ape City. Yeah, That's we don't, crazy. We don't call our our country like Man America because <laughs> we think it's weird that we think it's weird that men are involved. Ape law. Ape law. Ape law. Oh, see, it's wild. It's law, but it's ape law. Yeah. We even see it's we crazy. Even think it's nuts. Look, we're monkeys. Yeah. We're not supposed to be in charge. <laughs> what, what were you going to say, Pat? I said, uh, the, the only good human is a dead human. Dead human. Dead human. Damn you. Damn you. I can't. Come on, Taylor. What, what's on the scrolls, Taylor, when he's trying to get him to recite yeah. the scroll? What are the third articles of I, ape law? I don't Man, know your law. I don't know your law. True, I don't know your law, but... Through some kind of brain surgery, they've taught him to speak. No, damn you, I'm standing here naked. <laughs> the weird thing is in the, the one where they show how it happened, you know, the conquest of the planet. Of the Apes, yeah. Where they show how apes used to be pets and servants. Yeah. The, it seems like the whole world revolved around ape problems. <laughs> like nobody was humans aren't any longer doing just regular jobs. They're no, just it's dealing all with apes. apes. Like and in this the kind of, problems uh, that having yeah. apes doing these jobs, and it's like they drop ape something. Ape trouble in sector three. Ape <laughs> trouble in sector three. Yeah. Constant <laughs> trouble and it's worth. It's just constant. <laughs> and these jackbooted cops yeah. that are just about ape Just control. to take care of the apes. A disperse apes on sector four. Disperse <laughs> apes. Like nobody's nobody's running a computer company or like listening to music. It's just constant ape, oh, ape management. That's funny. <laughs> ape like, management. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's stay out of Mike in Connecticut. Mike, hey there, Mike. Is there a delay on the phones? Is it is it our fault today, Mike? Why does every person have this? There's a delay with everybody. Yeah, today. some kind of problem. Let's go to Boston, Alex. Go Pats, Alex. It's go Pats. Of their cell phones, right? Hey, what's what's going yeah. on, boys? I got no delay here. Okay, what do you got? Uh, I so get two things. Cell phone. You might as well skip feel good story for the day because nothing tops. We're all alone and we're all going to die. <laughs> 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 and the, you... next, the next, the next animal taken over is prairie dogs, man. The in depth civilization, predator warning system, communication. They're pretty good. Wow, they're getting there, but they don't have prairie TV. They still, they can't run a company like Blackwater. <laughs> no, not one prairie on some kind of primitive computer. Nope. The second we're prairie gone, dogs. think of all the, no, the prairie, apartments the and dogs, office spaces. The prairie dogs don't even have those TR7, those those uh, old computers. The yeah, the old Texas Tandy or Texas yeah. Instrument Calculator. I think one of them could have just gone to a dump and fa at least found a fan and plugged it in. <laughs> right, right. Just, to keep cool. Yeah. yeah, you can't even do that. They can't even take the stuff we don't even want to use anymore no. and use it for themselves, no, which would can't. make their lives better. Yep. No, they have no concept. That's why I would love to see, you know, what would really put it in perspective, have some unbelievably intelligent alien race come down here and try to teach us tricks that we just cannot comprehend. Yeah, exactly. Like, like they're, they're trying so hard and yeah. speaking in some weird language, exactly. and we're just stupid. And they're like, I can't, we can't even teach them to do the no. guanerbulilure. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, we... There's some,
take electric prod yes. to our side until we did, like I don't yeah. know figure something out. We couldn't. Hey, uh, Duncan Booth uh, douche from Pittsburgh. He writes, "What about the kangaroo? It has a it has a pocket for its money and smokes." There you go. <laughs> it's pretty good. Kangaroo smoke. And then someone is talking about the chaos theory with uh, uh, butterflies. Can we explain that next? Maybe what the fluttering of the wings. Butterflies. I think all, that's a rumor. They're already attacking us. They can make Urban hurricanes. Myth. Urban myth. <laughs> Have you heard of the chaos theory? So now we got to look up the chaos theory. You know that some people I say that, from you know, Jurassic the whole thing Park. that Dick Cheney is a lizard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the, that guy, that's your answer. <laughs> Dick Cheney. Dick so... Cheney is a changeling lizard. This is like a big, there's, there are many people that believe this. Seriously. There's a big. That he is a lizard. That, that he's part of this lizard people that, that can change into humans, but that he's a lizard. Wow. And that's who's taken over. All right, that's kind of cool. Already, already taken over. Lizards. There are people that believe this. I'm telling you, it's a planet 10 feet away that's full of lizards. 10 feet? What, are they and just camouflage they themselves put on a really human well? That th it's already 30% of us are already these lizards that are right over there. I love your theory that there might be a planet 10 <laughs> well, feet away. Well, we're just not I looking at anyway, it. We're it. so blind because like, we keep finding, oh, there's another planet, and Pluto's not a planet. Like, there's one right there, and we just keep missing it. Like, every every time people turn over and the, the planet just moves. And we just don't have yeah. the equipment to pick we up. We can't look at it. We just can't look at it. No, it's like the dark side of the moon. It's just yeah. right there. And people kind of take a just a shuttle uh, spaceship cab over occasionally. Yeah, right. these lizards they dress like humans, and we're too uh, we're we're too busy looking far far away. Yes, so it's maybe right under there's our already an animal that's getting ready to that's take over, and they just decided to mm -hmm. dis yes. disguise themselves as us. Yes, black people like it. No, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, the lizards. What wow, lizard people? I was avoiding that for the last hour. By the way, I did some feedback. I know what the second, second oh, most. Oh Jesus! And it was every race you can imagine. It's uh, Opie and Anthony. Yeah, you can imagine. Hey, we're getting ready to play. What did we learn on the Opie and Anthony show? What an educational show if you're uh, smoking a lot of pot. It is Pot Talk Monday. We uh, took advantage of that today. 877-212-ONA. If you learned something from us today. Louis C.K. playing uh, House, House of Blues. House now you got me confused. And, House of Blues in Las Vegas on Saturday. Saturday. The POWs will be out there. You'll yeah. see a few of them. The Rainforest Cafe. Yes. <laughs> and, of course, Jim Norton uh, in L.A. for the next few days. He's doing... Jay Leno tonight. Make sure you take a peek at that. And he's also doing Chelsea uh, Handler's show. Oh, yes? She does a pretty good job with that show. Ooh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, it's me. It's also... Oh, yeah, look, it's Louie. I see that pop up, and I go, hey, look, it's Louie. Wait, were you just... Uh, yeah, I just saw you. Of course. Yeah. I'm at Town Hall on November 8th. The New York Comedy Festival. The County Festival. Always a good time. All right. Hey, uh, it's also Feel Good Story Monday. It's Feel Good Story Monday. Oh. Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Aww. Do we do we have a feel good story? Yeah. I don't know. When I was looking through the paper this morning, I didn't see one feel good story. Mm. I got it. It's right here. In Orlando, Florida, a Walt Disney World worker faces felony charges after <laughs> authorities said he'd made plans to have sex with a minor he met online. Wait this a minute. man, Michael Bott Jr., was arrested because, as it turns out, the minor he allegedly planned to have sex with was a police detective posing as a 14-year-old girl. So is authorities a say Bott repeatedly told his chatting buddy that what they were planning was technically rape. Police say Bot confessed to the charge when confronted. He's being held on twenty thousand dollars bond. There you go, your feel good story for this Monday. Wow, goofy. Well, the, the <laughs> you know the creeps aren't uh, going to be doing it. Anymore. All right. So you can spin anything into so a feel good story. So that's a feel good story. I thought feel good stories were all feel good. Not I this one was good. potentially tragic. Uh, excuse me, it may, it's making a lot of parents uh, feel good today that yeah. this creep's not around anymore. See, that's the brilliance of us in Orlando. I, you can they, make anything into a feel good story. They definitely arrested the only child molester in uh, the Disneyland. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it was yeah. an isolated incident. You never ever see. No. Pedos just you know, wandering through there. Be with a erection. <laughs> <laughs> no. Picture with two four-year-olds. You know what his face is doing behind that mask? <laughs> just <laughs> if you could take the head off, you'd run away. Uh, you don't think that's a feel-good story for people out there? Uh, no, I consider feel-good stories like. Um, a uh, dog uh, comes back to the owner after mm -hmm. being lost for two years because right. he got uh, dumped out of a car 
I mean, All right, give that's me kind of Arizona. All right. Yeah, even that is depressing. All right, give me another shot at it. I'm trying to think of any feel-good story, to tell you the truth. I got it. Because they're all based in tragedy because in order to feel good, there has to be something bad there yeah. that someone overcame. Uh, how about uh, how about this as your feel-good story? Okay. Let me see your shaker pie. What did you say? It's true that in some situations, disabled children are held back from the normal activities mm. which others... So far, so good, or... Uh, it sounds like they're having fun. and Oh, uh, yeah. It sounds like they've right. had some disabled children being given a chance to have some fun. Okay. Yeah, this c could be good. From the normal activities which others may get to enjoy. But for friendship special ed teacher and cheerleading sponsor Casey Ketcher said that simply wasn't an option. If anybody in the school deserves a chance, I feel it's these girls. She decided that for seven disabled students at the middle school, it was time to shine. Well, I had one of them the other day tell us that this was her dream her whole life. I always prayed that I always want to be a, um, a cheerleader. Oh, no. Yeah. Look at me. Oh boy, they're 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 making them cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> this is, but this is what feel good story Monday's oh, all about, uh, Anthony. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the problem? Samantha oh. Hudson has a special honor. <laughs> Leading the squad, a dream come true. I'm a a team captain, and also, I I take care of my team and make sure they have fun. I feel like I can go out there and... I also like to eat pennies. <laughs> <laughs> they have fun. I feel like I can go out there and just be myself. They don't think that they're different, and that's what I love about them, is they're ready to go out there and cheer for the Tigers, <laughs> and they don't okay. even think Wait they a have second. disability. What? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what. Here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with these kids. These kids have slurred speech. Yeah, yeah. They're having a good time cheerleading, and they're not bothering anybody. But this woman, this young woman, yeah, I, I hate her. <laughs> because actually, the kids doing their cheerleading, that's great. That is actually great. But she's like, they don't think that they're different, and that's what I love about yeah, them. Yeah, they don't think that they they're different. They we all know yeah, they are. They're not different. <laughs> right. Why You're she, making them different. The fact that they don't see how hideous they are is so cute. And R E T A R D Retard Retard Yay Woo Chair for the Tigers and they don't even think that they have disabilities and they don't even think the chance not only to achieve We're trying to really but tell them part of that tiger spirit. Be your hands like retarded. Oh, right. Be be retarded. <laughs> be retarded. <laughs> I want to see the black uh, retarded cheerleaders. <laughs> you know we retarded. Yeah. Uh -oh. We are retarded. Double time. Yeah. Uh oh, retarded. I show my ass. I am retarded. Yeah. Stomp your hands and clap your feet. Retardation can't be beat. Yeah. Yeah. Smokezilla, Kentucky. <laughs> I think the whole school as a whole is starting to see these girls as being, you know, part of the heart of Friendship Middle School. Ketcherson says it's amazing to know that something so simple could provide the girls with the experience. Oh, of thought a they're life. talking about the kids. It's just so hard. <laughs> so to simple. To know that um, these girls may not ever have this opportunity again. So it's really important to all of us. Oh, uh, you self-serving. Why, why is George Steinbrenner talking about the Yankees <laughs> <laughs> like that? They are the best retarded cheerleaders in the world. And Joe Torrey is the best manager. <laughs> yeah. All right, is that we got an extra chromosome. How about you? <laughs> no? Wow. <laughs> so is that your feel-good story today? Uh, it is a feel-good story. Well, what's up, then? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, are they... Are they... Are they hot? The point cheerleaders are kind of like, yeah, you got to be hot. Cheerleaders are a very sort of little Nazi organization of hot women. Yeah. And yeah. so to try to make the retarded girls. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> Just fall all over each other. Yeah, they don't do the pyramid. They just call no. it the human pile. They just make like, an Abu Ghraib like pile of retarded girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, oh boy, yeah. Well, we we get to meet the cheerleader, uh, some of the cheerleaders here in this uh, next clip. Hmm. My name is William, and I like to wear dresses. <laughs> <laughs> That's William. Oh. Yeah, what awesome. else does he like besides dresses? My name is William. And I like fingernail polish. Yeah. Fingernail polish. And then this is, uh, this is, this polish. is, this is why he, uh, cheerleads. I would be happy looking like a woman. Yeah, of course. I would yeah. get rid of all my male clothes yeah. and get only girl clothes. Girl clothes. I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> that guy's just, he's my favorite. He's the best one. <laughs> Oh, uh, well. These retarded girls are cheerleading, and it's, you know, just something for them to do before they go work in a box factory. <laughs> oh, my God. And live in a room where nobody likes them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the thing is that only any, anybody cares about is young, retarded people. Yeah, true. Retarded kids go to the Olympics, but when you're a 48-year-old retarded man... What are you, you doing? Getting any more medals? You're at a, you're, <laughs> no medals coming <laughs> no. your way for separating the green glass from you the know, brown glass at the recycling <laughs> plant. That's it. It, you know, speaking of glass, we got something. Yes, uh, Danny ran in because uh, we forgot about this. Uh, Louis's not that far off. And yeah. actually, you say that it, it could mean uh, that's what happens to the star quarterback on half these high school yeah. teams. Like, it, right? It's all downhill after high school. Yeah, no, no. no matter what you do. And yes, for the retarded kids, it's really yeah. What's up, <laughs> what's up, Danny? Just a side note. About the uh, that uh, new story about the uh, the slow cheerleading squad. Yeah. One of the girls on the squad is actually in a wheelchair, and they showed her sitting wow. in her cheerleading uniform with pom poms in her wheelchair. I just thought that yeah. Was funny. Well, are any of them hot? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to comment right. on well, hot retarded no. girl. Okay. Well, here's a uh, little commercial for uh, what sorting glass. No, it's well, <laughs> I don't want to blow it. All right. Let's yeah. See. I, I was trying to be vague, and obviously, all right. Clear gloss here, green there, brown there. I sort glass. That's my job. I learned the job slow, and now I know it by heart. He earns money. He pays taxes. He's just like you. Um, God. ARC, the Association for Retarded Citizens. Don't throw us away. What, was that an option? <laughs> they used to throw them away. Don't throw us away. Uh, I guess we ought to stop throwing these people away. All right. Let them sort glass. Let them sort glass. <laughs> Don't throw me away in the dump. Just put, make me work at the dump. Oh, hell, they're on to us. We can't throw them away we anymore. are throwing you away. Send them to the glass sorting uh, factory. That is throwing you away. <laughs> He seemed uh, pretty functional. Though, it's just you know? that you're doing something at the dump, but you're still at the dump. Man. Yeah, you're at the dump. You've been yeah, you thrown just, away. You've been thrown away. You've been discarded <laughs> by oh, a society hell. that doesn't. You could be working on a farm if they weren't run by corporations. Yeah, hell, they're Did he awesome. say it took him a, kind of a long time to figure out he how to learn sort? it slow, but now he memorized it. Yeah, he's got a brown That's glass. Great. And you know what? That sounds like an old commercial. That guy's, uh, the guy's homeless now. Oh, yeah. There's nothing going on there now. Like you said. After they made that commercial, he's like, so this I get to stay? And they're like, no, we're done with the commercial. No, get out done. of there, you retard. <laughs> you keep getting the brown glass in with the green, you're, you're worthless. <laughs> Rapping uh, retarded people. Isn't this Biz Markey? <laughs> no. Want to thank Louis C.K. House of Blues, Vegas, Saturday, right? That's right. Friday, Spreckles in San Diego. Spreckles? Spreckles Theater. Did you say Freckles or Spreckles? Spreckles. Yeah. This is one cent. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not joining us over next time, have a great day. <laughs> Marble mouth talking about. <laughs> Vanilla light. <laughs> Come on, boys. Give me a big, big, give me a big, 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 big,
Now we're rocking. Wow, your headphones suck, then. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Louis C.K. in studio. There we go. Here at XM Satellite Radio, we got a nice crowd that uh, joined us for the walkover. We don't know what we're going to do as far as broadcasting the walkover. We don't think we should broadcast it every day because we, we run out of crap to do and say, but... Mm. We're thinking maybe we, like, uh, broadcast it once a week or something. I don't know. We're still trying to fiddle with that idea and figure it out, figure out what makes sense. Yeah. And Fast Freddy, another great walkover. What the fuck? What the fuck? Well, People are still walking with us every day, and then you Jeez. get to come up and sit on the bleachers. Dude, you are a tool. Ah, oh, sick of people. I hate people. You know they try to do a best of the walkover and make a whole show out of it and mm -hmm. then realized... Wow, most of this is shit. Yeah, just people walking from one building to another. What oh, could possibly oh boy. be good about that? Wow, Opie made fun of a homeless guy. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I mean, after a while, there's not much you could do with that. So uh, we're thinking maybe once a week would be kind of cool just yeah. to do it, you know, and then uh, blow our wad once a week. Yeah. All I'm right. With it. Hey, uh, I still want All another right. shot at the feel good story for Monday. Who All right. fiddled with it? What, huh? Someone fiddled with it. With what? Fiddled with what? Well, I, as Whoa. I recall, last I looked at the Pal Talk, I was just waking up. Yeah. And uh, it was working fine, unfortunately. And now, like, people fiddle with things, and now the Tom Monitor that usually shows the six various cameras mm -hmm. is uh, completely dark and not even attached to anything. I don't know. It's just uh, another thing. No, no biggie. So, I guess they're seeing something. Are they? I have no idea what, but uh, maybe that view. Let's see. They're I don't. I don't know. They're seeing. Oh, I got to turn on the camera first. Start webcam. It takes forever. Oops. Ooh. What? What just shut off? That's what they're seeing. Good one. They're seeing that. Yep. A couple empty couches. <laughs> what just happened to this? Did someone restart that? Did you restart that? No, I hit this button. Again. Tell me. Tell me if you restarted this. No, I didn't. <laughs> Who restarted it? Window. I've been with Windows uh, quite a while. I know they crash. I know they do funny things. Uh, they never just restart by themselves. <laughs> I didn't install anything. Oh, God. I hate Windows, by the way. It's the worst. Hate it's Windows. fake Apple. I can't. Yeah, it always was. It's turned into uh, uh, just an annoyance for me to even deal with. Mm. The only reason I have it in my house is to play video games on, yeah. period. Because I, I go into, uh, like, the Apple Store, and you go into the gaming section and laugh your ass off. Oh, okay, I could get, like, Madden 2007. I get Tiger Woods. Uh, I could get Age of Empires 3. Uh, I could get Tiger Woods. I could get Madden Football. I could get Age of Empires. You know, now, tomorrow, Half-Life uh, 2, uh, Episode 2 is coming out, Team Fortress 2, which people have been waiting for. Dude, A long time. Ten, Ten years. Wow. This game, people have been waiting, and I'm so psyched. For wait, wait, wait. What? What took so long? You can't just like. It's fucking Valve and 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 uh, the people that make um, uh, Half Life. For, for some reason, they think they're the band Boston. They put, <laughs> they, they put games out like they put out fucking albums. So uh, yeah, really psyched for this one, and it, it, they don't run on a Mac. Mm -hmm. So. It's my Windows, but that's all I use it for now. Everything else, I got Mac. No, with the Mac, you can actually make a display. movie. Yeah, yeah, you can make a movie with it. All of my software that I was using versions of on Windows mm -hmm. that would crash every five minutes. Yep. You, you'd have to be like, save, 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 because God forbid you went five minutes without saving and it crashes. Yep. Now you got to redo everything you did. Sure. Uh, 
the Mac just doesn't fucking crash like no, that. No, it's a great machine. It really is. Not doing a commercial for it here either. It's just the way yeah. it is. Ah, uh, Louis. Windows sucks ass. Yeah. I got to interrupt. Louis, don't put your feet up. That's, I know. I can already feel oh it. That, that, that could lead to a kiss of death. That could lead to a major problem. Let me I'm show everyone feeling. the position never to take. Here it yeah. is. Do we have here a microphone is. on out there so we get some sound from the... Uh, the audience there. Never pull your mic way over here. Right. Yeah. Never lean back in these comfy new chairs. Do you feel like comfy these yeah, are? Yeah, no, they're really nice. And, ne <laughs> yeah. and never, never do this. No. All right. And here it was. Okay, let me let me see if I can reenact the pose. <laughs> That's how I ended up. They're all laughing out Just there. Just Done. We haven't mic'd the audience yet, but they're laughing. Oh, they're laughing at you. How was your neck, by the way? It was killing me. I could imagine. Oh, like a five dollar hooker. Mm. Right. My neck was. No, like... I'm sleepy too. I couldn't get into. I tried. I went to bed at 9 p.m. last night, but I couldn't. Doesn't it, matter. I've I've learned it really doesn't matter what time you go to bed. I said I could go to bed at four in the afternoon. When yeah. I wake up at four in the morning, Still I'm going to yawn and go, "Holy shit, I'm exhausted, yep. tired." Yep. It doesn't matter. It's very there's, true. There's a big difference between four and noon. Like if, if you went to bed at midnight and had to get up at noon, yep. you'd be fucking zippity doodying mm -hmm. out of bed. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be a problem. It's fucking noon. But there's something about even twelve hours sleep getting up at that hour. It's not. It's not meant for humans anymore. Maybe when the, we were farmers, uh, and, and and there was no electricity and stuff. Four in the yep. morning was great. Yeah. You have your big breakfast. You get out in the field. Mm -hmm. But now, no. Sorry. No. There's a reason there's no roosters in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah, we <laughs> killed those fuckers yeah. a long, long time ago. ago. Right. Shut the fuck hey, up. I, I, uh, a little observation. Louis C.K. is a wonderful father. I am a good dad, Oh, my I guess. God. You trash I, your wife. You trash your kids mm -hmm. over the years doing the show with us. Over the years, probably the last year or so. Yeah. Uh, it's rare I call a man adorable. Right. We, <laughs> Louis, you are adorable. We, uh, we were privy to a nice conversation Louis was having with his daughter about uh, Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, Thunder is a, a black gentleman that she's dating. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to be asses in the background, and you were kind of yeah. giggling, but like, look, dude, chill, man. This is my uh, my daughter. <laughs> this, this is what I do. This is yeah, what I Because you were basically telling her that Thunder can't kill you, and we're like, yeah, but the lightning can. <laughs> yes, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah. He's no. explaining, yeah, because yeah. she, was, she was scared of the Thunder. Mm -hmm. No, she called, my wife called me, and I got the, the during a break, I got the message. She said, call if you can. Because it's a thunderstorm and she's hysterical, she's which I crying. think is kind of funny that she's with your daughter. Yeah, but she and she wants to talk to daddy about yes. the thunder. She wants like daddy mommy to... can't calm her down. I don't. I think my well, wife maybe doesn't ground fears maybe as well as I do. Like she does it for me. It she does it for who, <laughs> yeah. She does it for me. Like she can ground my fears. Yeah, but not for the kids. For some reason, they share anxieties. I think so. So so th th she wants to hear a male, you know, rumbly voice saying it's okay. It's everything. It's Okay. Thunder can't hurt you, and also it moves fast, moves quickly over. Yeah, yeah I, I heard you explaining yeah. the thunderstorms. Yeah. Thunderstorms always move quickly. They and, don't. And why was she concerned that the thunder was going to come to New York? Well, apparently they're upstate. They're upstate right now, and they're driving to New York today. So she's oh, thinking the oh, thunder okay. is going to. And if and it is, it's going to fall <laughs> over here. <laughs> so I had to tell her, and he said that I couldn't tell her. No, there's not going to be any thunder here when you get here, because there will be. So right. I can't lose that credibility. I can't. Yeah. So I said, yeah, there probably will be thunder when you get here. But it moves but it'll very move fast. As quickly, didn't you notice that but it moved quickly today? Well, all of a sudden, you, you, turned, you turned into a weatherman. Yeah, yeah. You know, now, let me tell you, baby, the low-pressure system <laughs> is moving out of our area. A high is moving in from Canada, which exactly. will bring, uh, bring cooler temperatures. No, and then I started tell her, telling her about when I was afraid of thunder, even recently. And it was because I didn't know why it was so bad. I was in Austin, Texas, visiting my sister. And they they put me in their guest room, which was like this corner room with big windows. And out of nowhere, thunder, hail, uh, fucking wind. It was crazy. And I was like, we're all going to die. <laughs> this is the worst thing that ever happened in the world. The weather's going to kill I me. I've never seen it before. The windows are getting cracked by yeah. hailstones. And he's explained oh, this to shit. his daughter. And I told and my goes, daughter this story. And then I went and I woke my sister and her husband up and said, "Where is there's a shelter, right? Yeah. We're all going to the, the, the <laughs> local high school. <laughs> right. I'm going to be wearing an army blanket in about five minutes. <laughs> Sleep it on the, the, the authority's going to take care of us, yeah. right? Yeah, the National Guard is on the way you, here. You tell the story to your daughter and you go, and I was 35. I was 35. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't. 
doesn't even know what the th- number 35 is yet. <laughs> right. But I'm like, I was 35 years old and I was scared out of my mind because it's, I didn't know. And then my sister told me, oh, it's like this every night. And after that, I experienced the same thing every night oh, and I didn't you're care. Right. And they went back to bed and they looked at each other and went, oh my God, this is the worst <laughs> fucking storm. Yeah, I think exactly. the roof's going to blow up. Exactly. You were yelling, only, keep Louis safe. You were yeah. yelling for your daddy and your mommy exactly. that night. <laughs> exactly. So she's okay now? She's fine. And I think it's, you know, she she's scared by thunder because it thrills her, I think. I think it's a, she's a very sensitive kid, so she's really... Thunder is really dramatic and cool. Uh, yeah, have you told her what she has? I don't want to take that even away from but her that much. Have you told her what she really has to worry about? Arabs, planes flying. Yeah, right. Buildings, exactly. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, honey, don't worry because we're gonna you are destroying your planet anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. Have, we're wrecking it for you. Yeah, You're don't not worry. Imagine one. if there's a parent out there that takes that approach. You don't have to worry about thunder. What you really need to worry about yeah. is that there, pretty much the rest of the world is exactly. trying to figure out a way to set off, off a nuclear weapon in the middle of That's Manhattan. Right. That's there, what you should a, be worried about. A, another religion and dark forces that don't believe in human rights. And if they had it their way, <laughs> they, they would get a dirty everybody. bomb into this yeah. city. That's what you should be worried about, sweetie. <laughs> right. nah, sweetie. Not dirty sweetie. clouds, dirty bombs yeah. is what you should be worried about. Yeah. Uh, I, I've never seen Anthony uh, sit straighter in my life. Are you trying to make a, an what? impression today? I'm trying to make an impression. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to fall asleep. I, I'm working on, I'm trying to get Pal Talk running. I think I got a, a camera. But it's a, a rug. That says the Opie and Anthony show. That's pretty much what they're getting. But your back is millions as, of dollars of technology. Your back is straight as a board. Oh yes, <laughs> you're at full attention I'm here. I'm gonna today. drink a nice sugary <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, I I don't right. want to I don't want to be falling asleep. Hey, do we have that uh, the feel good uh, story sweeper? Because I want to attempt this again. Okay. Do we have that or it's at the other joint? Because we don't. We have Monday's pr- production there, E-Rock. E-Rocktober, everybody. E-Rocktober. There's an, oh, they're screaming out there. Wait. Oh, wait. Take two. E-Rocktober, everybody. Wow. Yeah, 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 I got a nice crowd out there. Yeah. And he's doing nothing. <laughs> he's uh, looking for a disc. No, no, no. He's oh, panicking. Here somewhere. He's panicking. Uh, he's what? It was new today, buddy. You know what the uh, one of the, uh, the funniest things I saw today with E-Rock? Was when Ope came in, and the uh, worst of or best of, whatever you want to call it, is playing between the two shows, and Ope goes, "Who chose this?" Now Iraq didn't want to commit to it, not knowing that Opie was actually going to compliment. I was trying to give a compliment. Whoever, whoever I noticed uh, that. Boy, so, so boy. Eric's like, uh, um, uh, boy. Uh, I noticed it because I thought the same thing when he yeah. said, who chose the stuff that goes on before boy, we that, came here? And I thought, hmm, is he upset? Or is yeah, he, is someone going to get... get but someone's about how, to get, you know... Boy, that's that how everyone else was. That's how Eric was. Like, oh, mm, I know uh, it was me, but now i got to say it's that, me. That doesn't say a lot for me, you know? <laughs> that, they have to go into defense mode. No, no it's I good. thought You're I a... thought it was really smart because they picked the Louis C.K. thing. Right. And there are dummies out there that mm, just figure dummies. that the show continued and that we right. didn't take a break and that was live today. Yep. And that's why I say that's brilliant exactly so he finally fessed up to it and then Ope goes yeah that's a good idea to keep the theme going and then he goes like, oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of yeah, course you know that was me I, uh, fucking roll Ope <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh alright we don't have the sweeper but I'm going to attempt the feel good story again uh, for today we, we need one good feel good story so let's try this one okay or maybe not. You got to reach the seat. This is the McDonald's at 7th and Broadway, where Monday a 20-year-old described as an employee here had a baby in the bathroom. All I see was everybody running to the um, bathroom and stuff. And um, so far, so good, right? Uh, For a feel good story. Somebody Monday? had a, a well, baby in a bathroom. Yeah. What's wrong? Yeah. You know, that's it's good, like, right? Hey, it was baby like a Christmas story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a circle of life. Yeah, circle of life. Playing out at that yeah. uh, McDonald's in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. There you go. There's your feel-good story for That's Monday. Where you want to If we stop here, okay. <laughs> if we stop here. here. But something tells me it's going to go hard. Baby's going to be drinking ammonia in a second. I just kept walking. I don't want to be involved in none of that. But I didn't know somebody was in there having a baby. Turns out, I gave the man UPS. UPS. <laughs> Well, this customer knows the employee that, according to this police report, told paramedics she then tried to flush three times. Wow. That's bad. Masked workers are credited for taking the baby boy. That's all I could get as a comment from somebody. Man, that's bad. Man. I think it's a little more than bad. Eee. Out of the toilet and doing CPR, they say he was not breathing and had no pulse. All this happening at the end of the busy lunch hour here. 
Yeah. Mm. Cool. So every year that kid is going to have a almost flush down the toilet day <laughs> instead of a birthday. <laughs> the mother was taken from the restaurant to Truman Medicine. They're all with laughing and stuff. That's basically. What? Did she ever talk about being pregnant? No. This police report also has paramedics saying she told them she didn't know that she was pregnant. But investigators looking into what happened here say they have information indicating the McDonald's employee told others about her pregnancy. Now, we reached that woman today. She's still at TMC. She did not want to talk. No one at the restaurant, none of the employees is talking either. The baby born at 32 weeks is here, is expected to survive, and Child Services now has custody of that baby boy. Mm. She didn't know. She thought that she was uh, taking a baby-shaped shit out of her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she thought it was. And so she was trying to flush it like a good employee. Three times. She was trying to flush and then wash her hands and go back to work. <laughs> Three fucking she times she and was, couldn't get it down? She thought she took a fleshy shit out of her vagina. All right, well. <laughs> is that the feel good She story? had a fucking look. That She probably that eats McDonald's every day. Yeah. If you eat that shit every day... You never you know what you're going to shit You a baby out. out of your twat. <laughs> that's how bad that food is for you. All right, that's not a good <laughs> it's feel It's very story. binding. I don't think it's feel good. All right, I'm I trying. I think it's funny. All right, I'll try here. Let's keep trying. We need one good feel good story for this Something Monday. Something that's got to warm the cockles. Uh, the cockles. What is a cockle? A I know. cockle. Where is the cockle? It's part of the heart. You get it? It's a... But isn't it warm all the time then? I think so. All right. He had his gun out. How about I ain't this? never been in that situation before, so I took off. Fifteen-year-old Mark Atkins is now facing several charges after taking a joyride in a stolen car and getting into a short pursuit with police in southwest Oklahoma City. But along with the charges, he's now facing an uphill battle with his health after being captured by a canine officer that tore away flesh along with his scrotum. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Now, now that's a feel good oh, story. Along with his scrotum. <laughs> oh, we almost flesh. there? And oh, by the way, oh, yeah. his ball bag. Some of that flesh <laughs> was his scrotum. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I got to hear that again. He just casually throws in, and oh, yeah, the dog ripped off his scrotum yeah, and started chewing it like bubblegum. He didn't gum. need to tell us. That's not oh. newsworthy. Right. The fact that it was his balls was not newsworthy. Right, a little right. bit leather chew toy. That was just a little throw in. Yeah. Battle with his health after being captured by a canine officer that tore away flesh along with his scrotum <laughs> along with his, his scrotum uh, Joey give us another read on along with his scrotum a little more dramatic along with his scrotum now, now make it a little more dark mm -hmm. along with his scrotum that's perfect circle that take <laughs> that was good how many along with his scrotum <laughs> takes do you think he has I want to hear that tape. along with his, his scrotum, scrotum. <laughs> no, no, no 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 you're no, not no. getting the essence no, you of along it. with his scrotum no because the first one was tore away his flesh along with his scrotum wait 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 wait, wait. slow down you slow can't down. just glance we over have that a baby of... you gotta slow down yeah, a little bit slow down on the there's scrotum. a yield here you gotta slow yeah. a little bit how many stories have you read with along with his scrotum this week. <laughs> right, right. Don't you fucking know when to pause? It's drama, motherfucker. Try again. Let's go. Tape's rolling. Along with his scrotum. I, it sounds like you're. It's like the weather or something. Along with. Ooh. Feel his a little, you know. Scrotum. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is pointing out love is fake voice. Yeah. If you can't get up for a scrotum ripping story, yeah. then you, you, you don't belong in the business. Yeah. All right. Uh, more to the story. The doctors told me I didn't think they didn't think that we were gonna be able to stitch me back together. He was in the trauma for seven to nine days. He didn't, it, it's, I just never seen anything like. Wouldn't you be in trauma for the rest of your life, more I, or less? I mean, nine days. For a few days. nine days, I felt amazing. <laughs> right, nine days, I'm like, ah, <laughs> fuck it. Throw them, blow them. Need to anyway. Fucking dog bit my ball bag off, but <laughs> yeah, it's nine days. Ah, ago. you move on. Who gives yeah. a shit? It looks like an inf like a deflated balloon mm. now. Yeah. Ah, who cares? Who gives a shit? I don't need that. Like this done to a minor. Obviously, they're not trained to bite in this particular area of the body. <laughs> Officers say Mark was not handcuffed oh. when the dog attacked and claimed the animal was just doing what it was trained to do. They had the officer on top of the individual. They're on the ground. The guy's resisting. The dog is trying to assist his handler with this aggressive behavior as best he can. I can't explain how painful it was, but it's like being tied up and eating alive. Mark says he was no longer resisting. His mother now hopes legal action will help the police admit they were wrong. Oh, There's some good officers out there. 
-hmm. and there's some bad ones, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think in order to clean it up, they need to let these officers take it, take responsibility for what they do to the public. I got something to add to that statement. There's some uh, good kids out there, and there's, there's some, some bad, bad kids. Ones. That's right. The they deserve a dog to... ripping their scrotum off. The good off. ones get to walk away with their balls. <laughs> right. Yep. Sometimes the bad ones don't. That's all she's got. There's bad cops, good cops. Nope. How about there's bad kids? That kid kids, was good kids. bagging groceries, uh, saving money for his college fund. A dog would never in his life bit off a <laughs> right. scrotum. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm on a mission. We got to find just one good feel good story for today, Monday. Got to find. This is uh, that one was great. Is that a good feel good story? You think? Made me feel good. I feel pretty good. I about left. It. Do yeah. you guys feel good? No. Is there a mic off? <laughs> They're in a soundproof booth. What happened? I feel better okay, than I did on. before the story. All right, let me try another. I one. can't believe. Also, while we, you're looking, yeah, the one Paltaw camera I have control of is the worst camera. In the whole place. All I can get is a black leather chair. It's in there, so I can't even get the audience because it hits the TVs. It doesn't go down low enough. It's too close to the TVs. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't get us. I can only get a chair or the Opie and Anthony or the Ron and Fez carpet. Do the Ron and Fez carpet. They, they right. can use the promotion. Sure. There you go. That's there what you get is. today. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Now, we need one of these feel-good stories uh, to bring everyone together. Like, mm -hmm. you feel good, but the uh, the crowd out there, they're shaking their head. They're like, no, nah, I don't feel good after that story. So let's try another no. one here. Feel-good story Monday. You ready yet? Ready. All right, here's the next one. Let's, tr let's see if this is the one that brings everyone together. Police are looking for a driver in a deadly hit and run. Yeah, but they're also looking for some thieves who ripped off the victim as he lay bleeding and dying on the sidewalk. It's an unbelievable <laughs> story. Here's some video. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. That's fun. Oh, look at that. What happened to that guy? Take his wallet. <laughs> oh, my God. That guy just got hit by a car 10 seconds ago. Take his watch. I, I wish it was that because he would almost understand if it was his uh -huh. wallet, his whatever. His, All right. You know, what did they take? Money. Thieves who ripped <laughs> off the victim as he lay bleeding and dying on the sidewalk. It's an unbelievable story. Here's some video from the scene near Maine and Horn in Mesa. Police tell us the man happened to be waiting for a bus with his groceries in hand when an out-of-control truck hit him and killed him. Instead of helping the man, people nearby started stealing his groceries. Oh, they made off with him in the God. Oh, you got to be shitting me. Well, he, got so, he got organic eggs. <laughs> right. He's got blueberries. That's a perfectly good cantaloupe. He's got blueberries. <laughs> yeah, it's not his wallet with his money and his no. credit cards. It's stupid groceries. Oh, my God. Instead of helping the man, people nearby started stealing his groceries. They made oh, off with them, and the truck driver now faces felony charges. If caught, he also took off. The people who stole those groceries could also face theft charges mm. as oh, well. Oh, boy, that's wow. a biggie. That, that theft, theft charge is yo. a biggie, man. <laughs> Grand theft lemon. <laughs> is that a good feel to say? Oh, God. What, are they, what, what were they saying uh, out there? Nothing. I'm zooming in on... Uh, uh, you got the camera working. There we go. Well, I got one more camera working. There we go. It's like Apollo 13 in here. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. You gotta keep, keep just holding shit together with duct tape. Not smart uh, on XM's part, by the way, because mm. uh, you're dealing with guys that have ADD to begin with. So yep. what do you do? You, you, you throw a bunch of shiny new toys in I know, front of new us. new things. Joysticks and cameras. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, yeah, we're supposed to do a radio show. I forgot yeah. about the radio show for a second. Right. Uh, is that your feel-good story? Uh, I feel I, I don't feel good about that. That was no, no, no? no. <laughs> that's not a good one. Yeah, the poor bastard. All right, how about uh, all right? I'm gonna try two more, maybe maybe one more. Let's we'll try this for your feel-good story for this Monday. I put Cromwell on the camera. Stupid Cromwell. Cromwell. Cromwell's on cam. A name I like to say. He's the only one I could uh, get on camera through the like slot in the door. <laughs> Cromwell. Cromwell. He walks into FH. I go, hello, Cromwell. <laughs> Stupid Cromwell. <laughs> I think it's some abuse. Pick a, a worse name. In the ONA, Cromwell. in the ONA community, then Cromwell. Even Flea is, you know, whatever Flea. But Cromwell. That's his first name. Flea. No, Cromwell. He's right there. That's I guess that's his first that's name. His handle. That's his handle. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Cromwell. All right. Here's another feel-good story. Let's try another one here. 
Wow, there's quite a delay in that fucking thing, huh? Yes. Police describe it as bottom of the barrel. Surveillance tape rolls as a toddler is forced to steal at a boardwalk arcade in Seaside Heights. The real life case has a lot of parallels to Oliver Twist. Watch as the woman sets down a little girl at Lucky Leo's arcade and kicks her under a swing gate below a glass counter. The child then grabs an employee's purse. The purse had approximately $165 in cash. It was a coach purse and had numerous credit cards in there. If this woman can do this to this child now, to use the innocence of a child to commit a crime, it's much easier for that woman to purvey this child to do more crimes. Police uh, right now are working on leads. They say points. an arrest yeah. is imminent. That was, that was very so poorly, poorly stated. Poorly worded. Yes. If it was easy for her to use the child's innocence to do this, then it will be easy for her. Oh, never mind. In the future, oh, to maybe. Right. I oh, forget it. It's a. It's bad. <laughs> it's. Hey, we got a tattletale on uh, and some feedback. Save a my rat? save my up stick from whack bag. He writes, "Oh, by the way, Cromwell said he could last thirty seconds with Poe." Really, Cromwell? Wait, he's nodding to that. Yeah. What do you mean that he in a fight he could last for thirty seconds? Yeah. Cromwell. Get a mic on Cromwell. There goes Danny. Danny you can last said, uh, based on. Oh, that mic sounds great. The rules that, that you had. Last week, back up a little. Wrestling, yeah. Yeah, I was Joe's uh, lead singer, I think, uh, who wrestled uh, Poe. Yeah. He, he lasted for thirty seconds. Yeah. I think I could last thirty seconds with Poe wrestling. Do you, do you wrestle? I, I did wrestle. Karate crumbs. Oh, karate crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Good one. Cromwell. <laughs> yeah, you think you could. 30 seconds with Poe. You know, based on those rules, which is no eye gouging, no choking out. Well, no, you know, we need a new waiver, off. man, for these listeners. No choking out. But they have to sign their, their basic life away. Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Basic wrestling. <laughs> yeah, Poe has said he's not a wrestler. Wait, but that he's, wasn't he's the, a murderer. That wasn't the bit. The guy used wrestling moves on Poe. Poe was still able to do whatever he wanted. Did Poe didn't turn into a wrestle all of a sudden. Ah, there's Poe now. Gentlemen. In that case, maybe a little less than 30 seconds. Yeah, Poe doesn't wrestle. He just got confused by the, the guy that had some wrestling techniques, that's all. Poe's like the guy that if gunmen enter a bank, Poe could take a pen and kill them all. Mm -hmm. With nothing more than a pen. Mm -mm, this one. So he can't just... He's not a wrestler. But he'll, I think he'll still tie up and make it tap out. In less than 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds is a long time. Yeah. No, not really. To be with... Oh, to be in that an awful hold, yeah. Yeah, yeah but Poe could hold. take him out in like... But I say like Poe could take Cromwell out in 28 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poe will get your arm like in that position where you just go, All right, all right, all right. Like if you're thinking, wow, I think I really got this guy. I think I could... Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, nobody wants their limbs to actually break. No. Let's play let's play like a version of Name That Tune with Cromwell. Uh, I say Poe takes him out in 28 seconds. All right. 29. No, you can go the other way. <laughs> no, I'm going to go the one. <laughs> I hate those people. All right, this is the last uh, attempt at the feel-good story okay. for this Monday. All right. It is a medical mistake that is hard to imagine. A woman goes through a painful double mastectomy believing she had cancer. But that diagnosis was entirely wrong, and now that woman is suing. Uh, I just... I thought they were going to say, but now that woman is is flat-chested. <laughs> suing. She better get more than $11.5 million dollars yeah, for that, right? That, to so. me, is a lot worse than someone calling you a bitch at work. I would say so, yeah. Wrong, yeah. and now that woman is suing. I just broke down and cried, and I really didn't know what happened in the room from that point on. News Dairy Eason says she couldn't even believe the doctor told her she didn't have breast cancer, but it was too late, weeks after she had a double mastectomy. Oh. The good news is your breasts are not cancerous. The bad news is that they're in a bucket in the uh, hospital waste dump. <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, oh. <laughs> it's too late. They're mixed in with other people's uncancerous breasts. Yeah, we really can't reattach them at this point. Yeah, so yeah. Seems like that's not going to work. Seems like you get these stories from time to time where yeah. they take the wrong leg mm -hmm. off, the wrong arm. Mm -hmm. Some patients have taken to um, writing uh, on their own legs. Yeah, like on their this own. This is the leg. bad one. Yeah, bad leg. This one's yeah. got to go. She right, should have right. written, please make sure yeah. they have cancer before Double you check fucking that. scoop them out. Double check. By the way, now uh, Cromwell's getting some uh, advice. Smokezilla writes, sweep the leg, Cromwell. Sweep the leg. <laughs> <laughs> sweep the leg, Cromwell. <laughs> and someone else saying that you do sound like a Cromwell. Here's uh, more to the story. It just hit me uh, that... All the uh, things that I had gone through, my family, my my child, that it was unnecessary. Her life was changed forever. She says it happened after the lab made a horrible mistake. Mm. They mixed up her report with someone else's. Yeah. Now she's suing the medical lab in Rybrook, CBL Path. In spite of the best efforts, these things happen. But I don't understand that. A state report blames the mix-up on a technician at the lab. Oh. He admitted to cutting corners when labeling the specimen. Oh, boy. He cutting just wrote corners. He wrote lady. <laughs> he wrote some lady's tits. <laughs> <laughs> and they got mixed up with some other lady's tits. Was with the, other, the other label said some other lady's tits. Well, yeah. It's just cutting some corners. Yeah. And uh, you're getting to uh, the obvious. There is a second victim. Oh, well, because there's a mix-up. So oh, there's, there's a lady a who's fucking oh, breasts. Are, uh, some lady's got black breasts. <laughs> right, she's and she Korean. She's oh, she got some great news. And then <laughs> and some other lady's got cauliflower on her nipples. <laughs> oh, here's the she was told that she's fine a week ago. Here's the second victim to the story. There's a second victim. Yeah. The woman whose information got switched with Jerry's. That woman was apparently told she didn't have cancer, but found out much later that, in fact, she did. I hope no one ever has to go through that. I hope nobody ever has to deal with that, because it's, it, you can't explain it to a person and have them understand unless they've been through it, and I hope no one ever has to go through this. Now, the attorney isn't saying how much money they're asking for, and the technician, by the way, who made that mistake in the first place, well, they no longer work for the company. Well, really? Hmm. I thought he got, well, a, well, I thought like he got a promotion. Oh, well, I guess everything's fine then. Sounded like a great uh, employee. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he has the old squeaky mic. I thought it was a dog barking in the in the background. All right, we got. Uh, we have a lot of like stuff that we haven't got to in a long time. So yeah, it's time to clean house. This isn't a bad idea. In search of your um, feel good story. Yeah. I don't think that was it either. No, no. both people it. lost. It wasn't like the other woman, you know, learned that she didn't have <laughs> cancer <laughs> and saved her boobs. Right. You know, at the last minute, right when they were ready to slice. Why did he ran tell in. her? Is the thing? Why did the doctor tell her? Yeah, because he, he must have been like, I can't wait to see the look on her fucking face. <laughs> so I tell her that it was yeah, unnecessary. At that, at that point, why would why you tell Why bother us? telling her? Just go, hey, looks like the operation went perfectly. Wow, it's and, looking good. And uh, now your perfectly healthy breasts are gone, yeah, and maybe. you're looking great. I'd say your chance of uh, any Remission? type of uh, cancer reoccurring is uh, zero. Right. Yeah. We beat it back. <laughs> All right, here's You're welcome. A Here's something crazy that happened to a senior citizen. It was just a, basically a misdemeanor shoplifting call. $25 worth of candy from a Safeway. Officers came to the Governor's Park Retirement Community to question a man in his late 60s. Police say the man met them at the door with a handgun. Fired four to five shots. Jeez. Hello. Shots hit a Windsor police officer in his protective vest. Another round hit his lower body. I like, um... A pop, pop, but not like a boom. We did have one officer who did return shots. That's when we brought everybody inside the house. And then within five minutes, uh, everybody showed up. And then they all were cocking their guns. And I, so they ran by and said, get in your houses, get in your houses. <laughs> he just started firing. He stole 25 lousy dollars of candy. And they and go the, to the retirement the, home to question him. And he, he shot a cop. Like He's a cop killer. 
guy <laughs> over is stealing okay, candy. Uh, <laughs> flashback. Listen uh, what happens, though. For three hours, SWAT teams maneuvered around the neighborhood. They have attempted negotiations, but at this point, uh, there's been no response. So he's then like a SWAT team robot with a camera told them why. The suspect lay dead inside his home, uh, perhaps injured uh, in the initial exchange of fire. He was, he was my neighbor. Yeah. Joe Harris knew his eccentric neighbor is Ed. Right. Eccentric. No, was Ed. Harris says his neighbor was a loner. Different. Liked to brag about his gun collection. In fact, Harris says his neighbor came by his apartment early in the afternoon, wanted to talk about some issues he was having. Harris says Ed stormed out when another neighbor interrupted their conversation. I didn't get a chance to to under, find out what was troubling me. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those crazy old guys that decided. Have, the, the guy at the end should say, and none of the people in this story matter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Corinne in Jersey. Corinne, what's up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. No, I've got all the buttons down. Corinne. That hmm. sounds like a button thing, though. Yellow. Kind of weird. Like, we came here that first day and everything was just working perfectly. Everything worked fine. And, and there's been a drastic candy. drop off in the last couple of days. It's been a half life of a day. Ah, she had a good story too. She uh, was told she didn't have cancer when she did and she lost her boobs. Ooh. Wow. So she can relate to that story we just played, but we can't get the phones working. Well, let me see if it was just her. Let's uh, say hi to Thomas. 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 Yeah, the phone's not working. Great. <laughs> oh. Uh, Thomas. Hi. He's saying hello because it sounds hello. like hello. Thomas. Hello. Hello. We could hear him. He can't hear us. Thomas. Uh, Click. He hung up. And now Corinne's calling back. Frustration. It it wasn't my fault. She's uh, saying, but we can't go to her because the phone. They it's can't not hear a us. button thing. Not a not a button here thing. No. Yeah, nothing's working. I knew a woman who had breast cancer, and she didn't have... She had small tits, and so she took the opportunity to put in big, porny ones. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because they, they got to put something... They, they, yeah, they, they scoop out the breast back. meat, and then they put bags in there. <laughs> scoop it That's out. what they do. They basically use a grapefruit spoon, <laughs> and they scoop it out. <laughs> and, they, and then what, what do, do they got? do about a nipple? A nipple? Yeah. I don't know what they do. If it's like... I don't think the nipple has cancer. I think it's just the meat in, inside the breast. Yeah, I don't know. Fatty, fatty meat. Because I, I heard like they have to tattoo one on or something. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I could draw one on with a sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, we got to take months. a break, so hopefully we figure out these phones. Tell Corinne to st you know stand by. Until yeah, after take the a break. break, and we'll fix all this shit. All right, it's uh, God damn it! I want to take this phone call. Uh, hold hold on the line, everybody on the phone. Thank you. All right. Uh, Louis C.K. playing House of Blues, Vegas, this Saturday for yes. the Piss Out West. And we'll continue in just a bit. It's Opie and Anthony. The Opie and Anthony virus. Get infected. All right, we're back with... The Opie and Anthony Show. Louis C.K. in studio. Let's not forget Jim Norton on Jay Leno tonight. Make sure you take a peek at that. Uh, we'll play his appearance on our show tomorrow as well. Cromwell. Yeah, Smokezilla from Wackbag. Uh, he writes, is Cromwell oiling up for the big <laughs> match with Master Poe? And then you got, uh, well, Pat from Monaki. Uh, Cromwell will <laughs> use the, you can't hit me, I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to try the phones again. Do we know if they're working? They should. All right, let's say hi to Corinne. Corinne. Yeah. Guys, if you're if you have me on, I can't hear you. Corinne. Hi. Hi, Corinne. Hi. Can you hear us? <laughs> Shout out the window. I just feel like yelling. Hey, hey. Corinne. Corinne. Can you hear us, please? Answer. I really thought after XM, you know, pumped about a million dollars into this place, that all. things would be a little different. You would think. I was crazy to think that things would be different after spending a million dollars. And since it did work the first day, they must have had this just the that first day. This is so fundamental. And... Like, they can't do what Alan Freed was able to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, yeah, right. He was fucking had taken callers after playing James Brown's newest record. <laughs> yeah. So we, we don't have no trouble. Fuck. We don't have phones today. Is your mouse working? Uh, no, the mouse doesn't work for 
Kyle talks. We don't right. have Wi-Fi today. What else don't we have? Then? I only have two. What the hell's going cameras. on? The problem was that uh, apparently over the weekend there was a power outage. So yeah. we're still trying to work the bugs out of all the equipment that had to be reset and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. That was the weekend. Yeah. Apparently. So why it, it's now Monday and yeah, still well, fucked up? I think people didn't know until early this morning, and they've been working on it since six. Oh. Yeah, well. Danny, which one do you think is a, the feel-good yeah. story for today? Yeah. Uh, I think what are my the choices? studio here. <laughs> uh, we have power outages upstate, and just you know, you, you might just turn everything back on. It comes Warm back milk, on, but yeah, yeah, that's about <laughs> it. This it comes back on. Comes back on, and it's the yeah. way you left it. Yeah. It's all. Oh, all right. I got. I got. The digital it. clock is off by the. You know, it may be blinking twelve o'clock. <laughs> but you fix that. <laughs> yeah, it's done. easy enough. Couple okay. of buttons. Uh, Corinne has a great story, and we can't get to her, so I don't know. Maybe she could type it out or something and email it to us. That's a good one. That's a good one? All right. We're going to attempt another feel-good story here, okay? okay. All right. Louis, do Sorry. not yawn. <laughs> Today is not the day to yawn in here. <laughs> Louis feeling the chair, man. <laughs> These chairs have to go. These yeah. are bad chairs. All right, here we go. Another feel-good story for this uh, Monday. <laughs> Yeah, and this here, Brian Neal Rose, and this doesn't work right. It does. Yeah, it. It's not to get technical. It doesn't queue up when you put the CD in for whatever reason. So yeah, it, what's that about? Bad. There's a lot of little bugs in here. That yeah. was working the first. Everything was working the first day. Mars is having a panic attack. <laughs> you all right, Mark? Mars, I'm getting better. All right. Yeah, our phones. Because um, now watch what happens when you do this. Here, Brian. Well, it worked that time. Now it worked. It was different. It's only when you first put it in, it doesn't automatically right. go to the first track. When uh, you first put it in and press the button, it so won't go. as soon as you put it in, you got to yeah. hit fast Start forward. <laughs> fast forward. <laughs> How's mother? I wouldn't know. All right. Oh, Here, Brian Neal Rosema pulled from a house and hauled off to jail. He's charged with more than 100 counts of child pornography in a shocking and disgusting crime. One week ago, Rosema entered this Walmart in West Melbourne, and police say used a self-help photo kiosk to print 140 photos depicting child pornography and molestation of a child under the age of 12. After the final photo was done, police say Rosema <laughs> left, unaware that the printer had simply run out of paper. When an employee restocked the paper, more lewd photos <laughs> fell out. And that's when Walmart called police. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, he goes to Walmart to print out freaking kitty porn. They got things. great prices. <laughs> <laughs> they got great prices. Walmart is awesome. Uh, Even if you're printing uh, children with your dick in their ass. Don't don't these people it's realize very good prices? Don't, don't they realize that's a crime? Well, like, do they? Do how could it be a crime when it's so feel so good? <laughs> it's, you might as well just print up some some yeah. uh, prototype money yeah. and go there and go. Could you just pr keep printing these and I'll yeah. be back? And so there's a big pile of counterfeit hundreds. Oh, yeah, no, it's. It's a I crime. Really, child molesters go are so flagrant, like they're so bad. Yeah, they're it, horrible. It really, the only th truth could be that it that fucking kids is awesome, <laughs> <laughs> because people people risk their freedom, they risk livelihood, their, their, everything, everything. Li yeah, their their family, friends, yeah. freedom. All the guys that go on that whatever that show is, the you know Predator show. Predator. All it's the guys that line. show up and they kind of know, and they even say to the guy, "I kind of knew this was probably I you." I knew you were going to be in here. But it was worth the risk because fucking children is just <laughs> kicks ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> his logic is, and that, is, yeah, is brilliant. Yeah, it it must your logic be. is brilliant, man. It must be just. Hey, fucking, uh, is it true it that must be? Is it true that Cromwell's talking shit about Poe out there? I, I'm hearing that uh, <laughs> Cromwell, Cromwell thinks Poe is a Nancy boy queer. <laughs> is that true, Cromwell? Absolutely not. I did not say that at all. A Nancy boy queer. Wow. And what does Poe think of all this? Where's Poe? Whoa. Very angry. And I did say I was a fan of the new studio. Not anymore. Until these bugs are uh, figured out. Poe, are you allowed to beat the shit out of one of our listeners? Uh, is there a rule? <laughs> I'm serious. What's the rule? The rule? Well, the, Do we have another form in, the, in that file cabinet of yours that uh, protects you if you kill this fucker? Mm, no. No. Not at all. I will definitely won't be protected with what I'm thinking about doing to him.
Really? Yeah. Can you wrestle him down? I get Opie, I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> and then just let's get this straight. I'm not a wrestler. I, uh, However, why don't you just like throw a couple moves on him and then like just crush his glasses and a couple of like judo moves? Yeah, crush his glasses. His glass may fall into his eye. Can't you get him? Because I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, uh, Poe uh, get some guy on the street that might be a problem. And get him into a hold where the guy is completely subdued on the ground and cannot budge. Now that isn't really wrestling, but th that would fit the rules because uh, you're not eye gouging or, or anything like that. So, pain compliance. Pain compliance. No, he could wrestle, and you could do whatever the hell you want, yeah. as long as you don't leave a mark. Yeah, don't you know? What what kind of form has Cromwell uh, filled out today? Just the basic one. Oh, yeah, that covers uh, you giving him a beating. Great. <laughs> the, the basic one. Yeah, that's in there, right? Life limb. Yeah, we would have to find out how we... Uh, Cromwell, you really want in or what? Yeah, man, definitely. See? He's not scared of you, Paul. <laughs> Sorry to say, he's not scared of you. Well, that's all good. It's a sport. Mm. You want to do a little demonstration? Cromwell? Sure. I'm Cromwell. Game. All right. Get Cromwell in here. All righty. Wait. They're going to set up the studio. We'll take... Hopefully the phones are working now. Uh, Corinne. Corinne. Yeah. They told me to try the phones again because they work. Uh, Corinne. Yeah. There's, She'll say hi once the delay hits. Remember. They're still not working. Hold on a minute. Let's try this one. Uh, Jason and Rockland. Jason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're still not the working. The phones aren't working. All right, Cromwell. So what's the deal? You can last 30 seconds. You're going to wrestle and poke and do whatever he wants? Yeah, basically, you know, short of eye gouges and, you know, arm snaps. Not Correct, arm, Master Poe? No, it's not an arm snap. It's it's going to be, uh, you know, he's going to do something to your arm that's going to make you scream. Gonna hurt yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, uh, arm bar, if, you know, I'm tapping out if he's got me, you know, locked up. Mm -hmm. With some Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And what's your tap-out word? Tapping out is, you know, tapping the body. All right. Paul, are you in? Where are these fucking people? <laughs> Where are these people? <laughs> That's I'm your man, Louie. Right, let's get a... This is just comedy. so weird. Here there's Cromwell. rules out in the street. There are no rules, but, you know... Let's get, a, let's get a verbal from Cromwell. Like 30 seconds, he said? A verbal from Cromwell. You will not sue if Poe hurts you. It's verbal. Yeah. Huh? Binding yes. verbal. Yes, say it. Correct. Say it. I say will it. not sue if Poe hurts me. Right. Poe, please don't hurt me. Yeah, that's no, he's not going to hurt me. Legal and binding, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Taking off his jacket, Poe is. Oh, he's also taking his shirt out of his pants, like uh, uh, like untucking and it. And the tie comes off. Yeah, it takes off his tie. He's just getting don't himself. Don't forget the pen in your pocket. Wait, open can... the door so the crowd, we can get the that crowd. That could injure yeah. you. Because the oohs and ahs from the crowd when they see Cromwell yeah. in a pretzel is going to be just brilliant for the show today. <laughs> well, don't remember the, the stripper pole uh, platform has corners. Yeah. That could, you know, oh, put yeah. a gouge in his head. Uh, we really need the phones to work. I, I hope they figure that out for maybe tomorrow's show. Yeah. All right. What else is... Okay, he took a quarter out of his pocket. Usually, Wallet. He's ready. Yeah. Poe's still not happy about what happened last week, so Cromwell, I think you're going to suffer because okay. of that. I'm serious. Keep the doors ready? open so we can hear the crowd. You got, Get the, you got the mic on. Oh, it's working? Okay. All right. All right. All right, Paul. A little demonstration. Right, the only thing I want to say is, again, this is not real. On the street, this is not real. Different. Okay. Oh, what? Basically, what he's saying is, if this was on the street and no one was looking, you're, you would be fucked. Yeah, they're yeah. just. He's, he's going to doubt that. He'd, All right. Fi he'd fish hook you in your asshole. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he he plays nice for the radio show, but if, if it came down to it, he would take one of your eyeballs right yeah. out of your head. Yeah. Without a doubt. That said, uh, you know, I still think I can last 30 seconds. 30 seconds. By the way, Cromwell okay. equals Tapwell from uh, yeah. Zeus oh. and Bridgeport. All right, who's, who's it? It's the one fucking camera I got working, Sam, and that's it. So don't stand in front of it. Cromwell. Right. Hey, by the way, Cromwell just texted us and gave us some instant feedback. It says, uh, from Cromwell in studio, so it has to be real. Master Poe is a limp-dicked faggot. Bring it on. Oh, wow. wow. Did you wow. just write that? 
That, As you uh, can see, I have no texting device on me. Man. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, I believe it says sent by Cromwell, location in studio. It huh? says it right there. I so see it's it right there. True. I All think right. there's a lot of culprits right out there with text texting machines. T texting machine. Texting yeah, machine. Yeah, that infernal <laughs> texting <laughs> machine. By the way, did he, did he, did he, did <laughs> By the way, Smokezilla oh, writes. Machine. Dot dot. Smokezilla writes. Cromwell, the pain you will be feeling is not real either. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see now. All right, Paul. What are you going to do to this kid? I will react on his action. Ah, interesting. Ah, but he yeah, thinks he can last us. 30 seconds. Yeah, he's going to use his own mistakes. Fair enough. Him. Start the 30 seconds when we make physical contact. All right. Ah, that's sure. good. I All like right. that. Okay. No dilly dallying around. If we move the around. nice leather couches out of the way, I would hate to get blood on them. I mean, they're still no, brand new. Try to stay okay. on the uh, Ron and Fez uh, <laughs> carpet <laughs> there. Uh, it just makes it easier for me to keep them in frame. All right. A lot of people say 15 seconds tops for you. All right. Here we go. Let's see you. All right, as soon as they uh, make contact. Okay, now it started. Okay, uh, no, no, wow, you don't know how to like bow. shake and bow your head, Cromwell. Oh, you got a pen in your pocket. Bow your so heads right. without wrestling. All right, here we go. Okay. Ready? Here they go. And all right. Here we go. <laughs> right, they're at it. Uh, 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 no, no. Oh, God, that's an insane. There goes machines. That's out of bounds. <laughs> Huge mistake. This out of thing. bounds. He's tapping out. He's tapping not, out. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Damn. It hasn't tapped, hasn't tapped. <laughs> Ten seconds, I think. Twenty? Ten left. Ten left. He might last. He might last. Five. <laughs> that was a head hitting the floor. Time's up. All right, time's up. He lasted 30 seconds. Yeah! Wow. Cromwell! Cromwell. Cromwell. <laughs> Cromwell. <laughs> he just left They're all hanging on the floor. And he just did the For superstar Cromwell. movie. Went, superstar! And then they hugged. I wish I could explain what happened. It was just, uh, it, it looked like hug. two men having gay sex. That's yeah. all I got. I don't how really did, know how what did it they was. Get to the, how'd you guys get to the couch? It yeah, was you, fast and furious he went gay for, sex. Uh, Chokehold. He had it right away. I don't know how he didn't choke me out. I think I think he went easy. You're basically yeah. saying that he's yeah. he's lost a little. Oh, I lost think he step. could have choked. He's me lost out, a step. But he didn't yeah. Finish. Yeah. Right. Sir? He didn't. He didn't pull the finishing move on yeah. him. Yeah. It was yeah. kind of a lot of like man on man hugging. Yeah. Uh, and then Poe actually flipped him over one of the leather chairs. <laughs> Poe, yeah. you hit your head on the floor. I heard that. That oh. was a nice sound that Damn. everyone got to hear out Have there. Have that wood checked for any uh, dents. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you know, hard head. I need aspirin. Yeah, Paul's got a serious uh, oh. head injury there. I mean, he's got a red mark on his head. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Where? Let me see. Look on his forehead. Ooh. Let me see. It's, it's going to be a welt. It hit a hard wood floor. Look at oh, that. Oh, damn. damn bro. Buddy, you really need He's got ass. pwned. You need. <laughs> yeah. What happened? He hit it. Oh, what happened? He I and. The floor. I, we heard the thud. Yeah. My head hit the floor. Are you feeling woozy? No, I just have a headache. Already? He's worse than he's showing right now. I think he's okay. a little bit you of know, water in the brain right we, now. We didn't talk about uh, if he would have been injured, you know? Yeah. We just thought... Well, uh, he took his and uh, Cromwell's weight to the floor, yeah. and, la and it landed on his head. Wow. By the way, someone's bringing up a very good point. Uh, even rape victims last 30 seconds. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Damn! You just been pwned. That's a very good observation coming yeah. in from instant feedback. Oos. <laughs> I think you should have Poe checked out. Ah, uh, Poe's head's like a uh, could have got brick. a concussion or something. Ah. Nah, the, the front is, uh, uh, that's where the skull is fine. the thickest. You're yeah, fine? The... Well, your livelihood depends on saying that, so I don't know that I, tr I trust you. <laughs> you should get somebody to look at you. Ah, uh, the front of the skull's like thick. You got no problem. It's the back you got to yeah. worry about, the top, the sides. Yeah. The Crom front is uh, made to be hit. Does anyone know what Cromwell did there? What were you doing? Yeah, what the hell were you I doing? I was just basically defending. I mean, you basically, I do I do study a little bit of martial arts, and uh, one of the things they tell you to do when someone's got you in the neck hold is, you know, catch the arm, tuck your chin. And basically, I was hanging in there for like, you know, the 30 seconds. I almost tapped a couple times. I heard people say it, not yet, not yet. I mean, my hand was up. I was waving, going mm -hmm. for the tap. And, uh, you know, I just knew I Did could. Did a Hulk Hogan, like he's going to tap, and then he started shaking. And 
gets up. Didn't All mean right. to get E-Rock so excited. Cromwell, everyone. We still hate your name, though. <laughs> Cromwell, there you go. Cromwell, good job. Very good impressive, job. very impressive. Yep. Still trying wow. to look for the feel-good story for this Monday. Poe, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Master Poe is 0-2 in these 30-second competitions. It's not fair, though. He can't it use is, all it, his it tricks. It isn't fair. I mean, they're not fair. tricks, but he can't use no, everything. all the liability is on him. And plus yeah, we, it is. I mean, he got hurt, and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> if Cromwell looked like that... Well, plus we, oh, people, we go, oh, be silly, oh yeah. what'd you do to Cromwell? Yeah. Plus, we, t- we take all his weapons away from him. He had to get rid of the pen, the, the quarter, the tie. Yeah. You know, these are things he uses in a street fight, and right? He, anything knows. on him is a potential weapon. Yeah. No, he knows. That tie, he could take out a whole battalion <laughs> yep. with just that tie. The pen, forget about it. Guys, thank you. Us. 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 Hey, I got a... Oh, we got... Wow, this is kind of interesting. We got a guy that goes by the name Opie Spy from Philly. Oh. Ask if Cromwell would like to address this comment from Friday. Why does uh, a part of me think this is a. <laughs> that this is a cheap cop out way for Opie and the rest of the crew to get out of work, uh, get out of doing any more work today? Is he angry typing guy? Are you angry typing? Where is Cromwell? Come back in. Wait, you think Anthony falling asleep was a cheap excuse for us to go home early? Oh my God, huh? I I don't think I wrote that. Did I write that? I don't think oh, I boy. wrote that. When someone says oh, I don't think I wrote that, that that's like oh guilty. fuck, they're on to me. That sounds guilty. I like this guy. His name's Opie Spy. Now uh, Cromwell. It says uh, have him address this that he uh, wrote Friday. Why does a part of me think this is a cheap cop out way for Opie and the rest of the crew to get out of uh, doing any more work today? He was only joking. Well, you know, that was in the listening thread where just people talk really fast. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow, what a bad so excuse. That was just one theory. Had you had more time to think about it, you wouldn't have been such a prick. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but your theory sucks. <laughs> you don't think Anthony was sleeping? <laughs> Believe I, me. Obviously, I said that early in the bit, and once I realized Anthony was asleep, I apologized profusely, and I wish... Opie Spy would find those messages. But even if, uh, let's say even we were faking that, that Anthony was sleeping, that would be the bit in itself, don't yeah. you think? This is true. This you is think true. we would purposely try to do something just to get out of work? Absolutely not. Look, I will prove it to you right now again. No, 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 no I'll put no, my feet no. up, and when I'm asleep in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and at least, like, uh, own up to it. Everyone's saying you absolutely did write that. Yeah, I, I think I did right. Wow. Oh. But I wrote wow. like 20 other messages saying how great everybody is. I think, and I'm going to post this. How many bugs have you Under squished? my pseudonym. I'm going to post that I think that you challenging Poe was just a way to you for you to get on a couch close to another man <laughs> as you grope each other. We all knew that. Faggot. Yeah. I look forward to the post. It, 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 took, okay. uh, it took care of the urge, didn't it, Cromwell? Are <laughs> <laughs> oh, your pants all sticky, Cromwell? <laughs> Did Poe get hit in the forehead with your cock? <laughs> Is that why it's red? <laughs> with your hard cock. <laughs> And then someone is saying, though, it is kind of interesting that you did wake up just at 11, which is true. <laughs> and I know when to get the fuck out of here. So asleep or awake. I know when it's time to go. You got a Cromwell fan out there. Leave Cromwell alone. You know, Cromwell is a big supporter. He, he takes a thousand pictures of O&A walking. Leave Cromwell alone. I hate that fucking But then again, guy. it's backed up with Matt from New York City. Cromwell's a queer. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. That uh, fucking... Uh, hey, they didn't uh, laugh too hard at that one. That means he probably... Uh... No. Okay. That Britney Spears guy, like, his time is completely done, but the, he keeps trying to throw more videos up on YouTube and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, do I just want him pummeled? He he's fucking his own brother. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, there was, was something I saw what? in a video where yeah. he's like making out with he's making out with this guy. Supposedly and they say that his brother. Brothers. Yeah, I, I think he's trying to get attention. I think he's a real yeah. attention whore. Well, yeah, it's a. Uh, I I I I go through YouTube pretty much eh, once every couple of days. See mm-hmm. what's new on there. 
And there's something about him that's always on there. Who's giving this guy any more attention? Yeah, I haven't clicked somebody's on always any watching link. Him. Yeah, it's like, what are you watching now? Who's it, what, what are people watching? They're always watching. And he's them. popping up. It's like, who's fucking watching this mm. when there's a thousand other things you could be watching? Mm. People getting hit in the nuts. That's <laughs> <laughs> always a scream. Uh, Opie's other spy uh, checking in. Louie and his robot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hope he's out of the spy ch checking in from yes. Jamaica Station. Cromwell posted that he thinks you guys are just too lazy to do the walkover, and he hates ecstasy of gold. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Did uh, Cromwell and Flea change places so Flea could get some fucking pal talk camera time, you attention whore? <laughs> Did you? Because I looked up there, and it's like, it was on Cromwell. I didn't move the camera, but now Flea is prominently displayed. <laughs> Flea is a douchebag. <laughs> All right, moving on uh, with the feel-good story here. We'll try this one. There was a dead raccoon, kind of right where this line is, um, and it was dead. Then when they were striping the road here on Archer, they just striped right over it. The raccoon was gone today, but in this picture, you can clearly see the dead animal with the telltale yellow paint right across its body. No, it was very real, um, and it was, you know, pretty explicit. You could see it. The kids were kind of grossed out by it and I as well. It's the dead animal in the street that they just striped right over. The animal was first spotted on Archer <laughs> Avenue in Lamont by residents on Saturday. I just thought it was ridiculous. <laughs> they were that lazy they didn't pick it up. That's terrible. It is terrible. How they do it at a job. That's terrible. That's terrible. How is it terrible? It's a dead fucking animal in the shit. road that they painted over. What, you Who want cares? them to push it off to the Who side cares? of the road? Such a non-story. They're probably laughing, having fun. Dude, put the stripe over the foot. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Make them a skunk. funny. Let the guys have a laugh during work. You might be honest with them, because uh, as this continues, it's not the first time. And Yolanta Wilk says what's worse is that it's not the first time. Another animal painted right over. The same thing. We followed her directions on Archer and came up with this roadkill. A close-up reveals what a appears to be the critter's tail protruding from a line of paint. We contacted the <laughs> Illinois Department of Transportation and they confirmed that Rats. this stretch of Archer Avenue is in their jurisdiction. But they declined our request for an on-camera interview saying they need to wait until they can confirm that the allegations are true. Just look at the animal with the line painted on it. Why can't an, people just be honest? An animal had a line painted on it, and then it was chased around by a French skunk. Thought, <laughs> isn't that how that I tried started? Tried to rape it. Yeah, isn't that how it like yeah. is the, uh, of cartoon rapist. Yeah. Grabbing her, she's trying to get away. Clawn. Now we're um, we're kind of fading into something that needs to be brought up on this show. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Danny finds the most horrific things for this radio show. Yeah, God bless. And then they just pile up. Because we're in. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Oh, there's an actual picture of the raccoon. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> Dude, look at. Pop okay. that picture up on the big Put screen. Put it up on a screen somewhere? Yeah, it's just a huge works. dead raccoon, and, and the line was painted right over it. Like like the truck had to go boom, boom, <laughs> as it rolled over this thing. Look at this thing. Uh, <laughs> Good for him. Can we get that up on our uh, website? Stupid somewhere? raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking painting lines on the street. Yeah. What, are you, what else are you going to do for entertainment? So what? Get out of the way. Yeah. You know the best part is, though? It like, should be a person. Go die be somewhere baby. else, you faggot raccoon. <laughs> the road crew probably saw it ahead and were just praying that their paint was going to, you know, they're like, oh, dude, I think, I think we might just go over it. Yeah. Like, if we keep it's this right, in the, it's middle right in the middle, this is going to happen. I think they probably, you know, they probably saw it coming. We're hoping and having fun on that truck. Just yeah. waiting to paint over that shit. Even better. I bet it was <laughs> probably a little too far to the right or the left. So and one got out and yeah. kicked it over a little. Oh, of course. Dude, kick it a little left. Of course. That's what that's you right. do when you're fucking working. That's it. That made his day. <laughs> and have some fun. And they laughed. <laughs> All right. Well, Danny also picked out this fine animal story. This is just some of the stuff he collects for our show. Robstown police arrested this man, 26-year-old Eduardo Ramos of Victoria, on September 12th after they found him naked inside his pickup truck. Now they are accusing him of sexually assaulting this dog. Go! Oh. <laughs> uh, rolled up in the back like he was scared. Yeah. I stopped to talk to the, the driver and found that he was completely nude, covering his genitals with uh, his clothing, sweaty. 
And nervous. <laughs> Sweaty and, and nervous. nervous. <laughs> you too would be nervous if you knew the thing had claws. <laughs> oh, man. What a man. weird description. Yeah. yeah. Can I hear that again? Covering his <laughs> what, genitals. Just the, just the description that that guy gave of the... Just a, just the story narrated by that individual. It's a dog. There was a dog uh, rolled up in the back like he was scared. I stopped to talk to the, the driver and found that he was completely nude, covering his genitals with uh, his clothing, genitals. sweaty and nervous. Covering his genitals. It's a strange way of talking. Yeah. Let's see if this really is nude. When they opened his truck, the female dog ran off into this field. When female. officers found her, they say she seemed frightened. She was we in a shower. The dog, the dog was... While, a... and, uh, huh? The dog was taking a shower. <laughs> a rape Found her. They say she seemed frightened. We inspected the dog after a while, and, uh, you know, the condition of the dog led us to believe that he committed some type of sexual act with the uh, dog. Mm. Ramos later told detectives he picked up the stray dog near a gas station. He denied having sex with the dog, but it was obvious to them the dog had been sexually assaulted. I couldn't believe it, you know. I searched for some other explanation, but everything led to that. Ramos was charged with public lewdness and disorderly conduct, both misdemeanors, but police say he could face felony charges of animal cruelty. The district attorney is waiting for DNA results to determine if Ramos had sexual contact with the dog. Ramos. There you go. They found a human load in the dog's van. Oh, yeah. God. That's pretty what much it. I searched for another explanation. That's pretty much it. You find that load in there and yeah, do a little go, DNA well, test thing and go, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. why couldn't he was just jerking off and the dog just happened to be in the car? You're dog right. fucker. Oh, you're onto something. Again. That's what happened. I don't like animals in the room when I'm fucking. I can't, because my, my dog always, well, when I'm jerking off, my dog looks at me. Yeah. Like, Get the fuck out of here. They give you a look. Fucking look at me. Or the worst thing is, uh, and I've heard stories of this, I've never owned a dog. But you're going at it, and just cold dog nose goes right up your ass. Yeah. Right up your ass. And then, God forbid, you have a cat, and you're doing some kind of, you know, your balls are swinging. Poof. That's got to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> a nice claw. Actually, that's in the paper today. Where's the post? It Where's is? that post, yeah. It is? They referred to that famous, like, uh... Let me see. Go ahead, keep talking. I'll find it. Take me two seconds. Oh, I'm on the fucking, uh... I'm on the condoms for like another fucking month. What are you gonna take? Ah, the He's girlfriend, Mr. Pills. Um. Mr. Pills for like too many days, and then she goes, oh, "No, I gotta get him." And then start on a Sunday, um. and then you wait and wait and wait because I don't want to be in the type of you know hell. I don't want to be telling, "No, no, it's thunder. It's okay. It's all cute when you do it." <laughs> for me, I'd be going, "Yes, it's it's death incarnate. It's coming to get you. It's the Grim okay. Reaper." So, uh, uh, yeah, condoms. Yeah. Back, uh, b b should I fucking be wearing condoms? At, at, at this I thing? guess. I don't, wear, I don't fuck anything, so I don't really have much to complain oh. about. You, you have uh, sex with your wife, Louie. Oh, okay. yeah, all the time. I gotta say, you can fuck like a <laughs> champ with him, though. Three times this morning. Yeah. Once you get things yeah. going, as long as you can fucking, you know, roll that stupid thing on without feeling like a complete ass, and you're all worked up, you could just fucking, fucking mm. fuck. It's mm. amazing. Great. Last, night, last time I fucked my wife, the <laughs> fucking, fuck. um, what do you call it, the national security level, <laughs> threat level, was green or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like red or orange? No, <laughs> no, no just green. All right. Green. There was no, <laughs> no threat at all. Last time I fucked my wife, my iPod had fucking three, five gigs <laughs> hard drive in it. Oh. See if we had phones today, we yeah. could, we could go with this bit. Mm -hmm. The last time Louis C.K. fucked his wife, but eh. mm -hmm. well, we can't use the phones today. So instead, you get this, or, and you, you don't, don't even get that. You don't get now that. You can right now and then write yourself a letter, and you can squirt a pip squirt it when you're sitting in the tub. You can squirt it while you scrub. Cares about the weather as long as you can squirt too. If you wanna do some spray while you're playing, what is this? <laughs> then you can squirt up his squirt pen. Pip squirt pen. It writes and it squirts water. New from Lake.
Oh, what the pick fuck was that? Squirt pen? <laughs> I don't understand. Mm. Interesting. It's an old commercial where it's a little sexual innuendo going oh, on there. The, yeah, because you could squirt each other. Yeah. Mm. Well, I get it. Rawr. With a pan. Mm. All right. Rawr. Rawr. Yeah, any of that, um, any of that birth control stuff should all be on the women's side. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say. That's what you think. Got a big, uh, to do on the show the other day about, um, vasectomies and stuff and mm -hmm. I'm just like completely against that I like the pill but then uh, you know the rubbers yeah they're a drag it's just because then right when you're done you got to just fucking pull out yeah you can't just leave that thing sitting in there like a time no. bomb waiting yeah. to fucking go off and then you have a bag of your own jizz yeah <laughs> and, and when it pulls out it kind of goes like you know, yeah, and then depressing. yeah, you got a bag of it, and then you got to take it. Up. First of all, and as you fucking go to uh, come, you got to like real quick grab the bottom and and hope for the best. Yeah, hope you don't fire it off like a Spill howitzer over. cover yeah. <laughs> or something. You know, you don't want any spillage. Yeah. It's just a big paranoid mess when you want to just fucking come. Yep. You know, you're worried. Is it going to slip off? Is it broken? Are you gonna? Pull it off, and the thing's going to look like the end of one of those cartoon exploded cigars, yeah. but not an ounce of jizz left in it. No, I've I've had one disappear completely. Oh, Dude. cease to exist. Dude. Thank you. Dude. Danny just know. raised his I'm hand in, on that one. I'm too. in that club too. I don't know. Dude, did you search for it without trying to look like you were searching for it? <laughs> no, she was onto it too. Oh, really? Time. Yeah. So I don't know if it disappeared in the complicated parts that is woman. <laughs> But I had a condom break once and I didn't oh. say shit. Oh, no, you never right. say it. Great. <laughs> All never right, take care. That, that so fucking long. thing disappeared on me. This is going back uh, m many years when I was back in New York and not even in radio yet. And uh, it just disappeared. And I swear I looked all over the floor and then I start uh, feigning like I'm being amorous again. As I'm just looking for it. <laughs> I was just looking for it. Uh, and then I'm thinking uh, like, fuck. I'm thinking like, fuck, where, you know, if this thing falls out of her tomorrow, she's going to really think that's pretty mm. rude. <laughs> <laughs> that well, same, that same exact story pretty much happened to me once. And I never found it. I never heard hide nor hair. When my or, wife and I were first dating, we were fucking once and I got, I felt something sharp at the end like as i fucked her like there was something sharp <laughs> touch like scratching my dick and for like a couple of weeks it was like that and i was like i'm telling you there's something in there and she didn't you know so we really went at it and searched and found this little piece of fucking plastic from like a tampon it was just in there good thing you found that yeah oh. probably would have been bad mm -hmm. holy shit well, you better get the instant feedback, because now people are playing the last time Louis C.K. fucked his wife. The last time wife. I fucked my wife. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, it's coming uh, nice now. Too last bad we can't I use fucked the my wife. Where does that condom go? Huh? <laughs> I, well, at least... Danny, I, I, where I, did that <laughs> condom go? I found it, but it was after about a, a solid, I'm not even exaggerating, maybe about 35 minutes of searching. Was it in? Yeah, it was, but we couldn't believe it at first. But, and it was to the I point where... I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so... It, when does that ever happen? So, like, I'm, like, you know, looking under pillows and, like, under the bed where it just obviously cannot be. But I just could not imagine that it was it was in there somewhere. I didn't even fess to the fact that it fucking got lost. I mean, it got to the point where I, I had gotten dressed and we were about to go to the emergency room because, obviously, this was a problem or it oh, was going to potentially shit. be one. And then right at the last minute, I'm like, let's try to find find it again. <laughs> Take a good fucking grab yeah, and just kind of crook the finger a little bit. And <laughs> oh, oh, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, it is the old Coney Island whitefish. What <laughs> <laughs> worked? I found it. It's like going to the dentist's office for a scraping. <laughs> for a scraping. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's fucking sick, man. All right. I finally found it. For real, here is your feel-good story for today, Monday. Right. This is a story about ageless love. In Argentina, this 82-year-old woman just got married to this 24-year-old man. Right. Love blossomed between these two when the groom went to live with the bride, a family friend, after his mother died. 
After being engaged for several years, the civil service sealed the relationship. This newlywed says his wife is a very special person with amazing energy. When asked if the marriage would be purely spiritual, the bride says there will be more. The response greeted with laughter. The couple is off to a honeymoon in Rio de Janeiro, proving with a kiss that old saying, love knows no boundaries. Everyone laughed when they okay, said, "Okay, terrific." Going to be fucking because that's pretty much it. Is it going any? Is it spiritual or anything else? Uh, oh, we'll be fucking. <laughs> sure, you will. Uh, of course, you will. Uh, In Rio de Janeiro, she's eighty-two. He's twenty-four. Mm, that work out well. That's good. Mm. Fucking. I, I hope they don't bring the KY in their carry-on because there are limitations to mm. fluids you can bring on the uh, <laughs> well, on the aircraft he's these days. Fucking, he's got to burst the scabs on her pussy to get any <laughs> lubrication. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Eating her, out, eating her out. He looks like Colonel Sanders. Oh uh, God! <laughs> all flakes on his dander flakes on his beard after eating her out. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Hoodie from Philly, the last time Louie fucked his wife. Can I say fucked his wife, or are you going to get mad at that? What do I care? All right, good. <laughs> she doesn't have the XM, is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Right. Louie's in dangerous fucking sitting mode right there. Yeah, I know. I got That's my legs dangerous, up. man. Don't I worry. Know. We're getting ready for line of the day. We'll yeah. get you out of here before you fall asleep. Wow. Uh, Bill Buckner missed a famous ground ball at first base. All right, that's okay. All right, mm -hmm. how about awful me? The last time Louie fucked his wife, Treehouse Richard only had HIV. Oh, <laughs> you know, by the by the way, uh, on Pal Talk the other day, my yeah. sister had sent me pictures and said, I found these. They're pictures of the real Treehouse Richard and sent it to me. So I popped them up on uh, Pal Talk one night and everybody got a good look and said, wow, I was a lucky guy because apparently uh, now, everyone found him hot. Now that you uh, have seen pictures... Is yeah. it obvious that he was a gay guy? Oh, yeah. It was pretty always obvious, yeah. Even when you were a kid? Yeah. Like, like when I was a kid, I had no idea, like, there were gay kids around me. I had no clue. Yeah. But he, then when you get older and you start looking back, you're like, oh, yeah, of course he was. He mm -hmm. looked pretty gay. But, yeah, but, but at the time, when you're just, like, riding bikes and trading baseball yeah. cards or whatever, you really didn't know. Because I was growing up with it him. It was so more like... like like, you know, you got to high school age mm -hmm. and you see him and like, oh, yeah, all right. All right. Now all that makes sense from the old days. Right. Because when, when I started, like, chasing girls around and stuff, uh, and girls were always after him, like always after him, uh, he just showed no interest whatsoever. None. And I was like, oh, my God, what are you doing? That girl is fucking, like, hanging on you. <laughs> yeah, well, nah. you know, I... I Remember when we found out our old PD was gay? Remember the oh, story? Oh, yeah. We're, uh, Louie, we're, we're working at NEW, and we're, like, walking with our PD and our general manager. We're having this deep conversation about the show and where it's going and just talking business as we're going to a sushi joint, and everyone is just piping in, blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah, right? And this girl walks by, like, she's got just huge boobs, no bra, just mm -hmm. ridiculous, small skirt, and it stopped us in our tracks. We just stopped talking, and we're all just like, da. Ah. Mm. And the guy who we learned later is was, was gay. Was so. And then what you guys got to do? He's, he's, <laughs> just, he's still talking. Oh my, oh my god, are you still talking? <laughs> we're like, we yeah. don't even know what we were talking about at that point. In the restaurant, when this uh, girl comes in and sits down, and she had real low ride pants on, and her thong was sticking up out of the pants, and. Again, conversation comes to a screeching halt. We all just turn our heads and start looking. Even our GM. And he's just like, uh, can I have another order of the <laughs> edamame? Like, yeah. All right, we get it. We get it. You like the cock. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with a gay guy who was the, like, he would, he'd see a girl and go, oh, my God, look at her tuts. I'd like to fuck them. Like, he didn't know how to do it. Oh, oh. Very sad. Sad, yeah. Yeah. We all go, you don't have to do that. <laughs> don't, don't force no. it. No. Don't force it. All right. Uh, we wanted to do this story on the other side. Another, uh, another, uh, person got kicked off a plane for 
wearing something inappropriate. Inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Now, the first two were like, you know, hot girls with hot outfits. But the Shit. one that I saw in Southwest, she was not, it was not a big deal. No, it wasn't deal. ridiculous. She was wearing a skirt, but it wasn't yeah. ridiculously short. No. And she had, she was covered up top. And up top, oh, she was, fuck. it was a sexy top, but it, she had a bra yeah. and everything. Who taking, who's taking some... I don't know. If, if it was the case on every airline, uh, it has to be Marissa ugly... there would be on a no-fly list with terrorists. It <laughs> wouldn't be allowed to fly. She's <laughs> always showing cleavage. That was a uh, compliment. Yeah, it was it a compliment, be, by it, the yeah, way. Yeah, because she's not really It sure. must be ugly flight attendants who are like, you, yeah. you whore. Get yeah. off this plane, you whore. Yeah, that's what it is. And I, I think it was, in one case, I think it was a guy flight attendant. because I, And here's, here's what I think. Guy came in, this guy's like, the flight attendant's like, I'm going to give him all the attention this whole fucking flight, blah, blah, yeah. blah. And then this boob, big monster comes in and uh, sits down, and the guy takes interest in her. Yeah. And he's like, well, she's got to go. She Get out of here. Blocking. She was cock blocking yeah. him. Ugly bitch. Yeah. Mm. Flat. Flat. Well, we have another one of those. Let's take a listen to this. Southwest Airlines says it will apologize to a passenger told to change his sexually suggestive shirt or get off the plane. Joe Winicky says he was sitting in the last row of a Columbus to Tampa flight when an employee gave him the ultimatum. Winicky says that Columbus to what Tampa. Hell, yeah. What a if hell flight anyway. Both cities we could lose. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I ran hit Columbus and Tampa, we would even go, dude, yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry Let's about it. it. Just say it was an accident. Yeah. We'll, I thought we'll, it was a nonstop we'll flight along. from New York Fucking, to London or something. Uh, you know? Two worst cities ever. Columbus to Tampa. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, from and shit to fuck. fuck. <laughs> Let him fly naked. Who gives a don't shit? Worry about his shirt. Right. From the country's asshole to its pussy. <laughs> This is the worst two cities. Yeah, but pussy's nice. I know, but well, not the country's pussy. It's 200 years yeah. old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's an old pussy. Yeah, it's I a smelly you. old pussy. <laughs> was sitting in the last row of a Columbus to Tampa flight when an employee gave him the ultimatum. Winnicky says the airline violated his free speech rights. Back in July, Southwest created a public uproar by telling a woman on a flight that her outfit was too revealing for her to fly. Now, the guy had a T-shirt that had yeah. some kind of masturbation joke on it, like yeah. masturbator. It, fishing, it looked like a fishing bait supply store thing. And it that was, was like masturbator. Masturbator. That's all. You know, that old I wonder gag. where it was, because I have a T-shirt from a place in Connecticut called Masturbate and Tackle. Yeah, and I wear yeah, it all the time. That's pretty I mean, much the show. They, would, they yeah. would kick you off the plane. They only showed it's Master on, uh, on TV. And they, yeah, they wouldn't even show the other half of the, the shirt. same place. So we're like, well, Master It's blank. a very old place. It's not like, you know, they're not trying to be jack-offs. They just, oh, it's yeah, a real place. Yeah, Master Bait and Tackle. It's kind of a popular shirt because it's funny. Yeah, but even, it's and then on the back it says, I get my crabs. And masturbate and but even old people had. <laughs> Could they make yeah. any more fucking like yeah, exactly. genital jokes? <laughs> yeah, I jack off genital. my cock <laughs> at, at the fish store. Yeah, it's <laughs> not even trying to be yeah. subtle or clever yeah, exactly. anymore. <laughs> Fuck a cunt <laughs> here. <laughs> Fuck a cunt <laughs> fish store. If you're missing the obvious. Just because they've been around forever doesn't mean the, the old yeah, dude was making the sure. making the joke back then. No, that's true. But I mean, it's I legitimate. Think the word name. Masturbator was around since yes. like the cavemen started figuring out what to do. Ah, yes. Do it themselves. Like in the old days. I don't understand the word masturbate when you think hey, of it, actually. Hey, masturbator. Yeah, it doesn't like, what are, what are the What's the root of that? What's the uh, origin, uh, Than? Origin? Masturbator. Masturbator. I believe it is a Latin word. Uh, I have no idea. What no. derivative? Uh, master being to master. Masters. And bait to being to bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? Oh, uh, uh, Than? Anything? Uh, the That's etymology. just what the internet had, Nath. That's <laughs> the, funny. The internet. Um, the word is believed to derive from either the Greek word mazea, meaning penises, or the Latin manus, hand, and the Latin terbare, to disturb. So, mm. there is disturb a, with the hand. There is a disturbance pe going on. Penis <laughs> yeah. disturbance with your hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more? A competing etymology based on the Latin manu stup stuprare, which means to defile with the hand. Ah, which defile right. with the hand. Yeah. And that's it, pretty much. How do we get masturbate out of that? More yeah, importantly, how's mother? <laughs> Uh, you got to give us a, a mother update. Mother. I'll have to go through one of my siblings. I'll, I'll, have, I'll ask yeah. my brother how she's doing. Louis, he doesn't like mother. No? Well. He refers to her as mother. Mm. <laughs> mother? Mother is... frowns upon that. 
m- mother uh, gave some gave him some hard times. Mm. That's uh, what we what got. I, saw, so. I have problems yeah. with father, but yeah. I'm getting over them. I'm getting yeah. older. Yeah. So do I. Tell me about it. Yeah. That guy's been dead. No, Awkward. I, though. Can't, I call him. He doesn't answer the phone. Awkward. <laughs> uh, hey, masturbator. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Please, any dig up any other fucking disc that's sitting there aside from Hey, Masturbator. It's just, it's, it's... Was it it's a song or old, something? Oh, it was a song parody from when the About, Macarena was, like, really fucking uh, popular. Okay. Oh, don't play that. It's <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, I mean, you know... Uh, very proud of it when it first came out, but at this point... And a man in my position can't afford to be made to look ridiculous! Run exactly. <laughs> now you get the hell out of here! <laughs> Run back to like that guy. Um, he sits, my, he, sits uh, he sits him down uh, uh, to, to, to dinner, and he's like, Ah, why didn't you tell me uh, who you yeah. worked for? Ah, oh, well, you know, I like keeping that secret. And then he just got more and more pissed yeah. until he's and like, you get, get the, the hell out of here. I don't care how many guineas come out of the good work. Yeah, yeah, good work. He didn't care. You could have just let him Mike finish Kraut, Mick friend. <laughs> I'm German-Irish. Oh, very cool. All right, uh, we'll play this, and then we'll get uh, line of the day out of the way. It's, uh, it's This is one of my favorites. Uh, it's, it's butt plug. Ah, yes, okay. Now, this is timeless. Yes, it sure is. Butt plug. May I help you? Yes, uh, butt plugs. Who? Butt plugs, please. Spark plug, just a moment. <laughs> Hardware, how can I help you? Uh, butt plugs. What is it? Butt plugs. A what box? Uh, butt plugs. A butt box? Butt plugs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not following what you're saying. Butt plugs. I have a bad connection. I, I don't understand. What, what is it? Uh, butt plugs. Butt, butt box? Mm. Is it like a receptacle you're talking about? <laughs> butt plugs, yeah. What, what kind of plug is it? A spark plug you're talking about? <laughs> Butt plugs. Oh, hold on. Hello. Uh, what are you looking for? Butt plug. Spark plug. What kind? Butt plug. What kind of a spark plug? Uh, no, butt plug. I, I, I just don't understand you, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, butt plug? A spark plug. Butt plug. <laughs> Bug plug? Butt plug. Never heard of it. What do you use it for? Butt plug. Huh? Butt plug. What do you use it for, sir? Butt plug. <laughs> butt plug. Butt plug. Butt plug. Yeah. Butt lug? Butt plug. <laughs> I know, but, butt plug. But what do you use it on? What do you use it in? I'm trying butt to Butt plug. <laughs> butt plug. Yeah, okay. I got you a spark plug. There's all kinds of spark plugs. Butt plug. <laughs> butt plug. Butt plug. Butt? Butt plug. Oh, sorry, sir. We don't understand what you want. Butt Plug, butt plug. Uh, I don't know. We don't carry that. Butt plug. Yeah, we don't carry it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who's the voice? Uh, uh butt plug. Is that you? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, that was a fun one. That was uh, up in uh, oh, up in Boston. Boston. You Boston. can tell. What do you use it for? What do you use it for? Bug sir? blocks. Bug blocks. He was said, you know, that after you hung up, just was like twenty minutes there. <laughs> yeah. He said butt plug. I don't uh, understand. Uh, butt plug. He said no, honey. He says spark plug. Goodness gracious! It's a yes, uh, he's in the bug box. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Clemens is getting a butt plug. <laughs> 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 Uh, they're getting the line of the day ready. Why don't we play this one too? Uh, Hi, mom. I'm in porno. This is one of my favorites. Uh, that was a favorite for us. Uh, is right up there. Day. This one as well. We had a, a daughter, Lou. Yeah. Call her mom at work to tell her that she's uh, going into porn. And was it because she's in college? No, no. 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 Just she to win it as a joke. Just to just, yeah, just, she went just to win college. A, just to win like a CD or something stupid. Oh God. Hi, AF. Who's this? Wow. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hey, you want to play AF, Who's this? Yes, I do. All right, fuck that. I Hi, it's so. Oh, yeah, it's Opie and Anthony show. Hi, AF. <laughs> Hello. Opie's voice is a little higher. He insists uh, the tape has been, uh, yeah, yeah. All sped up like yeah, the Charlie was, Chaplin film. Like, yeah, different, yeah. Exactly. Different frame rate now. That's yeah. why. <laughs> yeah. Those, it, was, it was actually on audio tape at that's one point. Right. And the tape may have stretched or yeah, something. Yeah, no, that's exactly what yeah. happened. Yeah. But for some reason, it didn't affect Dan's voice. I don't, no. I don't understand <laughs> that part. This, I must have really you were talking a lot lower. Uh, I, than, I yeah. was talking like this back like then. You had a, like you had a growth thing happening. Uh, butt plug. The guy was 
Amos. Yeah, uh, yeah, like uh, Amos. <laughs> yes. Here's a uh, hi, mom. I'm in porno. Ignore the high voice, please, because <laughs> the material is still terrific. Mm. All right. Don't get distracted by the I high won't. voice. All right. IAF, who's this? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. You want to play hi? You're still laughing. Low. 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 I said oh, ignore no, I that. It. The funny thing is it's high because you're so earnest and you want to keep your radio job. That's what it's saying. <laughs> right, right. I, I swear to God, this is all. No, no, there won't be any quiet. Nothing will get quiet. We're, just, we're going to talk the whole time. It'll be really good. <laughs> Fuck right. you. Fuck you uh, and your logic. No, I hate it's, you. It's only in contrast to now. You're yourself. Uh, you're, you're, you know, you're a grown how, man. Your logic is he brilliant. <laughs> Hi, please don't fire. I swear to God, this, this is good. It's, it's good so radio. True. Don't worry. Hi, you're on the air. Quickly talk before it gets oh, quiet. And now talking, we keep talking. And now we let, like, dead air go a little bit. Yeah. Our voices yeah. are deeper. By yeah. the end of our career, it's gonna, we're going to yeah. be way <laughs> down there yeah. with our show. I did a radio show in Florida, in fucking Tampa, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and they have music playing behind the talking. It's one of those. Yeah. We had that. Doom, we worked doom, on doom. one of those stations. And there's this guy and this woman, and, and he's talking like this, and she goes like that. And it doesn't, you, they, they are so desperate to talk that they say stuff that makes no sense. Anything, yeah. Like it just, well, you had a show, what was it, what was it called? Like, it was called Lucky Louie. Oh, uh, yeah, I, you, that was the show, that was on, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> What did you just say? See, we have to fill up the airway. Yeah, yeah, don't stop talking. Something will happen. They'll, they'll be, as long as we keep talking, we don't answer the phone and say they're, we're fired. <laughs> uh, fuck this bit. Let's, uh, so, no, no, I don't want to hear it. I won't make any comments. One. Please. The material still holds up. Totally. Do you understand that? Totally. I A F. Who's this? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. You want to play hi, mom? Yes, I do. All right. I, I hear you want to play hi, mom. I'm in porno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, listen. I, yeah. can't, I think officially I can't hear this shit you anymore. You can never go back. Because oh, I know so it's coming. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Why well, could I just said, all right, cool. Yeah. Okay. I had Here to we be. Go. Yeah. So, oh, because we just had to be over the top fucking there. Joey from Howard yeah. Beach. Ha ha. Eager Opie rules. Eager Opie. You just created a new character, you know. Mm-hmm. And punt. <laughs> douche. Uh, Duncan Booth. Douche. Hey, Ope, can you follow the yellow brick road in your original radio voice? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, here comes the... Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> play hi, mom? Yes, I do. All right. I, I hear you want to play hi, mom. I'm in porno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Now, where's your mom live? Montana. Well, what are you doing in Boston? I'm a nanny. You're a nanny. Yes. Cool. Maybe you could tell your mom you lost your job as a nanny and you had to make ends meet, so you uh, you jumped into porno. Okay. All right. I got your mom's number. I'm giving it a call right okay. now. Okay. Amazing. Center. Hi. Can I speak to Jean, please? Is this Michelle? Yes, it is. It's okay. important. Okay, hold on, hon. Uh-huh. Now play it up. Say you lost your job. You had no other choice. Okay. You were and all this alone. woman doesn't know she's on the air. Hello? No. Mom? Yeah? I have a problem. I lost my job. Why? Because I just wasn't doing it. I couldn't cope with it, you know. I thought you said it was going great. It was, but things just fell apart. I'm having a really hard time, so um, I didn't tell you sooner because I was too scared to, but... Um, and now I got a different job, but I'm doing, I don't know how to tell you this. What? I'm doing, I'm doing porn movies. No. Yes. No. Mom. No. No. What? I, it's <laughs> no. too late. No. 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 Mom. No. Oh my Mom. God. I'll... <laughs> she couldn't say no, and she Mom. was trying to get it out of her head. Mom. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this. It's so weird how good she is at this. Yeah. No. 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 no, no. And then after the nose, she just, she can't even yeah, get listen, a, a I fucking up. thought together. I backed up. Porn movies? No. Yes. No. Mom? No. What? I, it's, no. it's too late. No. Mom? No. Um. How could you do that to your mother? You, hold on. Uh, okay. <laughs> there was eight no's in there, by the way. Seven, eight. Her no, fucking no, mind. no. All she's Hold doing, on. she's going to another phone now, right? She's going to a more private. Probably, yeah. right. Yep. She's a, going to like, I yeah. gotta take this in the other room. Are you okay, Shelly? Yeah. Sorry, just like, I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah, okay. yeah. just please don't pick it that up. Yeah, I'm she going to the just, break room. Through all those no's, she progressively just thought of her daughter in a porno movie. How could you do that to your mom for I know. tickets? Great.
Oh, fucking great. What was that? I don't know. People out there. Oh, it's them? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy Jesus, I think she believes you. I'm shaking. Michelle? Yeah? Where can I reach you? Um, I have, I have like three days to get out of here. So you I- You don't do that. What? <laughs> don't do what you told me. Well, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna get home? You don't have money in the bank? Well, yeah, but I kind of had to use some of it to get this rolling. I had to get an agent. No, you don't. Where where can I call you? The same number, but Mom. What? There's something else I have to tell what? you. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. This is just a joke. <laughs> I'm on the radio. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a radio program. It's oh. oh I just wanted to you? let you know that I love you. Oh, my God. I'm thinking about you. Mom. You know, I think those things are so funny when they happen to other people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would sit and listen to them all day long because they're so funny, but that, you killed me. Oh, oh my God. Wait, Mom. Uh, wait, Mom. We're really no, nice. Okay. <laughs> I am going to kill you. <laughs> I love wait, wait, you. Wait, wait, Mom. Mom, first kill us. It's Opie and Anthony from AF Radio in Boston. We're, oh, yeah. you guys. We're, just... We put her up to it. and, and <laughs> I got I to gotta admit, man, my heart sunk to my oh damn my kneecaps. Oh, my God. I felt so bad for you. Jesus. I'm breaking out in a sweat here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, that is too bad. Happy okay. Mother's Day. Well, thank you. All right. All right, bye. bye. God damn it. I really like that woman because she didn't told, She didn't give up on her daughter during it. Like, no, she no. believed it, but she was sounded positive, like, it's going to be okay. I'm going to get yeah, you yeah. out of this. I'm going to get right, you out of this You jam. sucked Ron Jeremy's dick already. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure the, right, the right, fucking right. thing's it's out of the bag. just one, you know, but you look, just did it once. Look. It's not like, there's she not was, an internet yet, really. She was fine. <laughs> What's weird is it sounded like she was a few steps away from saying, honey, I did it, too. <laughs> it's no big deal. It's no nursing school. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you yes. kidding? Look, don't worry about this. I didn't even think of that. You yeah. know what? And by the way, not a bad idea. Yeah. Do it for a month. That's it. Right. Yeah, just that's get, all. Just, just get, get your get, bank account. Yeah, because she there. sounds so Make prepared. A lot of Look, money me, real where fast. can I reach you right now? Where can yeah. I reach you? Because yeah. I got I got this figured out. Yeah, I got some stories. That's I a guess. mom with I a guess battle I'm plan. Some stories, right? That's definitely a mom with a battle plan. Yeah. Like, there's unshakable. Yeah. She was shaking up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let, let me get get my ducks in order <laughs> here. Here we we'll go. Get to the battle here plan. You need first of all a good agent. Yeah. You good know. agent, good porno. You do it short. Get in, get out. Yeah. Make as much money as possible. <laughs> yes. Pay for your college. What, what name did you pick? What name did you pick? Yeah, yeah, right. What's your name? Dye your hair today. And don't tell dad. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Uh, you know what sucks? They took that away from radio guys. You can't do prank calls anymore. No. Oh, you can't? Nope. Well, because you got to tell people they're going to be on the air, right? Yeah. 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 They're like, you could do the prank, but they have to be informed beforehand that they're going to be recorded. <laughs> yeah, that's And the great. lawyer well, will actually works. tell you this, like, it's it, it's a it's, it's an, an option, option yeah. that you would consider. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, so I, oh, good news is I could still do this, but I just right. got to tell them ahead of time. Yeah, tell them ahead yeah. of time that it's going to be. And yeah. on what fucking planet does that work? Jesus. You got to have you somebody. You want to choke out some of these lawyers. So, but can you call them taped, though? You can't do it live. No, you can't even tape even them and then say, look, I got a tape of. Of this, and I want to put it on the radio. And if they say, logically, I thought if they say no, yes. then you destroy the, the act tape. Of even taping one. somebody without their knowledge, no even no. if they give it I afterwards, see. is a no-no. So they have to give permission. They have to send someone over their house with one of those Men in Black sticks yeah. to go. Funk, yep. So they forget, right. and then you can make the call. That's right. And it's as easy as that. That's as, great. And, as soon as we invent one. Yeah. In, in the meantime, lawyers come up with uh, wacky things mm. and reasons why we can't do shit. Right. All right, why don't we do line of the day? Uh, line of the day. Of course, it's brought to you by BodogFantasy.net. Free live scoring, stats, bios, and news that will help you win big this season. I read that uh, in fantasy football. Friday. Yeah, it took you four tries. <laughs> it's all that. He did. BodogFantasy.net. Actually, I want to hear that read again. We'll do it oh, tomorrow. Oh, God. It was Get that for the tomorrow. first one. Definitely the first one. Oh my god! You never fuck up when you're, when you're oh, reading shit. Oh, that was a bad one. I <laughs> still had, I still had sleepies in my eyes. <laughs> oh jeez! Uh, I just gave you like a backhanded compliment. Like, oh, <laughs> you never fuck up when you're reading shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a runner-up line of the day. Is it true? If she said, "Booger headed home." <laughs> <laughs> Booger headed home. <laughs> No eager Opie there. Deeper, scratchy voice. Yeah, yep. Hey, is that, you want to play Hey Mom? <laughs> I love awesome. that. Awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah. So eager. I found my college Ooh. radio air checks. I'm bringing them in soon. That'll be great. No, I have uh, st videotapes from when I was doing stand up in 1987. Wow. It's just oh. terrible. This is, is it really hard oh, to watch? Yeah. I, I put them on my website. They're up there. Can oh, you bring it great. in? It's on my website. We, you can but who it. gives a shit about that? We yeah. <laughs> we do it in front of you and have like 10 guys beat the shit out of you for an hour. Yeah. Oh, God. We, we did we've that. Done that. We did that with our first show that we ever did. We did it with together. Oh, we did it with Norton. Which was sure. just one of the most care. embarrassing things to have to listen to because you think he sounds eager. Uh, he was in radio. I wasn't and wanted to be. Yeah. So I was just the happy to fucking be there, mm. asshole. Yeah. Everything was, yeah, oh, God, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I, I, I was saying stuff on stage Ugh. like, come on, folks. Stuff Come like on, that. folks. Can you know what I'm ah. saying? Come on, <laughs> yeah. folks. Dude, write a note and, and come on in with that. Okay. Yeah, that would really be fun. Sometime right. this week. Let's get it done. Okay. Then that do it over here because we could go long form with something. Yeah, like and we that. could yeah, say your shit sucked instead of, you know. Right. Just <laughs> that was. <laughs> bring it in one day this week before you. Subpar. <laughs> head out to Vegas. Oh, you've gotten much better. <laughs> Here's another runner up line of the day. You were privy to a nice conversation <laughs> Louis was having with his daughter about uh, Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, it Thunder's a, a black gentleman that she's dating. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, was really fun. That was gentleman. Mean. That was just mean. We always said black with gentlemen. Yes, gentlemen. When using them negatively in a story. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Here's a uh, black gentleman. Makes us feel top better. Hat and a cane. <laughs> <laughs> couple, a monocle. Yeah. A couple things you need to know before line of the day. Uh, Louis is going to be at the House of Blues in Vegas Saturday. Saturday night. And Jimmy's going to be on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno tonight, mm -hmm. of course. Tonight. So take a peek at that. Okay? Right. Here's your line of the day. Here comes line of the day. Line of the day. Either the baby born at 32 weeks is here, is expected to survive, and child services now has custody of that baby boy. Mm. She didn't know. She thought that she was uh, taking a baby-shaped shit out of her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she thought it was. I'm coming, you dumb bitch. <laughs> yes. oh my God. And the great finisher. Yeah. The great finishing move. Louis, it's a pleasure, man. Thank Thanks you so for much. having me, yes. fellas. And you Absolutely. can come back, come back this week with that tape. I will. If you're feeling great. I'd love to hear that. Sure. All right? It yeah. does take some guts. does take some guts. I'll enjoy it as long as it's yeah. funny. Fine. Actually, oh, Wednesday fine. would be the day because Voss is coming in. Because know Voss. what happens? I think it, I don't know if I could do Wednesday. I think that's the day I'm taking. Isn't I'm Voss? chaperoning my daughter's trip. Aw. Yeah. Where yeah. is it? Like you don't say exactly. We're going to a, is it a, Yeah, I don't know exactly. We're taking her to see some show of some kind. I don't know. A show. The, the school's taking Aww. kids to see a show. We used to always just go to the museum of natural history. That was yeah. our big hop. -up.